We will finish. What? <laughs> what? Hey, I refuse to believe that. That feels like BS. There's no way that happened. Hey, what the? Oh, great, of course. Just when I. I look away for one second! I look away for one second and then this happens. Great! Oh, oh, dude. oh my god. That's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen. Why? Why now? What did have to happen now? That doesn't make any sense. That does not make any actual sense. Oh my god. Right, so... Last... Yeah, pretty much last stream. Uh, we were actually about to go and finish off getting the third of the supposed bad endings, which so far is not being that bad compared to the other two, which... Oh my god. Worst of all, I can't actually go ahead and show it off until we actually see what we're pretty much pretty much else we've done but because of it i also actually got the uh bonus the other two pretty much all three parts of the bonuses now so which are passion of passion of the trigger and naomi's tribulations and then because of it i also got rainbow's observations no idea what that's about also, if you notice the game is a lot quieter, that's because I actually learned from last time that you could actually barely even hear my voice. Great! <laughs> Just what I like. Barely audible hearing of a teenage guy who's actually not a teenager. <laughs> Fantastic! Well, anyway. But yeah, we were we were just about to finish up the uh the the, th the third one, which I actually do have it right here, loaded in. And basically, in case you're actually wondering what happened, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that in in the first ending, we fuck up. Fang goes on a murder rampage and kills everyone, including her brother. So that's fun. Ending 2, we're an asshole, and we see that she pretty much just got to live a life of absolute angst. But, yeah, basically we screwed up, and and then obviously by, by the first time around, we got a good ending. Unintentionally. <laughs> Because I, it's, I don't know, pure, pure accident. Which you know what? That's gonna be the worst case because I didn't realize I wasn't recording that. So I'm gonna have to. <laughs> oh man, that means I'm gonna have to go back and do the entire game, but do the right choices, knowing now they are the right choices. But uh, and let's go and load the bat. Let's go and load bad ending three, which, which yeah, apparently uh, so in this ending. Uh, Fang is now actually reverted back to her normal name, Lucy. Rather than, I don't know, I guess I was... I don't know how it's supposed to be, but anyway. <laughs> anyway. God, I'm doing it again. Everyone just wants to ha have a good time, and I'm ruining everything. I haven't done anything. It's alright. I got a glimpse of Nasser and Naomi away at their seats, enjoying themselves. I think Lucy saw the same thing, because she s snapped back to me <laughs> and wrapped her, her arms around my waist. You know what? No need to be upset. Now that you know me are my, my prom dates. Just you. She breathes in and lets out a com comforting sigh. I look around for any witnesses, feeling very smug. 
but that suit does kind of stay. <laughs> uh, confidence shattered. Oh, there you two are. Hmm. Principal strides over to us. Uh, sick. Signing off of though. Sorry about that. Signing off a few pa papers on a clipboard he has. Lucy, there you are. That surprise you wanted wanted is about ready. Surprise? Yeah, the one you filled papers for a few weeks back. Everything's ready for it. Is a surprise you giving an opera number? I'm on a pretty tight schedule tonight, Danon. I don't have the time for your jokes. Follow me. Okay. Spirit leads us around the crowd but to behind the temporary stage set up at the other end of the gym. Back to groove music. You signed up for something? I don't think so. Alright, you're on in 10 minutes or so. Lucy freezes. On? <laughs> what? Uh, surprise! Oh no. Oh no. I mean, hey, admittingly the... <laughs> I mean, hey, admittingly, they all look pretty good in their dresses. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a bit weird because I just ate. Oh, God, I'm actually going to put some more water in my throat because it is messing it up. <clears throat> all right. No, nope, it's still messing up my throat. Come on, are you kidding me? Why now? Uh, anyway. Trish, Rosa, and Stella are carrying around various instruments and, equ and equipment. Oh, no. Trish is visibly exhausted and, sh and stressed. Uh, I'll leave you to it. You get in after Reed's done with his DJ bit. Got Here a second. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? So, Fang? Fang, we get to play at the prom! Oh, I can see how this is gonna end badly. We have all the instruments ready. I brought in a regular guitar for you to play. I don't mind. We can play whatever you want. What do you say? Lucy is completely catatonic by this point, unable to respond. I. What? Oh, Anon, well, didn't see you there. You look less dorky with a suit on, let me tell ya. <laughs> Digging with Fang? That's sweet. Reed's also coming. I don't know if you'll manage in a costume, but you'll play the drums. What do you say? Whose idea was this? It was a group effort. We're here to help, right? We noticed Lucy's been struggling by herself. The expected stares of the trio snap Lucy from a stupor. Oh no. Oh my god, why? She flinches a bit, then bolts out, out of the backstage area. Rose and Stella look as though you, they're they're only just now thinking this was a bad idea. <laughs> Trisha's smile melts on her from her face. What were you thinking? Eh? No, please tell me. Is Fang fine? She was fine. Now look what you've done. Oh my god. She tries to leave and manages to grab her shoulder. Where do you think you're going? I'm going after her! Wait! <laughs> Don't pull me away now! This is a terrible idea! Do you not see- <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it! Rosa pulls my arm free, letting Trish run after Lu Lucy. Let them solve this. I'm sure Lucy has a point where- I'm sure Lucy had a point where she can deal with this. No, she fucking can't! <laughs> yeah, she most definitely is not, Rosa. God damn it, why'd you have to pull a stun like- Stun this- yeah. Why did you have to pull this stun today of all days? Couldn't you have tried this bullshit any other time? <laughs> That's what I just said. Who are you to say? Who do you say I didn't? I've been talking to Lucy for a while, trying to get her to make a mess with Trish. Huh? She never told me. I drew her Zawaldo <laughs> and the sun past this night till achieve completion. F fulfillment. It's a good thing, Anon. For your sake, I hope they were upright. 
Does it matter if they're upright? What do you mean? I flipped the cards after I got back from the bathroom. Wait, what? After I got from the bathroom. Rosa, what did you do? I peeked. The world was upside down, so I fixed it. Rosa, you fucking idiot. Oh no, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> no need to tell me that. I leave the incompetent bunch behind to look for Lucy, where things are. Oh my god. Is that important, Stella? I thought it was just for play. You know, I gotta admit, we actually don't get to see her at the other ending wearing this dress. I gotta admit, it is a very nice Hispanic dress, which kind of just reminds me of my grandma. I have no idea what's what's up with with Hispanics and floral patterns. <laughs> they just, I just don't know. Anyway. Back in the gymnasium, I find Lucy huddled in a corner. Her hands are, are on her head as she tries to block out Triss. Triss, for her part, is only shouting even louder. What makes you think this is a good idea? Like, okay, yeah, I didn't shout loud enough at my friend last time. Let me shout even louder. That's a horrible idea. Oh, my God. Loud enough for me to hear as I make my way to my girlfriend. Oh, my God, please stop. You never thought about me all this time? <laughs> <laughs> In nightmares. Seriously, say something. Trish, I can't even look at you anymore. Why? Is it still what I said? Yes! I accept you in a non ser Anon, seriously. You never cute together or, so or something. I didn't mean any of what I said about you two. It wasn't just that. It was everything else. Shit you did and said. Make me question years of my life. What are you ta talking about, Fang? Come on, let's play. This will be Verm Drama's biggest show to date. I don't want to. Come on, let's go. No. Triss. My shout shocks a desperate Triceratops away from Lucy. <laughs> I... I... Gla... Glower? I guess was it a gla glower? I don't know. As... Turns a sickeningly sweet smile towards me. Anon, if I did or said anything that hurt you, then I'm sorry. But please tell Feng I'm sorry too. This isn't right. Come on. This is behind me. I already know it's the rest of the Lucy Patrol without without looking. <laughs> okay. That's kind of mean to call those two Lucy Patrol, because I mean, come on, man. Lucy, you have to give Trish one more chance. If you're not going to do it for her, then at least do it for me. Please, you need to hear her out. Wait, what? Me me and Reed mi miss us. Together. Shooting the shit. Playing songs. Making fun of NASA. No. Fuck off. Lucy. Come on. Guys, you're overwhelming her. Back off for a sec. Stay out of this. Oh my god. Rosa, Stella, take a look around at the at this current situation. Once you realize what you're doing, please leave us alone and don't bother us for the rest of the night. Oh man. The two shut up and sheepishly back away for a few steps. What? Are you two flaking on me as well? Trish, I think Anon <laughs> Anon's right here. We shouldn't be intruding on their special night. Uh, yeah, my reading was wrong, so... I can't believe you two. Fang, we're playing now. I'm not asking again. Takes hold of Lucy's forearm. Move, Lucy to take her back to the stage by force. That's not a good idea. <gasps> oh, hey, they at least help. Rosa, hey. Rosa blocks her way long enough for me to grab her wrist. Oh. Trish glares at me with murderous intent. Try again another time. Oh no. I guess that's it then. She backs off into the crowd. Lucy, are you alright? Yeah. I need to get away from the crowd. I wave off Stella and Rosa and lead Lucy away into the hall. Well, that didn't go well at all. 
Actually, that one looks completely horrible. We found another corner near the bathrooms and populated aside from a few students passing by for smokes. Lucy looks like her entire world has crumbled. Are you alright? Let me help you. Please. I just want to have passed it. Okay, then. I don't want to see or talk to anyone anymore. Not even Rosa or Stella. Just us. I just want to see you. Only you. It's alright. You don't see anyone else anymore tonight. I feel like that's a new expression, but that may just be me. Lucy's chuckle is choked back as she offers me a stained smile. There, I did it again. I ruined everything for everyone again. I don't respond to that. None of this is your fault. She sighs. I need to go to the bathroom. It's okay. We'll go get some water or something while you're in. We'll take a minute. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. That, that did, that did not turn out well. <sighs> anyway. I watch her enter the restroom and re-enter the gym. I think there's lemonade and stuff by the food tables. Hey, you. God on his cross of rock, give me strength! Hey. Is Fang okay? No. Tell me about Fang. Are they happy? I'd say so. She and Nasser are on speaking terms. Did Fang say anything about me? Would they ever forgive me? Look, this shit, it ends now. She, she said she would have constant nightmares if you wanted to talk to her. Maybe it's gonna have been sorted out, but not today. You're doing more harm by staying here. Stay, yeah. You're doing more harm by staying here, though. I advise that you stay clear of her for now. She's getting teary. Better shut up now. It's okay. Tell Fet Lucy I only want her to be happy. Don't be a bother anymore. She'll never see. She'll never see or hear from me again. Told Spears to cancel the performance. I'm going home. Maybe there will be another chance sometime. Bye. She left. Oh well. I get the drinks and return to Lucy. She downs the whole glass in one shot. You good? Yeah, fuck! Splashing your face with water works wonders. I'm good to go. Look at the crowd gathering around the stage. Principal Spears into the podium. Set, th set there and taps on the microphone. Yeah, good to go. Speaking of... I, uh, wanna get some fresh air? Finally see a real smile from Lucy. Yeah, fresh air sounds pretty good right now. Hold my hand out and Lucy's hand links with it. Walking out of the stuffy gymnasium, we're met with a cooling evening air. I feel all the tension leave my body as Lucy's body presses close to my side. Cold? A little. I'm, uh, not used to wearing these. My hand leaves her before Lucy can... can ba... ba wait, can what? Can bulk? I wrap my, my arm around her. How's this? I can one-up this. <laughs> right, wings. The wings wrap around both of us as a feathered cloak of warmth. Want me to call a taxi or something? Nah, we can walk home. It's a 15 minute walk to her neighborhood, which is filled with comfortable silence for most of the way. I guess Lucy is as glad as I am to put everything that happened tonight behind us. As we round the corner past the bus stop, I let an auto audible groan as my eyes put land on a particular cart. It's that same hot dog vendor from before, illuminated under a street light in the same spot. She notices us almost immediately and begins widely waving. Does she know you? 
I shrug and shake my head as we continue to approach the vendor. <sighs> ah, well, if it isn't you, aka Weirdo with a Chef Hat, you're a hot dog vendor. So it's like, I understand the tongs. Why are you wearing a Chef Hat, though? Do you have a license for that? Well, if it isn't my favorite skinny, and you brought your lady friend. It's like 10 at night. You can't get that many customers this late, right? Hey, you're here, ain't, aren't you? No one gonna get for you two lovebirds. None says date night like some steaming hot pranks. I think we're good. We're just on our way back and... Uh <laughs> Fang's face goes bright red. She grasps her stomach. Uh, we left before we could eat, didn't we? Oops. Well, nobody ever misses prom food, right? Prom? Oh man, I was the life of the party of mine. Tell you, tell me you kids got got Reef City's dumb mascot. We shake our head. What? Well, you at least spiked the punch, right? More shaking. Seriously? Please tell me you egged the principal's car. No, we uh got into a fight. Vendor winces, but just as quickly puts on her smile. Oh, that's a bummer. You know, prom was, was where I discovered hot dogs are my true calling. They could be yours too, you know. Right. I don't think it will be. Look, can we just, like, get some food? Night's been a fucking wash. Night's still young, though. I listen to the sizzling meat as we wait. Look, kids, prom, it's not that special if you ask me. What makes something special is on you. For me, I think back to the shit I can actually remember. Carves the hell of a drug! <laughs> I'm getting off topic. Point is, the night isn't over yet. She motions to the table for us to sit at. Enjoy your dogs! Think about something to do with the rest of your night. Make it something worth remembering. I'm gonna start packing for the night, though. So that's enough chatter for me. Thanks. Random cameo is random. Lucy and I sit at the plastic folding table at with, with our artery clogging grease tubes. That grills these sometimes, but I never had one that wasn't just ketchup and mustard. Actually, I can't even tell what's all, what's all what's all on this. There's so much junk dumped on. They're just plain chili cheese dogs. Been hot minutes since I had one. Figured why not. I don't think I could ever actually eat a hot dog that was just more than just cheese for me. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... Eh, I'm just weird. She made a good point. What should we do with the rest of the night? Oh, in about five minutes, it's about to no longer be that time of, of your day. Lucy chews con contemplatively. Not sure she heard me or is giving a sound review. Whatever we do, I want to get out of this dress first. It's freezing. Think your dad will let us watch some movies or something? Don't know. Maybe. We only have cop movies and hunting documentaries though. I'm down for it. After finishing, we wave goodbye to the vendor and start down Lucy's neighborhood. Ah. Oddly enough, there's no cars in the drive driveway when we arrive. Folks get grocery this late at night? They probably took the opportunity to get to go on a date themselves. Remember the last time they took the occasion though? Then maybe three years? Lucy kicks over a rock in the in the walkway and gets the key tapped under it. Parents put it there instead of under the doormat? Nah, I put this here. They don't even know about it. Get kicked out for the night one too many times and find ways back in your own, in your in on your own. Lucy stretches when we walk in. I'll change back into normal clothes. Hang here a while, okay?
I, I nearly sit, sit in a normal place on the couch when I notice the armchair. <laughs> the Dow vacant armchair. That's for Lucy's dad only. Oh, how it calls to me. <laughs> oh. And you're back to normal. Phew, that's better. Anon? Lucy, what are you doing up this late at night? You better not be listening to that ratchet again. Oh my god. Anon, get out of there before, before you leave your sense. Sense? You can't be serious. Hey, it's your head on the line. Master sat there once and he ended up with a new scar. Suddenly I found myself seated in my in my normal spot after all. Didn't they actually run a date? If that's the case, the house is ours for at least an hour. <laughs> oh sweet, we're gonna raid your dad's liquor cabinet then? He doesn't have one. Mom would let him. Oh wow. Damn, he really is whipped. So, movie night then? Well I was thinking. Lucy took over the coffee table in the middle of the room and started pushing it aside. Uh, why are you doing that? With the living room now more open, Lucy approaches an, an antique stereo in the corner. I was really looking forward to dancing with you tonight. Double damn it. I thought I managed to get out of that. With a look in Lucy's eyes, I nod my head. Yes, I always wanted to try out Mom's lights. What? The music playing from the radio sounds positively agent. Well, what do you expect? Probably one of her parents' CDs. If it even uses CDs. Wait, what was that about lights? I don't know, actually, oh, okay, so I was about to say, I was like, wait a minute, I felt something for a second. Lucy pr practically skips to the light switch and dims them. She then flicks a hidden switch that casts the room in a hazy violet glow. What? <laughs> Whoa! What the heck? Whoa! That's actually, that's actually pretty cool. You, whoa! Whoa! I didn't know you had that. Whoa! That's like that's pretty neat. Wow. Does that mean does that mean like your parents and Nasa also have one, or is it just like a you thing? Like what you see? She turns back to me and the anticipation in her eyes makes me feel more nervous. Shit, I just remembered. Just so you know, I can't dance. And I mean, I really can't dance. Like, Quadrupelic with Down syndrome can't dance. But, yes, I've been waiting, waiting since forever. Her hand claps mine and Lucy doesn't seem bothered at all with how moist my palms are. Move to the impromptu dance floor, hand in hand, until we manage to find an open space. Right, okay. Like this? Meh, hand on her hip, I think. Try to take her right hand with my left, but Lucy shakes her head. Both of her arms wrap Lucy around my neck. Lucy's body is pressed against mine. The, the contours of her of her leaf frame fitting, fitting very well with mine. Oh hey, those alarms aren't broken! My left hand lands on her hip too, and now I can't stop thinking about how Lucy molds against my body near perfectly. Just follow, just follow my lead, okay? Mom gave me some lessons, and not stiffly. Lucy mutters a 1-2 count before taking a step back. Yeah, that's what I thought. My right foot falls and lands on her toes. Ow! Sorry. No, 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 don't worry. Just, uh, slowly, okay? Yeah, okay. Lucy repeats the step back. I step forward and, man and manage somehow. Then steps up to the side and I try to follow. Awkward steps continue like this. A couple successful steps, then I ruin it with a heavy step on her dainty toes. But slowly those failures are less and less common. By the third song, Lucy and I are finally managing a basic waltz. As the night goes on, the dance becomes more natural. In the light of various strobes, I'm able to relish the moment being this close, face to face. Whenever one of the lights passes directly through her eyes, they glow with the luster of cut amber, and her diamond pupils soften. There's no one else in the room right now, just us. Think it's going well? What? A prom night? It didn't go as planned. 
I like where it's taking us. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else right now. Me neither. The last song slowly fades away, leaving us in a comfortable silence in each other's arms. Under the black lights, I can fully take in Lucy's beauty. I feel humbled that she'd considered this horrible night to have still gone well. Lucy's eye become lit, litted as she leans in towards my face. I meet her halfway, her mouths m melding together. For all that happened tonight, and still, Lucy enjoyed it. Three months later. Eight months since I first joined Volcano High, and it felt like just yesterday. The sun bears down on us in an atmosphere that's more water than air. So I feel like I'm the only one feeling the heat right now. But the jacket stays on, right? Nasser finally took a day off from his part-time job working for, for Grub Club? <laughs> Grub Club, alright. So three of us went to the park for some, something of a picnic. <laughs> I will not make the delivery dance! Stop asking me to do it! At least tell me how often cost customers ransom your tips for it. Two. Often. Now stop asking! <laughs> Lucy tosses a fork full of the chili cheese fries onto Na Nasser's shirt. <laughs> he jumps immediately to his napkin to wipe it off. No! Relax, we're in another anyway. How and why I still don't know. It's for conditioning! That's not my training routine, even in the off season. I'm isn't even here leering over you like always. I'm dying here in just one jacket. How are you even alive? Well, my skin is pla- <laughs> I toss over a fork of fries on the other half of his shirt. <laughs> Lucy offers a, fist <laughs> offers a fist for me to bump while he recoils with half an inch expletives. Nice. Down the rest of my soda to keep alive and look down at my place. I don't look that hungry anymore. I should just toss. Hey, well, don't finish that. Uh, Gimme. Show my plate to him and rest my elbows on the picnic table. A familiar voice, chock full of cheeky energy, alerts me to, to her and her food cart's arrival. You're here again. What is this? A side character route? Like, jeez. Well, if it isn't my favorite high school sweetheart, I haven't seen you two for quite a, in quite a spell now. How are you two doing? What you been up to since graduation? Oh, you know, the usual, trying the future as an adult, trying to figure out what to do for a living, stuff like that. The more you think about it, the more daunting it becomes. You just gotta let go of your expectations and see where life takes you. Lucy makes it sound worse than it is. We've been out of school for like three months. Only three months? Gosh, this one's a lot more time passed since then. That's something I can wholly agree with. These last few months have felt like years to me, both in good and bad ways. So, do you have any plans now that you're both adults? The vendor's words, without realizing it, strike a very specific and very sore chord with Lucy. She suddenly wraps her arms around herself and shuts her eye. Before I can move to reassure Lucy, the street vendor notices the error of her words. What's wrong, Sug? Was something I said? N no, it's nothing. The street vendor gives Lucy a ra raised eyed look. Now, Sug, I can tell when someone's upset, and you right now are upset. So what's got you down all of a sudden? Lucy hesitates on hearing the words. She takes a second to seemingly think about what she'll say next before letting out a sigh. It's just, things are changing so quickly, and and it feels like I'm losing everything that I've come to love recently. Lucy shoots me a loving gaze before returning her attention to the street vendor. There's also the fact that I'll be so alone. You? Alone? What about that hunk of a boyfriend standing next to you right now? I did my best to try and hide the blush that's no doubt forming on my cheeks. He's... 
I mean, at least that's another side. One, this one more on the frustrated side. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. Oh, oh, my bad. I didn't mean to uh, join the military. Kind of wanted to bring this up here on the last day, last date Lucy and I could have. Yeah, he'll be gone, and I'll I'll cut up. I cut up contact with some people. Ah, you fell out with your old friends. Lucy gives the street vendor a sad nod. I don't really have any plans for the future. I... They always seem to change, and I could never decide. The street vendor gives my girlfriend the soft, understanding look as she places down her tongs and walks around on her food car so she's standing side by side with Lucy. I lost contact with my old high school friends as well, so never thinking anything's your fault. From what I see here, you still have what's most important. She gestures to me and then to Nasser, who looks up from the remains of my leftovers like a deer being caught in headlights. Uh, you got those from Berta, right? You know she put sawdust in the fryer just to save money? <laughs> what? Anyway, don't fret about friends or people you've lost along the way. I know it can be hard, but it's not the end of the world. You still have your health, you still have your youth, you still have your family. She returns her gaze back to me and gives me a smile. You haven't managed to scare, scare off all these years. Why? Oh, that's what he's saying, sorry. You haven't, you haven't managed to scare me off all these years. Why'd I stop now? Oh, look at me getting sentimental like I'm a grandma. I shouldn't be gushing like this. Your situation is probably much more complex than I think. No, no, that helps. You're right. I still have lots of people here for me. Sumer so seems satisfied with the answer. Don't get distracted by the what-ifs, the should-haves, and the if-only. Only the things that you choose for yourself are, are the truth of your world. Street Vendor gives Lucy a pat on the shoulder before returning to the helm of her food cart, which she wheels around with surprising dexterity. Hey, if you're learning to chew on someone's ear off with your woes, me and my delicious hot dogs are always available. <laughs> Freaking hot dogs. Without another word, the street vendor walks away in search of other customers to cater to, leaving me and Lucy to absorb her sagely advice. Before either of us can truly process what had just happened, Nasser walks up to us. All the while, wiping his hands and mouth with a napkin. <laughs> so, you guys ready to go? Lucy a glance. She returns it somewhat somberly. Yes. Nasser drives us back to my place in relative silence. He stops in front of my block and unlocks the door. See you tomorrow, man. Yeah. Well, enjoy last night together. Lucy and I step out of the car, and he speeds away like normal. Oh, boy, they're really dragging this as best as they can, aren't they? I've already shipped everything important back home and donated the books. Even the TV's gone. All that remains is the basic commodity commodities the place came with. But with Lucy here, it doesn't feel nearly as depressing as I thought it'd be. She must have heard this as she pressed closer to me, her head resting on my shoulder. I can rent a movie on my my phone for tonight. Sound like a plan? Actually, I wanted to look back through the pictures we took together. I nod in response. We rode together in my bed, staring at Lucy's phone app boot up. <laughs> the summer was well spent. Lucy and I got to go all over town. A well-documented series of escapades from local farmers markets to a guided tour through a docked warship. Lucy and I share fre frequent quips and anecdotes about our experiences. Oh no. I eventually the timeline goes back far enough for, for some familiar faces to start showing up unwelcome familiar faces that quickly get swiped past. 
As I keep swiping past older photos, I can see something in Lucy's eyes. I find it hard to describe. A mix of sorrow and longing for something I can't put my finger on. Lucy? My interjection snaps her out of her mood, and she sets her phone down gently on the empty computer desk. Sorry, I... Her eyes linger on the cellular device. I have at least two other phones with pictures in them. I don't think I'll ever look through those now. Or maybe I'll do it when, when I really feel like letting go was the best decision. Lucy casts her gaze around the barren room. It's not really fair to delete them, though. I could just forget about them. I'm good at forgetting things on demand. I take granted and give it a reassuring squeeze. Lucy sighs and exalted breath seems to expel her mood. Look at the clock and nearly jump. We have been looking at the at the pictures for a long time. One of that that hunger once again finds us. Move to the kitchen, look through my mini fridge. There isn't much left, just some green onions, pieces of beef, and five eggs. Meanwhile, Lucy looks through my pantry and cupboards for anything else to cook. After a minute of searching, she comes across two cups of Patchy Man ramen, just a week shy of their expiration dates. <laughs> I've discovered a new recipe! Oh, they don't sell some. The meal prep doesn't take too long for two adults. It isn't the most filling of dinners, but it would have pulled us over quite nicely until morning. With our feast finished and with nothing else to do, now that all my stuff is packed and shipped off to rock bottom, Lucy and I just returned to my bed. Well. Close my eyes for a bit, trying to get lost, lost in my girlfriend's warm, warm embrace. Suddenly, I feel a jab on my ribs. I look down at Lucy, who's poking at my chest. Uh, Lucy, what are you doing? Oh, just making sure. Making sure of what? You know, that you're, ac you're all healed up. Lucy, it's been five and a half months since the act. Accident. I think I'm pretty healed by this point. Lucy doesn't stop poking me. If anything, she she increases the ferocity of her pokes, going not for just my chest, but also my stomach and armpits. But Lucy, cut it out! I try to be stoic, but I can't help but giggle as Lucy turns to a literal tickle monster. I said to return the fear by Osa poking at her, star starting with her stomach and gradually moving up to her chest and armpits. Finally, hover at a finger over her snoot, mischievous grin spreading over over my lips. <gasps> Don't you dare! Yes, do it, do it! <gasps> I let her giggle as I boop the snoot. <laughs> he even says it. Boop. That seems to do it, and Lucy pulls me closer to her, wrapping me in a tight and warm hug. I return the embrace, tempted to resume my tickling assault. But far too comfortable in my tarot GF's embrace to care about anything else in the world. As her laughter dies down, it comes to my mind this might be the last time I get to hold her like this. I'm going to the army tomorrow. I'm going to get shipped off to who knows where. There's a good chance I might not be coming back. It brings the situation to a somber light. I told my embrace on Lucy, the more primal part of my mind, I wanted to let go of her. <laughs> Razor of prep. I press my head against her chest. Her heartbeat get, greets me. It's soft yet hastened, like it's trying so desperately to come off as calm and relaxed when it knows what's terrible future awaits. A heartbeat I may, I may never hear again. You know what breaks my own heart? I can feel Lucy's hands traced along my shoulders and across my, my neck to cover my face. Her angelic hands ever so gently guide me to look into her eyes. She has a smile with a hint of mischief. Before I realize where this is going, her finger lands on my nose. Boop. <laughs> her smile winds to a playful grin I can't help but join in. Such a beautiful sight to behold. How can I resist? I inch closer and our lips meet. More kissing! Too bad you don't get to see it. All in all, isn't that bad of a night at all? Oh my god, we're still going. How long- We're actually- how, Wait, how long have we actually been since we started this? How long on it? 40 minutes? We, we, okay, a good thing I stopped where I did. We still have over more than 40 minutes. I woke I woke up absolutely spent, covered in feathers and Lucy's ambro 
Ambrosia sent hangs heavy over the, the bed sheets. Lucy's already awake and she's bathed before me. Now she's rummaging through my fridge for whatever food we have left. Rather than waste time asking the obvious, I have to hit the shower. As the water strips away last night sent off me, I get to thinking how Lucy must be feeling right about now. I imagine what tomorrow will be like, not just for me, but also for Lucy. How suddenly she's about to have another cha big change thrust upon her life. The third or fourth one this year. For the non not for the non binary thing to the bands, the betrayal, and finally having a human boyfriend. Once that would go so abruptly. Spresh hasn't gone insane after all she's endured. Right? Open the bathroom door and see Lucy sitting on my bed, staring blankly at her phone and swiping across messages. What's up? Nancy will be here in about an hour. Knowing him, it'll probably take 40 minutes. 10 bucks he was in a set of skid marks on the road outside. <laughs> Sit next to her on the bed. What are you checking? Old messages and photos. You know, it's weird. Is that enough pictures of you in here? Hold on, let's fix that. <laughs> Lucy raises her phone and points its camera lens at me. Stop smiling, you look retarded. <laughs> nice. Alright, cool. We go silent again for maybe a minute or two. Your brain sounds broken when Lucy lets out a heavy sigh. Do you really have to go? I cannot but let out a heavy sigh of my own. Today I'll get on a bus, and it'll be a be a Michael Tarpid movie for a few years. I honestly never thought these last few months were ever gonna end. Heavy sounds between Lucy and me for a few seconds. It still feels wrong to me, you know? That I'm still too new at this that I'm still too new at this boyfriend stuff. That I never get get the hang of it. That if only I had a few more months of practice, maybe I could be better at it. Lucy lets out a short snort. I mean, you're not that bad at it. Most of the time, anyway. I let out a single, bitter chuckle. I must have been the single most boring guy you've ever dated. <laughs> Lucy lightly puts me on the shoulder. That's bullshit and you know it! If anything, I'm the boring one! Lucy deflates and she grabs on, onto her right arm. I mean, take away my my spikes, wristbands, and stompers. What do you have? The wonderful girl that single-handedly changed my life? Huh? Goddamn bubbling! I uh, never really thought about it. Pussy trying hard at being tough was endearing it to me. At least when you weren't physically assaulting me. There's something else, though. I knew when we were talking on the rooftop. I wish I knew what that was. Lucy cringed, her hands moving to cover her face. Emotions warred across her face as she tried to form coherent words. I, I can't, can't stop wondering what we saw back in me then. All this time we've been hanging out, I still can't comprehend why you stuck around us. Me! I consider for a moment, and a memory smashes its way to my forefront of my thoughts. I consider for a moment, the expression on her face sort of reminded me of something. It's probably just left over embarrassment from the concert, but she seemed to have a lo lost look on her face. Or maybe it was confusion. Or a mix of the two. Either way, something on her mind. I cannot but think that that must be how I looked on my first day. I think I felt like you. Lucy stares at me pleadingly with those beautiful citrine eyes of hers. For the longest time, I didn't know who I really was or what I wanted to be. The time I grew up in Lucy's hand stared deep into her eyes. Lucy, whatever you want to do. Lucy responds, glances away, and one almost feels like shame. Almost instantly, I realize why. It was your idea. She just wanted so bad to avoid the subject, and here I was dredging it up, twisting the metaphorical knife deeper into the wound. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring her up. 
Please, don't think about Trish that way. She's not at fault. I'm just a fucking idiot. Lucy. I just... Forget that I have to walk on eggshells around certain topics. Professor Steven jabs me in the ribs. Ow. <laughs> Crosses her arms lets out a single scoff. Like I have to be careful when I catch you muttering watching the newest season of Underage Panty Shot Quest. And having war flashbacks. <laughs> war flashbacks? What? Fits through through the night? Oh, what's wrong? Please stop crying because you remember the projector incident. War flashbacks? Won't go to war for at least a month after I pass boot camp. S assuming I pass, that is. Because he raises an eyebrow. Rock bottom, war, Vietnam. You know what I'm saying. Moved on, okay? Just like how you moved on from that non-binary non, non liberal Trish mi mentalitism, right? Who said I did? Lucy folds her arms and puts her head on her, on her hands. I... <sighs> I didn't work out as a tough person. I didn't work out as a big musician. I sure as hell didn't work out as a good girlfriend. Look at us. This whole thing with making everyone's lives around me hell, testing waters with identifying my gender, it's a complete disaster. You can't really compare the damage I did to myself to you jerking off to cartoons, okay? Lucy's eyes in wide in horror as she face films and falls back on bed. Fuck, I might have said too much. We ruined our last day together with stories from when I was just a shit person. His eyes start to shimmer. Hey, it's fun to compare. I still like you, so I guess girls have it easier. As he picks herself up and gives me a narrowed-eyed stare. You just like me? <laughs> her eyes droop and so do her shoulders. I'm not sure if she's serious. She suddenly tosses herself into my arms. She puts her whole weight into her embrace, almost like she wants to tackle me. Shelting us both arrive, but the awkward angle and the unevenness of, of, the, of the bed eventually causes us both to fall back into bed. The world really disappears when we're like this. I think I'm infinitely glad for it. Anna, do you like me better the way I was before? Or would you like me better for who I am now? I say my next, my next words without hesitation. You're much better now. Not cutting weeds in my eyes and kicking me in the face. Though I guess you miss your old life. It must be like a killjoy in comparison. Lucy slides her head over my shoulder and wraps her arms up from, from underneath me. I don't care about that. This is so much better. I don't like being forced to care about something I'm usually indifferent towards. I pay attention to what someone thinks is... More important than what I'm already thinking about. That's what I've figured out on my own, you know? I'm talking about me wanting us to marathon Lucky Star, then fine, I'll stop. <laughs> Lucy pulls away from our embrace, just enough for me to see the red of her cheeks and tears striking from her eyes. You, you fucking dork! Let out a small chug as I wipe away some of her tears. I just like seeing you ramble. You'll find stuff that interests you. Just do you, Lucy. Forehead's touch. She grabs my face with both her hands. As all the while looking at me like I'm the most precious thing in her life. All I want to do is bring her closer to me. I want to keep picking apart her brain. Become acquainted with every single corner of her mind. And still realize there's something, something more to her. I love you, Lucy, so very, very much. Anon, I love you so very, very much. Goddamn mumbling. Is that it? Where's the- Oh my god, this is actually long!
Master somehow manages to defy our expectations by being late for once. But that's good. It gives Lucy and I a chance to spend the next ten minutes gathering the last of my belongings and trashing what I what I couldn't take. With the apartment cleaned cleaned and cleared, I leave the keys on the kitchen counter, spraying one last look at the place I called home for the for the last few months. As much as it sucked, the tiny excuse of a flat had been my sanctuary. Not that I was leaving him, Pardon felt like I was losing a friend. I'm trying to think too much about it as Lucy and I make our way outside. Nasser isn't here yet, so we end up standing by the apartment lobby with nothing but our thoughts. Pardon me thank Nasser for his lateness. It gave, me, it gave Lucy and I more time together. Uh... <laughs> First to speak up and break up the silence between us. What am I going to do when you're gone? These words surprise me, but I'm ready for the answer this time. You'll make it, Lucy. You're the only smart person I know. Lucy gives me a deadpan look. I'm being serious here. So am I. You're capable of so much. Lucy bashfully turns her head away, appreciating the compliment. Thanks, what about you? You really survived the stairs. <laughs> I cannot believe my eyes at Lucy's words. Thanks for having so much faith in me. Subconsciously, I let out a sigh. I know you have plenty of fun getting back to your own life, especially since there's no semester in the fall to hold you back. And the mosh pits will, will not be as entertaining without you fumbling around awkwardly in them. I could do without them. You, on the other hand, seem to go back to that. What do you mean? Back to the mosh pits, meeting strange people, having fun, maybe going for that solo career I know you can achieve. A sobering thought races to the forefront of my mind. We might not see each other again. The possibility that... I, I don't want to hold you back or make you, make you waste your life waiting for me. Lucy got better, so, so I should too. But I'll never forget you, Lucy. Never. <laughs> this is serious. Are they seriously dragging this love part? So I kind of feel like they are. Like, wow, they're like really dragging this as long as they can. Lucy stirs like she's got she got stabbed in the heart. Fuck, that hurts like hell. It's not like that at all. You, I. Struggles to find words, her beautiful face marred by her wearing emotions. Lucy, it's okay. It's her hand gently in mine, which seems to settle her thoughts at last. At last, Lucy lets out a soft sigh. When I laid on you all that bunch of bullshit and would open up to you on the roof, my baggage, you said the worst of me, didn't you? All the questionable and weird shit it must have done back then that resulted in me? I thought I could be the better man and not judge you. That was still you, though, and I, and I came to care for you. It's all in the past, then. The painful tone of her voice makes my heart ache. Lucy, you're still you. She looks really conflicted on the inside, like she's being held, holding back something. Anon, I. Please, no, it doesn't matter now, alright? I hate what I did so much. I want to pretend absolutely none of that happened. I. Voice cuts out. She chews the bottom of her lip. She's afraid of her memories will be painful, but for me, that whole discovery myself was let me into t into talking, hanging out with people like Trish. Her voice is a hiss. If she's if, if she's spitting venom with those words. The gender pronoun shit. No wonder high school sucked. No one would ever come near me and stick around to see what it, where it went. I was associated to everyone that it, that didn't get it. People that begged me to be like them. They didn't care about me either. She growls. Tears threaten to fall from her eyes. It was always a competition to see who had the worst baggage, and I always lost because I never had that had it that bad. And I said to so much on this this thing. Lucy finally lets out a sob. 
I never wanted to do wanted, never wanted to dump all my baggage on you. It wasn't right. It it's I draw her closer, my hand rubbing the space between her wings soothingly. Lucy, it's okay. You're not all, all out now. Lucy buries her face in my shirt and takes a deep breath. The thing I used to be, I never realized. It was so humiliating. Nasser might have known. He suffered so much because of it. I think my parents also knew, knew too. They made them suffer so much for no real reason. Fuck. So blind to what I was doing to everyone for, for, for so long. I think I was so convinced that being that thing would make me happy. But it was never meant to be. I really was just an ungrateful bitch. Lucy's hand squeezes me as tight as she can muster, causing some discomfort. At last, she leans her head back, offering me a watery smile. I accept it, though. She needs this. I look deep into Lucy's citrine eyes, revealing my most comforting smile back. Before I could do anything else with my girlfriend, I heard the sound of tires screeching and the roar of an engine. A familiar gray toned car pulls right next to us, stopping so abruptly that it leaves a set of skid marks. Lucy reaches into her pocket and pulls out a $10 bill. Much for her to keep it. Someone told me that where I was going, I won't be needing money. Soon, as the car comes to a complete stop, its, it's driver disembarks, all the while munching on the remains of a de delectable looking hot dog. Oh, we actually do know her name. It was just that vendor. Tracy's Hot Hot Dog Cart. So that, so that girl, so that other chick was called Tracy. Was her thing supposed to be like Triceratops or something? Cause you know, Trey. Well, no, I, well. No, but actually that doesn't make any sense because Trish was the Triceratops. So what the fuck was it? Like some sort of something else? Okay, you know, I'm, I'm overthinking this. We need to get this going I'm, before uh, my mind goes into deep theory. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, this is... Nasser chomps on the last of his meal and licks his fingers clean with a satisfied smile. Anyways, are you ready to go, or do you guys need a few more minutes? Look at the time on my phone. As I wanted to st time to stand still, the bus departing to boot camp would be leaving in less than an hour. Giving one last look as she turn, as she in turn looks at me. Both know what needs to happen next. Doesn't make it any less painful. <laughs> like at all. Without another word, Lucy and I get in the back of the NASCAR. NASA, without a moment of hesitation, floors the gas pedal and he flies off down Skin Row's small streets. Pretty bids, pretty bids my old neighborhood, shitty as it was, a final farewell. Drive towards the pickup spot is quiet. Not one of the three of us want, wants to say a word. Fifteen minutes of silent driving, we arrive at my designated pickup location. The three of us get out of the NASCAR and stand around the bus stop, waiting for the inevitable. Lucy mentioned needing to do something, heading into the office. The silence between Nasser and I was deafening. Nasser suddenly clears his throat. Listen. Yeah? Uh, you're gonna be gone for a while. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, riflemen or infantry or whatever it's called, huh? What are they gonna make you do? Something like digging ditches? <laughs> Not to come off as rude or anything. I sigh and shake my head. Lizzie was starting to catch his poor words now. I mean, yeah, I'll be doing that too, but they have me taking ASVAB test. They wanted to do some more mechanical stuff. I think the code thing was 12k, 19k. They were pushing me into being a tank guy. Can you even drive, dude? And I decided something 
I thought it was something more up my alley. It's kind of like shit posting, but more official, I think. <laughs> what? What did you decide on? That's like that. That's like that. Uh. What shit posting? <laughs> we never. He, how how out of touch are you? How out of touch are you to not know what a shit post is? No, never mind. The number, the number thing is forty six R. Nelson nods his head and looks off. Before silence can set in again, Nasser speaks up, his voice carrying a tone of relief. I've been to say for a while. Thanks. I mean it. I didn't know what I was doing for a while. If you didn't take the hit and get us together at most, I'd still be feeling sorry for myself like some loser. Honestly, I'd still be that scared little kid stressing over being something I didn't need to be. I didn't do much at all. It was mowing Rosa, really. It was even Lucy that patched things up, and I'm glad you guys made amends. It was giving me a surprised look, but he smells and nods. You hear the unmistakable roar of a city bus overpowering the other cars that turns onto the street. Still a few lights away, though, so Nasser gets back in the driver's seat to leave Lucy and I alone. She used to come back at some point. I was kind of happy she kept quiet to give me and Nasser a moment. All this time, we avoided saying goodbye to each other, but eventually it has to happen. Lucy. Anon. A horrifying tugging pain hits me in the chest. You'll be fine while I'm gone, right? Yeah. I still have no idea what I'm going to, what's going to happen to her. I reprehend any thought that something bad might happen to her. But still, can you promise me that if I do see you again, that you'll be a better person? Us both, better persons. Okay. I'll be a better person. But you have to promise me something too, that you'll come back. I mutter. Okay. She mutters. Okay, good. It's settled then. We hugged once again, but she put some serious muscle into it. I, re I recipro reciprocate. Wouldn't feel the imprint of this embrace for hours. Her heart's racing, stronger. The bus driver grows impatient and starts honking. The time has come. Sure enough, I was still feeling Lucy's hug after we separated. Nasser rolls down the window of the car. Good luck, man. Same, man. I gripped his hand. He squeezed my hand in return and, and then recoiled. My grip was stronger than he was anticipating. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well. I got inside and waved back at them. Give the driver my regards and laid back, looking at my feet. I must have thought about a lot of things then. Like what if I just jumped out of the window and ran to her? Or if I would die and never see her again, like in that green green new music video. I hope I'd see if I could still get a glimpse of her. My eyes frantically search there's the small figures, and there she was. I caught her mid motion, crying in Nasser's shoulder. And the bus rounds a corner and they're gone. Vanish from each other's lives. I was dropped at a hotel with the other dudes. A surprisingly diverse crowd of humans and dinosaurs converse. We waited for another bus that took us to an airport. I think I might have slept as soon as I saw that the airplane I sat on the airplane seat because I don't remember the takeoff or the drill. I was fortunate enough to get a seat by the window. I flipped up and saw the desert with a two-lane road cutting through. I don't even know where I am now. Only that I'm nowhere near Lucy. God, I hope, hope, hope I see her again. Three years later... Oh, God. Well, Caldera Bluffs, new duty station. Recruiting teens to suffer just like I did. Good times, good times. My rug... Buck stuck on my back and a cheap rolling case at my side to make my way down to my old stomping ground for some cheap living. Three years. I wonder if Lucy still lives here. Two buildings that got 
in the Galleria, not to mention it's gone even more labyrinthine. So I'm reflecting off the mirror, polished windows are baking me alive with my GDUs. Thinking back, I think there's a park nearby that has a decent vending machine. I went through retracing my steps for my senior year, I managed to find the park. Whoa, hey, that's this is new. Looks like they're holding some kind of festival with all the booths set up and Tyranno Tykes running around. It's an occupied picnic bank. Miraculously, I set some of my heavy bags carrying my entire life down. Pop open my water bottle. Holy fuck! Damn! Damn, man, look at him! Holy. Wow! Dude got rugged! Wow! Wait, just wait. I don't get. Wait, is is something bad supposed to happen like here? To see, this doesn't seem like a bad ending so far yet. Like I thought, it's like, oh yeah, then we leave, and then it's like I died, and I never saw her again. It's like, damn man, we should have done better. But it's like, no, okay, we're actually alive. Oddly, sitting here can't help but reminisce about the last time I was here. There's an awful lot of I left behind here, like my high school sweetheart. Dick Smile Platoon never did believe me. Then again, I didn't want to show that photo album her mom gifted me. God, I miss her. I wish she ever still remembers that promise. Oh! Anon? Hmm? Good to see that. I look up to see a pterodactyl in a floral print dress running full tilt towards me. You remembered! What?! Whoa! She's actually alive! And she's slightly older! What? Yeah, also what? What? What the heck? You're alive! What? Sam's prepared to take her down. Quite prepared, however. She learns that me before I think to grab my chief ass Kabar. Her beak matches roughly against my lips. What? Chris, my answer because my hand reflexively hold my, my <laughs> armor as attack her by her hips. Wait, pulled back, both for Aaron to figure out if this is who I think it was, and not some well, well-dressed, sexual harassing lady hobo. Lucy? Whoa! Whoa! Face actually makes sense here. Whoa! Damn! What? Wow, this is not like the other two at all. This is so far seemingly not bad. I mean, our guy went to the army instead of whatever he was doing else, but it's like, they're back. That's a rare sight. You remembered our promise. Right, right. Yeah, the promise. Then I come back and be with you. How could I forget? If I have a chance to take Lucy in. Gone is the halter top, torn jeans, and spiky horn band. In their place, a simple golden sundress and a large red ribbon tied around her head crest, looking for the world to be, looking for the world like a pair of red bunny ears. Her hands remains on my shoulders. I can see that she's checking me out now. I'm proud to say I'm no longer a blanket, like lit, especially how my uniform blouses rolled up sleeves feel like they're cutting off the blood flows of my hands. You really changed since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're safe after all these years. I got so worried for you. What if something happened overseas? <laughs> Why is this an idea like a movie? <laughs> what if you got lost or hurt? What if you never returned at all? Hey, have more faith in me. Still got all my limbs, right? I think I bruised too bad. Like, uh, remember that time I fell down the stairs? I'm pretty indestructible, yeah? Maybe I'll wave her before showing my scars. Wow, you're pretty amazing. What you been up to? Oh, I got my associates and then... What? <laughs> Miss Lucy! Fang shrugs. And then this. A little T-Rex runs up to the table. Miss Lucy, Miss Lucy! Now Vince, there's no need to yell this close. Vince. What's wrong? I was talking with Jared and he, and he said he said that earthquakes happen when when my mommy gets out of bed. Tell him it's not true. <laughs> I 
<laughs> tell him that his mommy has a secret daddy she doesn't tell anyone about. Anon! Okay! Oh no, you don't! Jerry, get over here! What? We swing up the squad, but Lucy slums over at the picnic table again. Want to get you a water bottle or something? No thanks, I had lemonade earlier. Here's some annual town hunting celebration. This year the people in charge had extra funding. So today they're letting the local schools have a field trip here for free of charge. Need another chaperone? I love to, but parents get really upset about this sort of thing. You have to be qualified and certified to look after these guys. <laughs> what? Oi! Night... Na... Na... a toy... Mo... 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 License, yeah? Pray a bon... Bonkers, yeah? I chuckle... I chuckle around my own... My own silly acts and Lucy's giggles echo in my mirth. Lucy goes slowly melt away and trick trickling tear leaves from her eye. You're really back. Yeah, I am. <laughs> what? Crumbs wrap around me tightly, as if afraid I'll disappear at any moment. Hand rubs to confirm. Com rubs comforting circles around her back, soothing her. Yeah, I'm back, Lucy. So why you waited for me here? Of course, that promise means the world to me. We stay embracing the hot sun for just a moment longer before I let her go again. Lucy's gaze lingers on the children, her eyebrows knit together in contemplation. Look at them. Fang points towards the kids, screaming and falling over each other. We were all like this at some point. Stupid. Yeah, no, I mean careless. Innocent. Suppose we were. She lets out a sigh. One day they're gonna start thinking and doing all the wrong things we, th we thought and did what we were t when we were teenagers. I wish I could stop it from happening. They're perfect just like this. Kids can be mean to each other. But not cruel. The world makes them cruel. Until then, they're free. We gotta protect their freedom. Save them from our mistakes. That's quite a statement to hear from her. You've changed. I think now would be a good time to for a segue. Guess you're doing good. How's everyone else? Everyone else? You know, Nasser, Trish, Naomi, Reed, all those guys. Oh, Nasser went to medical school. She closes her eyes though, trying to recall lost memory. Whoa, look at that face. Damn. Haven't seen Naomi though. And the others? Haven't seen them since either. But you're here now. And now that you're back, I'm never letting you go again. I'm not going anywhere. Sweet tooth. Lucy rolls her eyes. And if you said that back then, I'd have hit you. Yeah, and then I've just done it ag again because you're cute when you're annoyed. I guess we both changed since then. Oh yeah? How so? I mean, when I first enrolled, I had every intention of just laying low and not sti sticking out. I didn't care about making friends as long as I, as long as I suited that goal. As long as I didn't get bullied anymore, I, I was just glad to just blend in. Guess that plan fell apart, <laughs> right? It did, yeah. I kinda blame you for that development. Ha! Made you care about people. You did. If you could chase after each other around the table. You get any break time today? I'd love to check I'd love to check the town, see what else is different. I'd love to, I'll go ask. I might get a few minutes to step away. Yeah, we go yeah, we could we could go and check Volcano High again, for all time's sake. She freezes for a second. I'd rather not Volcano High. Too many bad memories. Lucy ended up getting the rest of the day off from her supervisors. I'm surprised at understanding they were once they saw me. They said it deserved after a hard day's work. You do look exhausted dealing with the ankle biters. Not at all. Truth be told, I love doing what I do. Wow, that is a very pretty picture.
And I'm drinking a lot of water because, oh my god, this is still going. Catching up with Lucy was the happiest I felt in years. The memories came rushing back as we wa walked under the hot sun. So I don't know at all how Trish and Reed and Trish are doing. Oh, when was the last time I spoke with them? I hope Trish is alright. Two of you were friends for the longest time. I guess I didn't feel the need to see them again. Looking back, they were terrible influences. I guess so. And Cell and Rosa? I haven't seen them either. Seems weird considering Rosa was such a such a help to us. Don't get me wrong, I love what Rosa did for me, Nasser and you, but I guess I just didn't need them need to see her anymore. Didn't want to see anyone else for that matter. Must have friends in the army, back at Rock Bottom right before that, right? They're gone from your life too. Nothing wrong with that. Haven't you looked for them? I don't want to. The scenery here seems familiar. Oh, this is my old path to school. Maybe we'll get to see it after all. Well, let's just turn away. To Moe's or somewhere. Uh, I wanted to see a school again, though. No, Anon. I think we just repeat each other. I get upset over nothing and I apologize. Sorry, I just... I don't want to remember Volcano High. I just... I did too much dumb stuff there, you know? I just want to forget all that happened. Moe's is fine, too. Do you want to see how that fossil's doing? Uh, actually, Mo retired. He sold his franchise. Oh, well, we can still go check it out. This is still going. It took a while to get there, getting to be a nearly f five when we arrived at Mo's. We were our usual and picked the table. You can see the old piano in my peripheral vision. But that's... I've been asking so much about what you're doing now, but what happened while I was away? I remembered your promise. I tried improving myself, like, really tried. But things kept getting difficult. For a while, I gave up. There were times I'd cry. I would think back to when you were here and miss you so much. I don't want to worry you with the details of what I did during that time, but... I guess I realized something. All this time, I was a huge dick to my family. I idealized things too much and lashed out to them for not being on the same page as me. I wanted to be a rock star, so I wanted them to behave a certain way I think would fit for that lifestyle. I was being unfair and unrealistic towards them. I wanted them to hate me and somehow that was going to further my career. It looked, like it, worked for a, it looked like it worked for a lot of famous people. I didn't want to make a family sad anymore, but I just did what I've always should have done and learned to love them, to thank them for all they did for me. So I get playing? Let's see what else you compose over the years. It should be great. No. I just gave that up. What? Really? I'm such a huge part of you. I don't need it anymore. Plus it reminded me too much of Trish. Put away the instruments somewhere and never played anything ever again. Then what have you been doing all these years? They need help with the, ch with the charity events. He bought, he bought food and he needed me to help him carry around since Nasser was away in college. So this is going to be a boring evening with a bunch of brass, but I saw something. I saw the children. They ran around me. They offered me toys to play with. I joined them. Lifted them from the ground. Some clung to my legs. I moved about. No one ever played with me like that. No one approached me like like that. It was so pure. So innocent. I should have sent them a, p a picture of you in your high school clothes. That would be hilarious. But yeah, I enjoyed my time with the children so much. So I asked around my church and and eventually I got a gig dealing with preschoolers. <laughs> what? She looks so happy right now. I feel like I would ruin the mood to bring up Trish, Reed, and the others again. You know, part of me expected you to forget about the whole promise. That I come back that I come back and some lucky dino guy had already swept you off your feet. She just smiles and gives me a small laugh. <laughs> right? Like I was like that would also have been worse. It's like it's like ah, I finally came back, and then it's like ah, sorry. She, you know, either like she's dead or I guess that it's like. But so far, this is seemingly kind of just okay. I don't know. Didn't make us have to tell that my boyfriend was just deployed and coming home soon. She was stroking my hand on the table. 
And I'll never forget about you or our promise. Part of me, she's glad she's saying this to me, but I still have too many questions. It's here because I know she's happy. She looks happy in her work, and she's glad I'm here. This thing deflates the moments. I don't know what it is. I look towards the decorative piano Moe's always had in the corner. Look, Fang, the piano. What about it? You think they'd let us play it? I don't know, it's probably out of tune. Might be worth a shot, come on. But you can't play, then you play. Oh! Oh. Wow, this is a very pretty picture, damn. As we sit by the piano, I think she understands what I'm teasing, why I'm teasing her like that. I open the lid, the keys look rather pristine. And on I... Her fingers lightly roll across the keys. She retracts herself. I haven't played in a long time. I don't know if I can still do it. I basically still remember how to do it. She positions her hand just above the keys. I haven't done this in years. I don't even know which song to play. I want to see you play, that's all. I want to hear you after all this time. Alright. She gave out a sigh, but then... What to play? I seem to glimmer for a moment. I know. Oh. Remember this? It might be too quiet. Actually, it might be too quiet. Here, let me actually... Remember this? It was our song, remember? We made it together. <laughs> I still got it. I always thought of this melody when I thought about you. I guess I never forgot how to do it. Though I'd be rusty with the piano. You played beautifully. Thank you. I sit closer to Lucy. She rests her head on my shoulder. Her hands are still resting on the keys, eager to play again. You shouldn't have abandoned music. We talked about what we would do now, especially since it was getting dark outside and the street lights were coming on. We walked our way back to where we started, near the park. I don't know, it's just so weird. A music teacher? I don't know. Could be cool if you tried. Thing is shivering. The colder it... Older air is settling in. Here, this will get you warmer. Damn! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this is so far not. What? How is this a bad ending? I mean, I guess like. I mean, I guess it's because of how it's like, oh, Fang now only has you and not her friends. But I don't know. <laughs> I draw Lucy close to my chest. She snuggles up to me. Thank you. She's precious. Being taller now, I guess the animal part of my brain is telling me to protect the smaller, more fragile mate. Little by little, I'll get you back to music. Your friends? I'm sure it'll all work out fine towards the end. Lucy stirs. She doesn't like the idea. Please don't ask me to do that. I'm not ready. How are you not ready? I lied, okay? I lied, I disappointed you. I promised that we would get better, but you're really not happy with how I turned out. 
Nonsense, you've no idea how proud I am of you. I'm still broken. I haven't started preening again because I had no no one. But remembering I promised you and Nasser I wouldn't do it anymore hurt even more so. But that was years ago. I swear I tried getting better. Forgive me. No one sighing this time. He wanted me to live my my own life. But this great person he wanted me to be. Yet, he, yet I'm here doing menial church tasks and dealing with children. I've no friends, no new songs, none to go on for me. No need to be fa a famous musician to make you happy. I no need to have forgiven Trish and the others. But it just didn't work out. I couldn't do it. I'm lonely, and you're all that's left for me. You need to you need to be all that to be happy. I still think you're the best. Forget it. What's done is done. We're here. That's all that matters. <laughs> Seriously, holy crap! My guy's huge. Wow. Wow. Like, look at this. Look at like look at look at this. She's like, like we grew some height. Meanwhile, L L Lucy slash Fang stayed like the exact same height. So it's like, wow. Are there actually like charts telling us how, like the actual like height of characters? I embrace her, I could tell she was getting tense, but slowly she relaxes in my arms. Was it that we're, we're being together what was all that matter? She hugged me back. I'm here. And I still can't believe it. Lucy is shaking with excitement in my arms now. I heard him thinking of all kinds of things we could do. Fuck, just knowing I won't see you until tomorrow already hurts me. I can you to see mom and dad right now. You get a kick out of seeing you like this. Uh, not right now. There'll be too much for them to take in. I have to unpack, too. Got a little room in a motel for now. Would you like some help? I thought to deny her, but Lucy's eyes are pleading with me to say yes. I've got quite a bit. You sure? All the more reason to help. Alright, then. My motel isn't too far from here. I wasn't kidding when I said I had a lot to unpack. Between all the luggage I had brought back with me and the heavier memories of my time spent in the arid deserts, I saw and felt a different side of Lucy I had partially forgotten. Her tender hands rubbing soothingly across the scars, now littered across my chest. We stayed up until the warm morning glow of dawn lit up the messy motel room. Clothes, paperwork, and useless knickknacks I collected were scattered everywhere in an organized chaos. And yet I've never felt more rest and at peace with the world than with Lucy cuddled up next to me. A piece shattered by my stomach, demanding sustenance loudly. How about we get some breakfast? My tree. A breakfast date sounds nice. Say, how about we invite my family? I'm sure Mom would love to see you again. Probably would too, however. I would have just spend it with just you, Lucy. I grin as I watch Lucy's face turn beet red. You were never this smooth a talker. Fine, but I definitely want them to see you. Tomorrow then? Tomorrow. I'll tell them first. Get them hyped to see you. That would be great. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Pretty. Kind of almost looks like a Yume Suki background. We made our way towards her car door, but before getting in, she once again embraces me, this time a little stronger. Oh. It's okay, Lucy. I was so lonely. You need to be alone, you know. I'm so glad you're here. I missed you. I missed you too, Lucy. But I miss the old fang. I'm elated. I love you, Lucy. Oh, hey! Volcano High School Musical. Ha! Ah, I see what you did there. Oh! Okay, so how long did that ending take? <laughs> I didn't- okay, for one, I didn't even realize the, uh, screen was way- was way smaller. What the heck? Okay, oh, what is happening? Why is it doing that? Screen, stop. 
Do we need to like refocus it? Okay, I'm just. I didn't even realize the screen was smaller. Oh no! Don't don't do that. This is about as big as I can get it. I don't know what happened while I was gone, but I guess the screen decided to get wonky. Oh my god, look at that face. <laughs> Sad fang. More backups! <laughs> look at that. There actually are some scenes here that I'm not sure where it's supposed to be. Like that right there. Where's that supposed to be? <laughs> we, uh, you know, kind of want to do this an April Fool's joke. Just read the entire game in Spanish. Oh, hey, look at that. This one's different. Yeah, it's, it's dog tags and a cross now instead. That was not a bad ending, actually. That seemed like a kind of like a good ending. Kinda. I don't know, I guess maybe this is like the, hey, you and she got along and you're, you're doing things good. Or I guess it maybe like the more like, ah, best ending kind of thing. Right? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What? Oh! <laughs> no fucking way! Whoa! They're married! They're actually married! Oh my god! Look at that! Oh no! No, don't go away! Oh, that was so beautiful! That was beautiful! I wanna look at that again. I wanna look at that again. Give me a second. I actually looked at the other stuff just to go and get the gallery a bit more up. Where is it? Where the frick is it? I need to know. Where is it? Yeah, okay, bad. Blah blah blah. Where is it? Where where is it? Come on. There it is. Whoa! Oh my god, she's beautiful! Look at her, she looks so pretty! She looks so pretty! Oh, she looks so pretty. And a non-looking, well, he actually looks kind of, he's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, you can see them in the car, look how happy they are. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Man, then all this. Okay, well, slight spoiler if you actually saw it. And then obviously then we, we also have this and it's like, yeah, you know what? That's good. We did, we did good guys. We did good. <laughs> you know, oh, I didn't even realize the person in front is Mo here, I think. Oh my God. We did it. We fucking did it, lads. <laughs> All right, well. Because of it, we now have also all these bonus chapters because of how I skipped it last time. But let's see, in total, that took us... Holy shit, that took... That was over <laughs> one hour... That one hour and 38? Wow, I needed... I should have started the stream sooner. I should have started the stream sooner yesterday to get to finish the... Well, okay, I guess that wasn't a bad ending. It seems like a that seems like a, a good ending almost, but I don't know. I guess like it's supposed to be that. I guess it's supposed to be the fact that it's like Fang or Lucy is like kind of dejecting her like former self now. I don't know. I can't. I can't figure it out for the life of me. Oh wait, I can see what's happening. It's the it's the fact that this part of the screen is cutting off itself. Yeah, I don't know why there are these bars here. I don't know why. I tried, for, I tried doing some readjusting and it just didn't work. Anyways, then we have Passion of the Trigger and Naomi's Tribulations and then Rainbow's Observations as last. So, well, we did pretty much go up and down, so let's see. Passions of the Trigger, so let's go and start this. February 17th. I lean back against the wall, my freshly polished horns feeling fantastic today. I deserve it after all the shit I deal with at school, not to mention the tiny terrors at home. Part of me wants to feel bad that I left Fang on their own the other day, especially with that useless skinny. 
Oh, wait. Oh, we're actually doing this like on her, her end now? Oh, that's interesting. Right, how does she actually feel about- what, what was she actually feeling about this whole thing, anyway? So between the nice, clean feeling on my scalp and the great news... What great news? Skinny convinced him? How'd he manage to do that? I don't know, but it's awesome! A real venue this time! Oh yeah! Six weeks was after that, well, before- No, no, yeah, after the, uh... After the Naomi revelation and splitting off. It takes a second to actually register it. An actual venue? An actual venue? The thoughts and possibilities flare in my head. All in one step, stuck close to reality. Our chance to make verb drama the, the hit it deserves to be. So much can continue till someone, possibly one of the teachers, passing by, knocks on the music room door several times. And then I remember the person responsible. Ah, uh, maybe Skinny isn't so bad. <laughs> Nah, I probably could have convinced convinced that fucking fossil too. No, you probably couldn't. I look at Fang and notice them with the look on their face. I haven't seen in a very long time. Oh yeah, I forgot. You actually respect you actually respect Fang compared to my guy. And you actually use the they them pronouns. Well, at least I kind of respect them. Like they're daydreaming again. It's kind of weird. Like they're too embarrassed looking. Hmm. So, do you, you two do anything else all day? Not really, I told Nasser to fuck off, we got free pizza, and just hung out. Exciting. Or remarkably dull, more like. Guy looks duller than dull. Well, something else I wanted to talk, to, want to talk about. Oh, instead of not giving them my undivided attention. Sure, go for it, Fang. Promise you won't tell anyone? Not even read. Ooh, think it's a big secret now, do they? I think Anon likes me. What? Gross, Fang. You sure he's not just trying to get you in, get into your pants or something? Fang sighs and looks up. There's not waves back and forth. They stare up at the dirty looking ceiling on Fang. I don't know. He has this thing he does where he mumbles. I don't think he know. I don't think he knows he does it. Some of the things that it says are nice things about me. It's you know kind of cute. <laughs> oh no! Oh, this is now like oh no second person embarrassment. Oh no! It's, oh oh no! What else can he say and do? I swear. Don't tell me. It's still huge dweeb and all, but I think. I kind of like him too. <gasps> Whoa! Revelation! Right up to the venue! She already was like, I was like, you know what? I'm starting to like this guy. <laughs> Truly, we've reached Fire Emblem levels of S ranking here. What? With the non? Him? Fang, are you feeling real right for real right now? They often cross their arms. I'm just saying, Anon's a good friend. A friend. The way they said it doesn't sound like friendship. Not like with me. Please, Fang. Anon's just like every other guy at Volcano High. Only worse because he broke. He's broken from the boonies. Come on, Trish. You're being harsh on him. You don't even know Anon. I don't need to know him to know he's just like the rest of them. Here, Fang sign, lean back in their chair. Maybe. No maybes about it, Fang. They're tied for all the same. Nothing but loser assholes. Even after, even after he helped us with the venue? A trick, probably. Probably wants Fang for their body. Fucking sleazy pervert. I knew I had to keep my eyes on him at all times. What rights does that fucking monkey have to just come into my life and fuck things up? Maybe we should get some practice in, Trish. Sounds like a plan. We're prepared for our biggest show yet. Our biggest show. Our biggest show that could either end up getting fucked or not. By me. I hand fanged the blue strats, which immediately sets for shooting just right. Mr. Jingo really needs to get some new gear. These things aren't maintained at all. Even this base. No one ever uses it.
Oh, and that's it. Okay, so that was the first half. In interesting. It's like, like you can already tell it's like, oh no, I'm starting to fall for him. No! The heroin curse is real! Anyway, Passions of the Trigger 2. Alright, so when. It's been a month since I ruined everything. So I pushed Fang away because I couldn't handle them spending more time with someone else. And now Ree's the only one who puts up with me. Since his parents are out of town for another business trip, we're hanging out at his house, trying to take take my mind off things. And by that, Reed means getting high as fuck. Rolling in the backyard and staring up at the sky, that's all I can think about. Meanwhile, Reed is currently going on about his grand plan to open the first medical carf carfent carfentanil dispensary in the country. Not that that stuff does much for me. Better than talking about literally anything else. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh my god, you're actually getting high now? This is not the time to be getting high, Trish. I'm telling you, dude, it's genius. I call it like the car carfetorium. <laughs> better name than Reed's feed and seed, at least. God, that sounds, you're right. That could, the other name does sound better. Feed, ugh. Yeah, why does that sound dirty? He begins laughing at his first idea, which gets a giggle out of me. It doesn't la last, and before long, the empty feeling in my chest returns. I pass back the, bl the blunt and let out a sigh. Reed, am I a bad person? I glance over to see Reed inhale for a good 10 seconds before blowing out, smelling like a steam engine. I swear, this stuff only makes his lungs stronger. Nah, man, what makes you think that? It's just. I can't stop thinking about everything I did. You don't have to make mistakes, amigo. Like, like, remember that time I caught the co cooking glass on fire? Yeah, yeah, I can't cook to save your life. Doesn't make me feel any less shitty. This makes us people, so we don't make, we don't make him. We all gotta fix him, you know? Remembering and non how he came clean with us? You even mention his name doesn't help. It only makes me want to, want to cry. Alright, T. Tell Dr. E what's on your mind. Guess we're back to being my therapist. Where do I even begin? Somewhere not involving a non? I don't know, man. How about... How about why you weren't, like, chill with a non? Fuck. I don't know. First I thought he was just some kind of annoying... Sh annoying. Shows up out of nowhere and all of a sudden he's friends are what we know. First talk talk to us it seemed fine. You know, Fang, it's always a big deal when they talk to someone now. But there was always something about it that didn't, that didn't sit right. Like how he never respected their pronouns. God, I was like such a bitch saying it out loud. Not a bitch, he was just like confused. He passes the car back to me. I take a sharp inhale, filling my chest with that warm, dizzy feeling. Wait, does that mean that her cigarettes were also carf carfentanil? So that means we so that means we actually did take our fentanyl. We just don't know it. Cause I exhale aren't nearly as impressive as reads. Nan is probably just it's lost. It confuses you, bro. Trying to meet new people, new school and all, especially after all we went through. It's just I like how things were with the band. Fang. Felt like he was trying to change everything he touched. The thing told me it went when he went on that dip, went to find the venue for us. Hanan was, was always mumbling to himself and some of the stuff he said. After that, I just, I thought Hanan was going to hurt them somehow. But he didn't actually care about Fang, he was just trying to use them or change them or something. I guess I figured if Fang saw how weird Hanan really was, they wouldn't want to talk with him anymore. Yeah, okay, by exposing uh, embarrassing pictures, that someone will just be like, Wow, this guy is, even though she knows, a total dweeb. Like, even though we literally tell her, Hey, I like anime openings and game OSTs. Which, to be fair, I also like that stuff, but I also like some other stuff as well. Kind of just been poking in my nose and some other junk. 
But anyway. Nothing really happened, and they started going out. Nothing would even talk to me anymore. <laughs> In other words, what this means is that you doing this made them get even closer! Resets up, and I, f resets up, and I finally find myself automatically following, wrapping my arms around my knees. I mean, I won't lie to you, man. That was pretty. That was a pretty dick move and all, <laughs> right? But that's all like in the past, you know. Nothing's changing now. They don't forgive you. Same as a nine. You just gotta give them time. What about you, though? Peg isn't mad at you. Why don't you talk to them? Side tells me it's not something he exactly is thrilled about either. Man, it's rough. We're gonna get Fang and non space and all. Besides, I wanna make you think I was a I was abandoning you, you know? It's not a good place to be, isolated like that. I bury my head in my knees as tears begin to well in my eyes. Nice going, Trish. Reed's also suffering for what you did. I was talking to Sage the other day. She said she heard from Rosa, who heard from Stella, who was talking to Anon about prom. Like, he's going with Fang, right? What? How'd you find out? Spears, bro. Gave me the old quick rundown when I was like, Hell yeah, dude! To DJing. Says about needing another thing during prom, and then he asked Fang to play on stage. Fang performing on stage. At prom? The, that was our big plan. With the Fang, with the way Fang always talked about it, I always thought it was the only way they, they'd be caught going to prom. Oh god. Now they're, they're, here comes the waterworks. They're doing it, doing it all like we don't exist anymore. Push me over the edge, I begin bawling into my arms. Come on T, it's alright, it's not it all out. He hugged my shoulder with his toward <laughs> toned arm. God damn it, Trish! Not now. I cry my eyes out for the next few minutes, with Reed doing his best to silently comfort me. Doing okay? I wipe my face with increasingly moist sleeve, getting the most out of out of my system. You know, seriously, be a bro and like give me a plus one ticket to prom and all. I think I'm not gonna be there. We can talk to them then. Reed, are you asking me to prom? He shrugs and gives a brief smile. Makes sense, you know, they'll be there and we can all be there and all. Besides, King Rex can't be the only dude there without a date. I shake my head and let a laugh escape. Well, King Rex better bring his friend because I'm not dancing with, with the school mascot. Reed rises up and and extends a hand to me, pulling me to my feet. Feeling better now, T? Open my mouth to answer, but I end up settling with a nod. Simply, wipe, I wipe the last remnants of my little apples over my face and my now wet sleeve. Look, well, it's launch a day. It's launch day when I get home. God, I hope Riley hasn't destroyed the washer again. Things will be alright. We have like plenty of time to work it out before prom. You know, it always makes me feel better. Car. Boo, bro! There's, there's that bomb ass taco stand down the street, the one with the veggie tacos you like. Just like it, I'm taking mind off it. Food now, bang later. Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> Shutting my hands in my, in my hoodie pocket, I, I allow a smile to creep onto my face. Great, now I have to start looking at dresses. I know Reed would, would spring for one, but I think I have enough saved up. I'll just, I'll just take a little true for some cheap fitters. Really? Cheap cheap fitters, you say? Wait, that, wait, does that mean that the outfit that you actually have was cheap? But it looks so pretty! But it was so pretty! Like, what the heck? Anyway, thir third part of this series, I guess, of Trigga's You sure got enough paper plates and stuff? We got all of it, man! Quit worrying, alright? Well, now I know for a fact this takes place after 
after the fourth ending because Fang is actually wearing the uh, amber necklace that we gave her. Reed, Fang, Rosa, Stella, and I are walking to Trisha's place with armfuls of plastic bags of groceries. It's her birthday today, and Fang wanted to throw a surprise party. Shame Reed ruined that surprise. At least all the present will still be a surprise. Never been to this part of town before. What reminds you of my place? Flutter elbow pierces my side. Her mother works two jobs over time, just so Trish can go to school with us instead of Reef City continuation. What's about about Reef City anyway? Oh. Reed nearly trips over his own feet. It's uh You know about Alcatraz. It's like that. Mixed with Auschwitz. Doesn't sound that bad. Rio de Janeiro, then. Rio de J Jane Janeiro? What? What the heck is that? Give me a second. I'm actually gonna get my phone for that. What the heck is a Rio de, de Janeiro? What's that? I feel like I'm missing vital context for this because I'm like, what the heck is a Rio de Janeiro? Okay. Uh, I don't know, have no idea. This is what I get for being a shut in for 21 years. <laughs> Out, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh no, what? I don't know what that is. I went there for a week last September because Spears caught me slashing tires. It's hell. I looked into it once. People charge the place to use some legal loopholes to get the place off the map. Just think of the teenagers there to use paddles. Why don't we change the subject? We're getting close to Trish's place, no? Hope she's alright with all this. She'll love it! Exactly what she needs right now! Why is that? It's summer vacation! And? You'll see. It's it's this building. We're here. Thanks up to one of the many large brick buildings we've been walking past and points to a door on the second floor. How exciting! I haven't gotten to visit Trish at her place before. We all go upstairs and what and what sounds like muffled uproars hit my ears, growing louder the closer we get to the door. I reach for the doorbell. Don't push that useless thing if you want to get shocked. What? Reed raps on the door. From this side, I can I can hear what sounds like a violent ride inside a china shop. Come in, Trevor! Don't you dare! There's a calculation of what has to be twelve locks in sequence, and finally the door opens to reveal. <laughs> you know what? This, this, I, 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 this actually feels. This actually feels like Raptor Jesus in Jurassic Heaven. From the entryway, I can see what looks to be a monsoon struck living room. You're here! Finally! I can't deal with these little monsters anymore! <laughs> what? Who's this, who's this guy, Trigger? Riley, these are my friends! And anon. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Sorry it took so long, Trish. And hey there, Riley. Ready for the party? Man, fuck this party. Ain't no hot bitches here, so it ain't a real party, Trigger. Ow. <laughs> He's so cute. Trish, why didn't you tell us you had, you had a kid brother? Because... Because they're little monsters. She's got two brothers and three sisters. Dios mio! Do your parents not use rubbers? Trigger, is you dumb? Oh my god, it, it is. It is. It is. It's supposed to be like a, a change in the word, so it said it's Trigger. That shit's just like the feds trying to make sure we don't make make more of us. Very nice, sort of fuck. I think he's been watching too much Boondocks. Okay, how about we get this party started? 
Sure, let's use the grill down the courtyard though. Tana tried making a mac and cheese bowl but forgot to put the water in. That would explain the burning smell and the layer of smell coming coming to the ceiling. Or coming from the ceiling? Among the ceiling? I don't know, I couldn't read that part. Courtyard is an open field with a few wooden benches and dying dying trees randomly sprinkled in. Finally, I get to use this! Reed has the silver briefcase he's been looking around onto one of the tables. He flips the latches open to reveal a charcoal tray. What the... Made this last week, just for the occasion. An entire grill in a briefcase? Why? Good question! Who's got the Frozens? Oh, I do. Cover my grocery bag of Fangirl patties, both real and fakey. Trish's little siblings are already wrestling each other in the grass, and Trish herself collapses on the, on the bench. Thirteen hours a day. I have to watch them. Isn't there an easier way to distract them? There's only one tablet and one TV. There's always at least one running around screeching. Hey, why don't you invite us over more often? I'd be glad to help help when I don't have classes. No, you need to put up. No, you don't need to put up with these little cr cretins. Besides, it's just until summer breaks over, then I can move out and Riley will be in charge. There's a scary thought. Yo, is the food ready yet? It's coming, it's coming. Dang, wanna wanna help a bit? Me? Uh, sure. Reed gets fanning the extendable spatula and starts getting the food from the other bag ready. It's nice for, for us to get together like this. I wish you came up with the idea for a party sooner. I didn't have much time to get everything together. Like, imagine if we rented a bouncy house. A what? You mean a moon jump? I always call them bounce walk. That's the dullest name I've heard from for them. Anyways, it's called the Castle Hop. I give it Fang, actually. Officially, they're called Close Inflatable, inflatable Trampolines. Fang, the one on the left's burning a bit. Crap! Friend turns to, to her attention to the grill. Some talks on the back of my shirt. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Kids. And damn, they're they're tinier. Two children siblings look at me with, with toothy grins and hands behind their back. I never talked to real life human before. <laughs> Live? Is true you can light things on fire with your hand? Oh my god. There isn't looking at me with an expected look on their face. <laughs> Have these kids been watching Avatar the last airbender? Have you? I mean, do I look like I'm the Avatar? My guy looks more like he's just... Oh, uh, whatever, I'm not gonna get into it. Yes, actually. But it doesn't work if you're staring, so first you need to turn around and count to ten. Okay. One, two... <laughs> I lean towards Fang and whisper to her, Rick, you're lighter! What are you doing? Just let me see it! She so you to put everything into position. Trevor and Tana, because that's their names. Nine, ten. Two shrill back around. With a hidden lighter between my hands, I let the combustible glass slowly coat the palm of my hand. Now behold, small children. Palm thoroughly coated, I flick the pink lighter stri striker wheel with my thumb. The split second of sparks enough to ignite the gas still caught in my hand. The kids are dazzled by the tall, tall dancing play in my hand before it dies out. Do it again! 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 What if I told you about, about fire, you two? That you'll get one of mommy's bells if we play with it? Jeez, this has been harsh. Better than my little brother setting himself on fire at non. Sun Rose are telling another story, you two. Why don't you join Ta Tally and Taylor? Does everybody here have like names that start with T? Tana? Trevor? Tally, like 
Seriously. Bonus more magic caveman fire! Non negotiable. I go through a pine cones at each other or something. She's can't probably to follow their, their elders' orders. My phone buzzes. Almost ready. Alright, that's everything. <laughs> Thanks for grilling, Fang. I kinda want one of those now. Can I take it home? Yeah, sure. Little ones, it is time to eat. I only get the burger from the pile. Sort it into two piles for real and fake meat. Whoa. Whoa. You came out really well, Fang. I got the burnt one. It's still pretty great. Fang isn't paying attention. She's hardly focused on her on her greasy prey. If you test by, she throws the whole thing in the air. And snaps it out of the air with one bite. Oh. <laughs> Only then does she remember others are watching. So you do do parties! Do it again! Nuh-uh, no fucking way. Vang's wing shield her face in embarrassment. <laughs> My phone goes off again. You were popular today, Anon. Something up? That's the text I got. Get the confirmation I was waiting for. Actually, something is up. If you don't follow me back out, out, out the front. The party follow, follows me none the wiser to what I have planned. And I desperately hope this isn't about to backfire. I turn the corner to see Nasser making his final touches to the package on a flatbed trailer hitched, hitched to the NASCAR. Given his driving, I'm more than a bit impressed that it's all still in one piece. Holy frickin' kids. Oh my god, that's a lot. Wow. Wow, she wasn't wrong. That's a lot of kids. What's Nasser doing here? What's with the trailer? This. Nasser wave and he rips the tarp off. Oh god. Holy crap. How did you... When did you... The flatbed has made in, has been made into a makeshift stage, and gleaming on the, in the sunlight is the complete equipment, set of rum drama, speakers and all. Sorry, fan, I kind of stole your idea for a surprise. A one-time rum drama reunion concert, all ready to start. <laughs> yeah! Thank you for the first stage with awe in their faces, due to stunned into silence. Is Trish going to play music for us? Holy crap, I am! Aw, oh, heck yeah. She bounces on stage with unrestrained glee on her face. It was the qu quiet the children down while the bandmates finished getting ready. Moves in the bag is bouncing on her tiptoes trying to see. Hold on, up we go. Whee! Pick her up and put her on my shoulders. Let's go! Wait, 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 what song? Uh... <laughs> Let's do, I gave the kid, the special kid, the, the jousting special, now I'm going to jail. I throw their instruments. Church sets the tempo and they begin. Oh, that's so cool! Look at that! Whoa, oh my god! Jim Jones, nothing wrong, his flavor rain was magic, it's so say it's strong! Man, we need to chill with the car for lyric, lyric writing. Kids need some fun, we're better than just some times. So what if I spike the punch? It was made from their lives. Speaking of kids, Trish's siblings were cheering her on the most, even Riley. Though he tried to hide it with a, with a shocky scowl. Trish's tempo increases as her, as her plucking slowly turns into shredding. Jim Jones is doing nothing! I swear what it did, he did! This special kid's not gosh, she's my shit, I'm not going off the grid! Well, the words of the song were... Let a police arrive with the board and tell them to go and fuck themselves! It was just a bunch of kids and I'm and they bust out my door. Take me down to the shales. Questionable. Some party loved it nonetheless. I can see Rum Drama were also happy to be playing together again. I'd say the plan was a major success. You know, there was a, now a bunch of trash being tossed our way from the complex's windows. Eh, fuck, I'm no good tasting music these days. 
pops the rap pose right down the drinks. All the piece of shit inmates look at me weird in the well. And I swear to, to God I'm at my brink. Game special case the jousted special. And I'm going to jail. Fingers hold their finger, finger, <laughs> hold their finishing pose and catch their breath. Someone watching erupts into cheering. Little down on my head whistles with her fingers. <laughs> all right, all right. Next we should do. Why not the the again? <laughs> Did they seriously just call one of their song songs just the? Yes. Wait, no. We made that sequel track. We never got to play. The, I still remember it. All right, here we have the sequel to our hit song, The. Presenting, It's. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the sequel to The. It's. It's what? I don't know. The full set of songs, the three look exhausting. All right, that's probably enough. Fan got a bottle of water here. Thank you. Anon, you set this up? Idea thief. Well, Nasser and Mo helped. Most of it's a Nasser, basically securing everything back down on, to the flatbed. Mo owns the, the flatbed for his boat and helped us see, see up the stage. But why? Why go through all the effort? Why indeed? I look at the kids, all exhausted and ready for bed. Surprising how draining cheering, cheering a band on is. What can I say? I'm a I'm a fan of rum drama. There in me a surprise squeak from Trish. You know, I always wonder why you were you were set on making it big, but I think I get it now. Oh, want to elaborate on that? Wishing the sun Rosa carefully carrying her siblings back to the apartments. There's a softness in Trish's eyes as she she sees her entire family being cared for by the two. I wish I'd try talking with her sooner. Sorry, for never getting to really know you. Trish sighs and shakes her head. It's fine, but you're still a dweeb. <laughs> Great. Both girls, they're already calling me a dweeb. And I have one bro. Never said I wasn't. A diminutive girl giggles lightly and I can't help but smile. Yo! Nasa finished laying out Laying out the tarp, but now is walking over with a small cake and cake on a tray. Nah, I'm gonna lie, birthday girl still needs to make her wish. Hold the fang's lighter. Candles reading 19 are lit, and everyone gather around with Trish in the center. Looks like they're about to, about to sing happy birthday. Back away for a bit, pat, past the edge of the crowd. I feel like I'd be ruining Trish's moment if I stayed. Oh, no, you're going to sing too, right? Uh, my singing voice isn't, isn't that great. Every set of claws wrap around my fingers. Oh! Sing for both of us, okay? Oh, she's even do doing the cute eyes! Alright. Willa starts the song and we all join in. Midway through, my voice cracks a bit and I freeze in place. The needle sticking to, into the back of my hand convinced me to keep going. <laughs> As long as with no one thankfully laughing at me. Trish and Hale sharply and blows out the candles. So, what'd you wish for? You're not supposed to tell, you stoner mong. Should have wished that that sn skinny there wasn't tone deaf. I should have, yeah. Thank you, thank you for doing doing this again. This is the best birthday I've had in a while. Oh, wow. I was wondering like why we were doing all this. Your powerful, powerful sniffling and turn, turn to its source. This is all so beautiful. Group hug. Oh my god. Before we could escape from the man, from the manic Hispanic, her arms capture Fang, Trish and Vian, and embrace the friends my spine and lungs. Stella, her infinite wisdom, decides to force the rest of us into the same hug. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Help. Act the cake. Nazar at least had the reflex to save the cake, holding it above its head. Oh, this is the most wonderful party! Mis compadres! 
Hi, it was so sweet, like one of my Japanese animes. I can't breathe. <laughs> Is that it? No. Oh, that was actually not bad. All right. I see. God damn. She had to deal with how, like, how many siblings? Like, like, if, like, so like three, I think it was like two brothers and like three sisters. Like, dang, that's a lot. That's a lot. I had to deal with like, one. Oh my god. How long was that? Two freaking hours. That was great. That's what I like to say. Actually, wait. That means I have to refinish this. What, what, what's gonna happen then? What, what the heck am I supposed to do? Fuck. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and like. The fuck. I don't know how to pronounce that. Jiffa. <laughs> Jiffa. Jeh. I seriously have no idea how to say that name. <laughs> oh, great. An actual audience. J Fab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, hello there, J Fab. <laughs> God, that's, that alert actually scared me. <laughs> Which is dumb for me, but I don't know. I didn't actually think someone would actually join this stream. <laughs> My god. Well. I have no idea what to go ahead and more to say to that other than thanks. A lot. Anyway. Okay, so getting back to getting back on trying to get back on track now because <laughs> head's already getting perplexed over that whole thing. We now have his Ni Naomi's tribulations, which I don't know why, but immediately seeing that that word right there makes me really think of just Ace Attorney trials and tribulations, <laughs> which now makes me think of just of, of just Naomi going objection. Overall, like, <laughs> like, yes, we actually finished the game and got got all the endings. Good thing you weren't here with with me getting broken down <laughs> with the bad end. That would have been terrible, especially with how you probably could not hear me. Is what I learned from last time. Right. But anyway, let's see. Naomi's tribulations. What the heck is this going to go ahead and tell? April 200, 201M, 2021 BC. <laughs> what? Oh, hey, we're back at Fang's house. What? I'm just saying that he... I'm just saying that he sh shouldn't have tried. Sweet dude, you should... You shouldn't have just kicked kick your teacher in the nuts. <laughs> I grow out the phone in my hand. He's lucky he's in college right now. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, but still, what? So what's with the punishment? So that if I turn my phone around the around the living room, slowly being re rearranged to fit more useless people. Same for baby bros going away party. Duh, such a caring sister. I don't have to turn to the screen back to see a non shit eating grin. That's as I gotta clean up after, too. If you move fa- TRYING TO! Didn't catch that. When I look back at my screen, I see him giving 
give me his soothing calming face. <laughs> his his soothing calming face. Ah yes. Such a soothing and absolutely calm face. Look at that. Absolute beauty of him. Okay, I can't I can't keep it up. I I don't know why but that makes me laugh. Even seeing that look from him stinks. I didn't mean to shout. It's fine, Fang. We'd have a dorm room. I, I doubt Dad would have sprung for an apartment again. He's still pissed about the security deposit. Ah, right. That was my fault. It wasn't my fault. He was the one to bring the car. <laughs> right. Still, I thought you and Church would be moving in together. Fuck her. She wanted to move in with Reed instead. Really? Really? It was the late night jams out, wasn't it? No! Ha! You owe me ten bucks. Stupid or not, my stupid bet, and it's stupid always being right! <laughs> Damn it! I know I'm fucking blush right now! I just fucking know it! I- Don't you say it! Told- Not! You! All I got! Okay, okay, sorry I asked. What are you going to do now? <laughs> I exhale deeply and feel all the weight of my current predicament land on my shoulders. I don't know, maybe Stella? What? Oh. <laughs> Lonside is shaking rapidly and his hands are waving like crazy. I don't see what the problem would be with, with Stella's a roommate. Ah! <laughs> ah, there's Rip <laughs> was it, I think it was Ripley from it, right? Oi, stop slacking, Lucy. The room ain't gonna clean itself. Not now, I still wanna talk with him. Oh man, I guess I should go. No, no, no! Damn it! Ugh, I need to finish this. I'm sorry. It's fine. Wish I could be there now. The scholarship, but the scholarship and all. Plus the whole dorm fumigation thing and having to change rooms. Fucking roommate got lucky during, during it. During it in a, in a spare theater room. Bastard. We'll talk later. Have fun with the party, okay? Before I can say I, I love him, the screen fades away to my wallpaper. Wallpaper of me and him together on Christmas. Sign one last time, pocket my phone. Cool and smooth texture of polished stone makes me realize I'm holding the necklace again. <laughs> Anon. <laughs> They really just- wait a minute, I think they actually- I don't know, I can't tell, she's kind of in the way. 30 minutes till Nasser gets back now. And when they came- came and started just casually chatting, already snacking on all of mom's better dishes. Shame about dad's guacamole though. Them, that is. It may be fucking delicious, but the aftermath isn't pretty. Shorten voluntarily at the thought of my last birthday party. No wonder he married mom. Better hang up with sub tags from, from the couch and ABC gum. Oh god, why? Flying gallantly above the staircase, people started to trickle in to celebrate Nash officially pissing off. He got sent into prestigious medical school back last August. Still, I remember him, still remember him pr prancing around like there was ever a chance he'd get rejected. Started going to community college around the same time. He has no idea the grill experience ahead of him. But then again, he does this kind of shit perfectly. Ah, and there's Samantha. Lucy, would you be a dear and dim the lights? Snap back to reality. Nash's close, close school friends were already and perched out of sight at the entryway. Oh yeah, that guy. I noticed one of his old teammates even brought Stella along when, when I turned the light knob. Maybe that was right in his rant a few weeks ago. We could go about girls having it easier. Nah, that's bullshit. Tris comes barreling in through the door like like there's a blizzard outside. Bang! It took a while, but Reed's distracted. Oh, thank fuck! Definitely don't need him be being arrested today of all days. Arrested for what? For being the most wanted guy in Volcano High! That line doesn't work anymore, but he still hasn't given me a new one yet. You need anything else, Dad? 
Don't think so. Merv got the entire bakery going at once in the kitchen. He still hasn't needed help before. Dear! <laughs> the old man limps back towards the kitchen. Still just slightly hung about being fucking told by mom in seconds. Okay, Spill, how? I asked Rosa to clear some time for him. She took, she took it to mean a classic date night. Could've just told him Stella's boyfriend would be here. He stayed miles away. Pretty forgotten by now. You know him. Right, what about you? Last time you threw a glass of juice on the old man. We seriously don't need an arrest tonight. I'm sure was a raspberry and looks away. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't such a pig. Ahem. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. Him and Mo are... I always, for some reason, it's like, I, it's, they say Italian, but I just keep thinking of a Brooklyn one, so it's like, Lucy, your ma says NASA is on his ways. Like, see? Like, I don't know, it, it kind of fits. Shit, hide. One of the rooms scatters, hiding as best they can in our living room. I even see Stella and the old varsity football captain dive into the closet. <laughs> they are surely not making out in said closet. The door opens. The creek's open, and Naomi leads Nasser in slowly. So how does that to do with her again? Are mom and dad dancing again? I can't see. I twist the dimmer knob to full brightness, making <laughs> Nasser shade his eyes. What? Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Naomi's pregnant! What? Grandbabies? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so it's my Christmas with a hand. No, since you're leaving for, for, for us for college next week, your mother thought we should, we should throw a going away party. Oh yeah, so better all your school friends too. <laughs> okay, that, that was the best improv. This is like, hey, surprise! And then it's like, she's pregnant! <laughs> That's one way to get everyone's attention! I see a little gerbil on a treadmill and his head spinning aimlessly until comprehension dawns on him that his privacy has been violated. Oh, my yearbook. Don't worry, dear, I'll put it back in your dirty laundry pot where it was left. Oh my god. Aside from the peanut guy, this is fair, fairly stand, standard, yeah, fairly standard din dinner banter. Mom, not in front of my friends. Okay, you know what? I, I have to give this guy the actual dude bro voice. Chill, man. We know how it is. Your mom is just going to miss you. The other tribe members not in agreement. It's great. Everyone came. Let's all enjoy the party. Hall of agreement and the whole thing kicks off. as though it had been going on for hours already. Okay. Still going. We're still and uh, they, they kind of moved away. And all I gotta say is, did they seriously just put party hats on on everything? I mean, not the fish, but I don't know how you put that on fish. The bird just covered his face, so it's like he can't even steal. Fun, ain't that? I made a beeline for the food table with Trey, stealing enough for upkeep and state stated through the whole ordeal. Ordinarily, I, I just love in my room and enjoy, annoy everyone by playing. Frankly, I did. Frank, frankly, I did do a little whining, but. Damn, skinny coasting me two hours of my life by resolving blood feuds! Whatever, it's not like these jocks want, want to talk with me. Acela, jeez, she's got the attention of all the boys. It's weird, right? I know. What? She's going on. Like, how? I mean, you see her talking a lot with, with that hot dog chick that's near your place. What? What are you implying? Come on, I gotta admit her setup it is is a little seedy. She's chill, Tris. Not some kind of multitasking prostitute. <laughs> Not even. I know that pal well. No vegan options. Irby's matter. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the time to bring that topic up. Dad's head whips around and Trisha's shout. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Are we about to witness an epic fight of the century? The room temperature drops as the two glare at each other. Trish! Give her a quick reality check with my elbow. <laughs> and he can get pulled, pulled away. Everyone Aku returns to their own ti <laughs> tiny dinner talk. Dad getting the patented look from Mom as she pulls him aside. <laughs> He's so a dirty cop. And you would have been cuffed if in cuffs again. Just small struggles enough to know she won't actually start another argument tonight. Scan the room again as I nibble on some of the tiny sandwiches Mom made. Aside from Stella being swarmed by boys three times her size, Chad and, Na and Nasser are broing it up with some crazy looking handshakes, and Naomi is talking with, with Mom. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Of all, of all people here, Stella is the one being swarmed by guys. The weird, anime-loving, card-carrying nerd is getting swarmed. Wow. Damn, girls wish they could live in this universe, because it's like, <laughs> of all people, it's like, wow. Anyway. <laughs> You're doing it again, hmm? Oh, my thumb circles off over the surface of polished stone. And I'm texting me earlier, you know. Really? You said you owe him ten bucks. <laughs> Fuck! You gonna tell me why? No! Oh no, not the sad eyes. Damn it! May have made a bet on the roommate thing. <laughs> Trish tries to headbutt me, but I already have her at arm's length with my palm on her face. For your info, I bet in your favor. Trish finally relents, leaning back against the wall. I just got out of a loud house, Fang. I like to experience having a good night's sleep for the first time in my life. Yeah, and leave a sister out in the cold? What am I gonna do now? So I can move in with Anon. Unlike Naomi and Nasser. I wanna be jealous, thinking about how they get get what I want so badly. But even with, even with Nasser's scholarship, that's spending so much. But Nasser deserved it. He deserves the fucking world after putting up with me. Nice. Fence over him nervously trying to bridge some conversation with Mom and his teammates. Now I'm of is close behind him to direct the whole thing. Hey. Someone calls calls me from across the room. Oh! Oh, is this the ex-captain of the football team? Chats. Still wonder how Stella managed to catch this guy. <laughs> Make, makes me think the interaction just literally wants something like it's just like it's like, do you like Yu-Gi-Oh? Do I? Do you? Do I? Do you? What's a Yu-Gi-Oh? Let me show you! <laughs> or some other, some other thing ridiculous like that. Hey, you're the chick that played during prom last year, right? Come on, play something live in the place a bit! The attractive members holler in agreement. She's not facing me, but she has an odd look going on there. Well, hey, it happened. Oh, boy. Was it just like you always imagined? She smirks and looks at me from the corner of her eye. There was a bit more groveling involved. I kind of forgot about it, honestly. You gonna play? Eh, yeah, sure, why the fuck not? I'm getting bored anyway. <laughs> High five. <laughs> High five sure as I pass her by. Figure this out. Oh my god, this actually is quite long for the first part. The, the other part actually went like considerably shorter than last time. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> I look back see, to see the commentary. It, it's just like full of all of this. If you're saying the cell has the look, well, it's like you're not entirely wrong, but I'm just saying. I remember I take the time to consider which weapon I want the slade with. What would he pick? Probably at random. 
Aha, I got it. Set up my three three favorite at the foot of my bed and sprinkle some cracker crumbs in front of them. Then with a quick tap of my foot, I let my most loyal minion decide. Rainbow's mechanical mouth make, makes quick work of the crumbs. Choosing first my good old Arcor ho hollow body. Good boy. Fully to my preferred weapon, watching as Rainbow finishes its dinner before returning to its dock. I pat my robotic pet for doing an amazing job. Head back to my waiting audience. What? When does he nearly get kneecapped by Naomi's like, stupid fat tail? What the fuck? Who would even like a girl with such a disgustingly lardy tail? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what to think of that. But like mine. What the fuck? She scowls. Were you trying to bust my knee, you stupid bait bitch? Oh. Oh, oh no. We're gonna, are we gonna get into a cat fight? I didn't mean to. I'm simply heading for the bathroom up here. Seems that Chad and or Stella are currently using the other bathroom. Likely making out. Like, too much. Turns her nose and continues down the hallway. I'm half tempted to brain her with my beloved guitar. Shit. <laughs> I try to make my way down the steps. Oh, here we go. Three scoo scooches to give me enough space on the stairs to set the guitar on my knee to play. What should I start with, do you think? Shit, it's been forever since we heard My Fucking Mom, man. <laughs> my Fucking Mom? Wasn't it called I'm Way Too Hungover? No, Reed just fell back when he told us he didn't bother correcting himself. <laughs> Ow. That's something he'd do, yeah. Most of the party go goers are already looking my way in anticipation. I run the first few stranzas in my head a couple times and begin strumming. Oh man, now they're all getting into it. Look at that. My fingers glide along the fretboard easily enough. My pick wildly plucks the chords. The party is cheering and stamping out a drum beat for me to play with, too. Even Trish, b beside me, is joining in on the makeshift metronome. I would lose a hard and fast riff, taking the chance to actually feel out the crowd. <laughs> All of the jocks and even Stella are loving this. I can even see Dad sneer, sneer lowly vanish as Mom repeatedly steps, in steps on his foot. Ow! Naomi is the last one I look at. I'm expecting one of her vicious sneers. Instead, she looks like someone I, someone took all her hopes and dreams and flushed them down the drain. Ow. I then mix my next note, so I focus back on my guitar. With an extra flourish, I, I end the punk song with a fist pump. Yeah! The room hollers, demanding more amazing music from me. But... Oi! I'm just the the ambience, pricks. It's Baby Bro's party after all. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> the spotlight on Nasser. Now I decide to just sit back on the stairs. Still gonna play? Uh, thinking something slower now. That'll pitch a fit if they start a mosh pit. We struggle together. My finger is now lazily strumming a mellow tune for the party. It's a simple song, one I've learned perfectly from Granny. So perfect I can look look out as everyone else's chats and enjoy and enjoys the, the calmer atmosphere. <laughs> what what's happening? Na Nasser and Chad have started arm wrestling. Oh boy. Stella and some of Nasser's little teammates are, t are talking like crazy about something. And it's like wrestling! No way, <laughs> that sounds retarded. Yes. <laughs> Spaceships are, are wrestling? Yeah, wait, it's really cool. It really is, bros. We've been marathoning. <laughs> We've been marathoning every weekend. Wait, that means that I was right. She got, she got the whole team to get into anime. <laughs> Jog starts cheering and toss his solo comes at him. Oh, dude. Giving NASA a chance to finally win. <laughs> don't think I didn't. Don't think I didn't see that, Naomi. Both Chad and Nasser sleepily hold the hand behind their heads while Nasser gets 
shout and praise from his parents. <laughs> Naomi ducks under his other arm and embraces him, rubbing muscles together. Wait, no, that didn't happen. Well, Naomi did the nuzzling. Nah, this here a whole homer way. Probably didn't see it right. Oh. Oh, something ain't right. <gasps> when separated, Nasser follows Chet back to the enthralling conversation on wrestling spaceships or whatever with Stella. <laughs> what? <laughs> Purple hand breaches my line of sight. Hey, Fang, hello. Yeah. He breaks that last song into. What the heck? M Mus Mussolini Macho Mystery perfectly. You didn't even notice? I just now realized I am, in fact, playing a completely different song than when we started. Just now continue making small talk to the rest of the party while I keep the ambient upbeat. One of the track members spills some popcorn on the floor below him. I should start thinking of ways to get out of clean out. Oh boy, that does not sound good. Part two. I mean, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, but I'm just like <laughs> looking at this and I'm like, Ra Rainbow was in the corner? I didn't realize that. Okay, so what? I wonder what happens at this point. Do we just continue then with. Oh, we're actually at her perspective. I find myself worrying more and more. With the night coming to a close, everyone begins to le leave N Nasser's home. <laughs> I don't know why, but I keep wanting to call him Nasser. Even though it's like, the joke is supposed to be like Nasser because of Nascar later. And that wouldn't make sense if it was Nasser. <sighs> I don't know why. Most old teammates give him congratulatory hugs and that back pass on their way out. Even Chad and Stella, who were the last to leave. Don't think you're getting out of cleaning, Missy. Ugh. I frown a little. After all this time, she still argues with her family? Well, like you, you wouldn't be surprised. I was always taught to respect my elders by my parents. Naomi, dear, you don't have to... I insist, ma'am. I was the one to suggest the party, after all. I think he's sweeping the... <laughs> det det detritus from the floor, making sure to focus on the nooks and crannies. I tried to focus on my task, but... My thoughts keep going back to how odd Nash has been acting. When I had to keep Nash around so his family could see to set the party up, he was... distant. Probably wants to say it's just nerves. After all, he's going away to college, leaving his home. And when I promised him that I'll be with him so he won't feel lonely, he felt so stiff when I said that. I shake my head to clear my mind of these awful thoughts. After all, Nasser and I can talk about this once we move in together. Nah, oh, it'll be as if we're newlyweds. That makes me a little giddy as I, I push the pile neatly into the dustbin. Yes, in fact, maybe we can talk about our plans for our, for our living arrangements now. Nasser, dear, I... Huh? Why is he making that face? Is something the matter? What? what? Nah, nah, not really. He looks around the room, but there's only me, Nasser, and Lucy here at the moment. Nasser, please, you seem troubled the entire day. What's wrong? Nothing! Nothing is... Look at all Naomi, just uh... Ah, damn it. Nasser's shoulders slump down as he heaves out a heavy sigh. I've been uh, thinking about this a lot, Naomi. I uh, want to take a break. A break? That's it? I mean, we only just started cleaning and... No, I mean us. What? I think we need a break, Naomi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I. I see. Lucy and I are taking one, and I thought. I just hit the room against the wall. Yes, a break. I. I mean, I want to tell you sooner, but. 
I understand. After all, you always have the best ideas. Wait, Naomi. God damn it, Na Nasser. I mean, hey, I, I personally wanted revenge, but I don't think this is the kind of revenge I wanted on her. We already got the slap in the face. This is now feels like a slap in the heart. It's like, oh no. It's about the door of, of Nasser's house. A break. A break. But why? I've done everything right, right? Been the model girlfriend, right? Oh boy. Carrying myself down the driveway, trying to hold my, my thoughts together. Spring is about over, but it's cold. Tears sprinkle my eyes, but I still don't have the energy to wipe them off. Everything was going wonderfully, but now it's coming, sh now it's come shattering down. Oh boy. When I reach the curve, I crumble into my knees. Can't even focus on a single calamitous thought with so many firing through me. The thought of being away from Nasser, of things just ending. Oh god. And now we're in a flashback. Two years prior. And lastly, here is your own desk to work at. <laughs> My principal slaps the top of an aged yet official looking table furnished with a lamp and its own drawers. Most students in any school would only ever be seated behind the regular board on some sticks model. Maybe one with a little cubby hole built in for b binders if the school were old enough. And here I am, one of the lucky few. Thank you, sir. I should feel a lot more excited about winning the election, but... Naomi. Uh-oh, did he see me sulking? There may not have been many candidates, nor voters, in deciding you should be the class president, but the fact remains that you won. You shouldn't stress yourself about how things might have gone differently if there were a large, larger voting pool. Don't go underselling yourself. If you try, you can be good enough. Thank you, Principal Spears. I'll try. Gives me a warm smile, a pat on the shoulders, and leaves me to get acquainted with the new space. Looks there's already a few forms to fill out. Oh, there's a letter in here, too. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Look at- Damn! It's addressed to me, specifically? Oops, I said that out loud. Good thing there's nobody here. But then, what's that drumming sound? Oh dear, that's my own feet. <laughs> You're getting giddy. What am I getting so worked up over? It's probably just a letter of congratulations. Not that anyone other than Spears would even care about... Dearest Naomi? Is this a joke? Who would... My eyes traced the paragraph multiple times before I realized I haven't actually been reading it. And all of a sudden, it, it all registers at once. There's a loud squeal that echoes through the hallway. Oh, wait. I curl my lips and I feel my entire face heat up. That was me. Hope no one else heard that. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of noise or even what kind of dinosaur you're supposed to be, so I don't know. It got, it got to sound something like a dolphin or something akin to... Probably like a, probably something like a, I don't know, like one of those flupas things. But, 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 Nasser is, and I'm just, wouldn't people look at him funny? Wouldn't they look at me funny? After all, I, I'm just so, so, don't go underselling yourself. If you try, you can be good enough. No, I can do this for our date. Oh. I'll go check out the library for romantic self-help books after school. <laughs> what? I'll be the perfect girlfriend. Oh. Ah, I think I understand everything now. That, that, that explains a lot. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
I was actually wondering, like, why is she so obsessed with, like, like, my god. <laughs> Alright, like, so let's see, how, how exactly does this end? Oh boy. What the fuck just happened? And now we're back at Fang's perspective. The second Nasser and Naomi were talking, and now I've got a crip a crippled brother looking more lost and confused than ever before. And Little Miss Perfect Live crying like a baby outside my house. Maybe I I should Nasser for once in your life. Do the smart thing and shut up! I wouldn't say see Nasser Ricola at my harsh words. Can't fall back to bad habits now. Think, Lucy, think! How do you unfuck this fuck up? <laughs> Look at the window and watch as Naomi continues wailing. Even though I despise the idea, Naomi needs someone to be there for her, to support her now more than ever. With the thought of what I'm about to do, I realize just how much Nan had really done for me. But god damn it, I really don't want to. Turn back to face my brother, who looks like he wants to jump from our house's roof. I'm gonna go try and calm Naomi down. Stay here and finish cleaning. Nasser nods and takes up the broom Naomi set aside, distracting himself by sweeping up the rest of the trash on the floor. Easy part done. I take a calming sigh and walk out the door to the wailing idiot trying to wake up the whole neighborhood. So... You... okay? Naomi doesn't reply. She only keeps crying like her whole world's falling apart. Naomi? What the fuck is wrong with you? Somehow her sobbing gets louder to the point that I feel my ears start to ring. Any louder she's going to give me t tinnitus. Naomi, get a fucking grip! Naomi finally looks up to see me with a tear-stained face. A break. Nanasa said he... He wants to take a break. I almost, I almost want to slap the bitch. Spitting all the waterworks because Nasser wants some time away from her. And. Oh. Nami, who had, who had still been laying on her knees to this point, scowls at me with a full face full of fi fire and fury before rising to her feet. What do you mean, and? Nasser and I are the perfect couple. He's the perfect boyfriend, and I'm the perfect girlfriend. We're supposed to have the perfect life together. Well, why does he want to take a break in our relationship? Ah. <laughs> Naomi buries her face in her hands and sits on the curbside. Thankfully, she doesn't burst into more whales, which is at least an improvement. Shit. Why am I the one who has to fix this mess? Probably the least qualified person when it comes to relationships. Still, not like Nas is going to be any better at this. Fuck. Guess if it comes down to me. I sit that I, I sit down next to Naomi on the curb. Oh. <laughs> Damn, she wow, she really is actually crying her eyes out here. Damn. My presence makes her tense up, which also results in her shutting off the waterworks to at least appear more dignified. So, Nasser wants to take a break. Big fucking whoop. It's not the end of the world, it just means you do have some things to think about. I know my words are directed to Naomi, but a part of me can't help but feel they're most applicable to me. After all, I'm still trying to figure out what's really going to happen between Anon and myself. What is there to think about? Nasser and I were supposed to be together. I was going to take care of him every day. Cook dinner, clean the nest, romantic nighting out, children running around the house. What am I going to do now? I already told my parents that I'm moving out. Where do I go? What do I even do? I found myself scowling at Naomi's words. So this is what all this shit's about? Your perfect little plan falling apart before your very eyes? You haven't really changed in the last year. Nami's head snaps towards me, her eyes ba baleful and tear as she glares daggers at me. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? You heard me. I mean, you were, are, and if you keep this up, will be a total fucking bitch till the day your ass turns back to dust. Way to give it her straight. 
Naomi's brow is furrow. She grits her teeth, so tired that for a second I think she's going to make her gums bleed. F -f fuck you! You discount band guitarist! Tell me all you want. You know I'm right. Nas Nasser and I are, are, are absolutely perfect for each other. None like you and uh, Anon. This asshole. She's lucky I don't have anything blunt I can use to beat the shit out of her. Cross my arms to give Naomi a flat look. Perfect for one another? I'm not the one with a broken relationship after a single fucking night. Me and Anon? Yeah, we fight. We'll always come out of it stronger. We're, we're taking a break. That doesn't mean our relationship's over. Unlike yours. <laughs> At first, Naomi gives me a look of absolute rage. Her hands curl into fists, and her face turns a bright red. But that expression doesn't last long as her, as her eyes again fill with tears, and her shoulders slump. Why? Why what? Why talk to me? If you hate me this much, why are you wasting your breath even acknowledging my existence? Do you really get a rise about kicking me when I'm at my lowest? Do you want, want me- <laughs> yeah. Do you want to hit me again like you did before prom? You offering? Because I can oblige. Give Naomi a smug grin and attempt to liven the mood a bit. But my attempt at humor goes completely unnoticed. She only stares at me with absolute contempt. Naturally, I glare right back at the bitch. <laughs> Still, seeing Naomi like she is now, part of me can't help but pity her. Back in my mind, I remember a certain memory. One that I'll always treasure. All that matters is her. I sigh and tell her as I let all my anger fade away. Anger isn't going to do anything right now. I'm not here to kick your ass, even if you deserve a beating. <laughs> in other words, if this did go out if this did go wrong, it would just turn into a Yakuza fight. I just I look toward the window and see Nasser still sweeping, his shoulders hunched and wings drooped. God damn it. Nasser's kicking himself over this. I know the kind of guy he is. At least you should, anyway. But, but... He worries. He always worries. Constantly. Nasser can't help himself. So many words are stabbing Naomi in the heart as she starts to shrink more and more. I think it's how he shows he cares. That he's willing to take everyone's issues and ignore his own. I... But he said... He said he wanted to take a break. Just like you and Anon. You had to put up with... Put up there. Yeah. You had to put him up to this. You, you, you home wrecker. Kind of a roll my eyes at her words. God, you're so fucking stupid. No, I didn't put him up to this shit. Hell, I didn't even tell him that a non night went on break. Nasser, did you actually tell him how you set set me up with a non from the very start? <laughs> that dumb pig bl blanches at at that. Nailed it. That's what I think about my brother, you know. He could be stupidly dense. I didn't even know that you were trying to move in with him. Then how did you know? Ha! <laughs> Called it. <laughs> you and your stupid plans. Would it kill you to just... I don't fucking know. Tell someone? Now he sags and whimpers. I'm going to move in with him. We go to the same college and graduate together. We would have a perfect life together. My face fell out of words. Perfect this. Perfect that. I can't fucking stand Naomi's bullshit anymore. I said them and for once look down at this salmon-toned asshole. For fuck's sake, get over yourself. You're not perfect. Excuse me? Naomi stands up. Her previous sadness suffocated by anger. All of you know that I've dedicated my whole life to being as perfect as I can be. That's complete bullshit and I know it. Before you and my brother started bumping uglies, you were just some meek, nerdy bitch. Mostly harmless. But then you became whatever this is. Motion through her whole being. You became a bossy... <laughs> oh god, what I guess this word? Macalvian Mac perfectionist bitch who plans on top of plans like you're some kind of chess master. You never actually cared about Nasser in the first place, did you? You only wanted him for the prestige it would bring you. 
fuck? Ow! I feel searing heat on my cheek. Surprised she had it in her to commit the bitch slap. Emerson's looking, looking me in the eyes, but she's huffing it as she cradles her hand to her chest. I love Nasser. He actually cared about a useless girl like me, so I had to become his perfect girlfriend. Rub my cheek and do my best to keep my temper under control. <laughs> and again, not turn this into a Yakuza battle. <laughs> Though I want to, jumping on top of the bitch and beating the shit out of her is not the answer right now. <laughs> and performing the square button QTEs. Does a perfect girlfriend intentionally try to secretly manipulate her boyfriend's family without even telling him? Naomi's breath hitches. How do you think Nasser would react to finding out what you did? He... Naomi shuts her mouth as fast as she opens it. Probably wouldn't like it, would he? <laughs> what? Aaron F Fuckwingham was, was way to protect my retarded ass to approve. And he clearly did care about you too. It wasn't even that you didn't know how, how Nasser felt. You knew and actively disregarded that information. Shut up. No way, I I know already. Dumb bitch shifts her head to, to the side, trying to hide her eyes. But please, couldn't y you just let, let me... Grovel here? Nami's words are coming out haphazardly. It's clear that she's having a hard time forming thoughts. It's already pretty fucked up, but she needs to hear what comes next, even if it hurts her. Oh. You know what your problem is, Naomi? You stay stuck in your own little world with your own little plans, thinking that everything you do is always going to turn out just like you planned. Well, guess what? The world doesn't revolve around you. Never raises an eyebrow at me at first. She then grimaces before fixing me with, with the look that I can describe as disgust. Yet, as the second ticks by, Naomi's expression changes. Her grimace slowly vanishes, replaced instead with a thousand yard stare. You're... You're right. I... I haven't changed one bit. She grabs hold of her head and once more falls on her knees. Ever since I... Stop being a meek, nerdy girl, I became obsessed with perfection. To the point that I... I would... Uh, I wound up becoming some kind of coral c castellian. Castellian? Castellan? Mm -hmm. Did I work hard to get there? Yes. Should I have worked so hard... When, when it led to where I am today? I... I don't know anymore. All I know is that, aside from your brother, none's ever really made me happy. Nothing. Against my better judgment, I kneel next to Naomi and put a hand on her, sh her shoulder. Hey, just because you're a manipulative fucking bitch doesn't mean that you haven't done some, some good. I mean, you did bring me and Anon together. Also, you did make my brother happy. Even if it was under your author authoritarian thumb. I kind of feel sick saying that. Shouldn't be praising her manipulative bitch bitchiness, but I can't deny that Nasser was genuinely happy to be with Naomi. Even if most of that happiness was a side effect and not a direct result of a healthy relationship. Maybe, maybe break is what you two need more than ever. Time away to think. Time away to contemplate what the two of you really mean to each other. Time to figure out what the two of you mean to each other. Once again, though my words are meant for Naomi, a part of me can't shake the fact that they're applicable to me as well. Do you really think so? I shrug my shoulders. I don't fucking know. Maybe this breaks what two of you need to really start a new phase of your relationship. Or maybe that's it. Maybe you two will go your separate ways. I almost feel myself t tearing up as I say those words. I don't want to admit it, but a part of me fears that my words may turn out to be prophetic in regard to Anon and myself. Naomi is eerily quiet as she absorbs my words. I get my hand on her shoulder. I'm not entirely sure why, though. Maybe as a sign of support? The fuck did I know? Still, being there for Naomi, even if even most of me still hated the bitch, felt good. 
So, what what am I supposed to do now? This question really stuck struck me harder than it should have. What was next? I don't have any proper answer. The only thing I can do is try to bury this hatchet with Naomi once and for all. So I spoke with Naomi. Truly spoke to her. For the first time, we talked on common ground. Even though both our voices were already dry, we just kept letting it out for hours. Every insult and begrudging compliment we'd ever thought of each, each other was put out the, to air. When we ran out of words, we just lay in silence. I nearly drift off to sleep on the sidewalk when a car pulls up in front of us. Oh, Naomi must have called the taxi. Crack one eye lit open and see Naomi hesitantly move to get in the back seat. She stops with her hand on the handle. Fang? This is probably just me being deliriously exhausted, but I... I enjoyed this talk we had. You better. Not every day I pour out my soul to anyone that isn't a non. Naomi actually laughs at, at my humor this time. Progress. Hanging out might wanna be so bad sometimes. She goes quiet before she can muddy up her thoughts or something else. She gets in the taxi. See you around. She shuts the door before I can say anything and it's gone within seconds. Yeah, I could probably hang around with Naomi again. Well then. Ellipses. I need to get out from this curve. A few of my photos have have bent and gotten stuck on the concrete from being pressed into it for so long. The door was still unlocked, luckily. Good thing I don't live in Skin Row. The pressure would be down to the foundations by now. Dragging myself up the stairs, I remember Naomi and, and Nasser, they didn't really get to say goodbye. He took about as well as I expected. Driven by the loud music coming from his room, he's still upset. He probably, he'll probably stop crying by the time he's leaving in a few days. <laughs> Damn it, the room's too dark. I sigh into my pillow. This shit is definitely not my style. When I turn over to the cool side of my pillow, my fingertips brush against the corner of my phone. I break. Before I can think otherwise, my fingers tap the number I've memorized by heart. It takes a few seconds for the screen changes to display a non tired face, barely lit by his shitty phone screen. Lucy, it's three in the morning. I know, but you okay? Yes, I just wanted to see you. Hmm. Anon, I know we're on break, but I want to see you. You mean like visit? Oi! Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to sleep. Damn it. If I could, I would. When's your next break? What? When is your next break? Uh, a couple months? July, I think? Text me today. Yeah, sure, but why? I'll buy the ticket in the morning. If you can't come see me, then I'll visit. <laughs> then I'll just visit. And on, I swear to God! Eat a plate of penises, you copper prick! His face starts to turn pink. R right, yeah, I'll give you the date and address. You better. Guess I gotta go now. Good night, Anon. Night, Lucy. Oh. She really needs to charge that phone. The screen fades to black and drops down onto my sheets. I love you. It's just a break after all. Uh, oh, okay. That's just about it. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. No matter what, he always gets the short end of the stick. Oh, man. Well, there's only one bonus chapter at this point left, being Rainbow's Observations. Oh dear god. <laughs> what are we gonna see from a robot's perspective? <laughs> oh man. Well, 
No time like the present. Oh shoot, we're a robot. Gotta put on a robot voice. Which means something is monotone as fuck. Statement, my current designation is Rainbow. I was manufactured in a factory in the year 21M2020. It is currently 21M2027, 20, and I am playing with my current owner. Wow. Wait, it's, it's like 2023, that's 2027. That's like... Five. Now, okay, four years. For the first months of my life, I was carried around the bag of a somewhat suspicious salesman. My original purpose was to clean cellular device screens. Current circumstances have made it so that my purpose is so, is much more. Analysis: Current situation is unprecedented. Cleaning cannot be achieved. Purpose remains inconclusive at best. Radically altered at worst. Conclusion. Must reanalyze memory banks to ascertain the reason for current circumstances. Stand by as memory is re reviewed. Reviewing in 3, 2, 1. Current day. Friday. Current time. Unknown. Current location. Unknown. Here, let me show you its brushing majesty. Yeah, that's what I thought. Observation. I am pulled from the darkness and placed on a brightly lit surface. My sensors indicate that this unit is currently being displayed for potential sale. Analysis. Potential buyer appears plain. Nonetheless, this unit must execute its, its functions as programmed. God, I hate my stuttering. Execute. Standard screen size. Dot exe. Executing task. E executing task. Task complete. I just used my shirt though. Observation. This unit has not performed up to standards set by manufacturer. Must double efforts. Executing task. Executing task. Task complete. Analysis. Sessors indicate that potential buyer remains unimpressed. Possibility of this unit's purchase has now dropped below 50%. Alert. Confirmation of sale. This unit has been successfully pur purchased. Changing designation of potential buyer to current owner. Very well. The contest is yours, along with this trinket. I have no idea why, why they put <laughs> Xavier Renegade Angel in this, but it's like still cool. Observation inconclusive. This memory file does not provide information necessary. Conclusion. Continued review of memory banks required. Memory review starting in 3, 2, 1. Current day, Sunday. Current date, February 16th, 2001, 2020. Current location, owner's domicile. Oh yeah. <laughs> Statement. Current owner has finished external modification to chassis. Hmm. I think that does it. Now I just need a real name. Observation. Visual sensor is partially obscured. Current owner does not seem to realize this. I could give you a proper angry name. It fit with your new color scheme. Observation. Current owner seems to vocalize his thoughts. Nah, they aren't really a thing anymore. Hmm. Observation. Current owner is examining a large collection of disc cases. This is the first time he has done so. Oh, how about Rainbow? Does he do have that railgun now? Execute. This unit's designation is now Rainbow. Uh, cool. Observation conclusion. Current owner has a strange fondness for inanimate objects. <laughs> you just noticed that? Notation made. Continuing memory review. Three, two, one. Current day, Monday, current day, March 2nd, 2001, 2020. Current location, owner's domicile. Okay. Observation, this unit has been operating on the surface, surface for weeks now. This unit wishes to clean other surfaces. <laughs> oh no, it's developing self-sentience. 
The lock to the door starts to jingling open. There are people outside. Observation. Ona does not return home at this hour. Conclusion. Mysterious person designated as Carl D Carl Dusky is coming in to raid the fridge again. What? Owner enters with another person. Owner appears to be in distress. Consideration. Execute potential malware labeled <laughs> RULES OF NATURE! .exe The other person takes notice of my presence. Is... Is that the phone Roomba you bought a while back? You actually kept that thing? Observation. Second person is recognized. They are with the current owner when this unit was purchased. Uh, yeah. Can you go ahead and feed him for me? Is this box of cornflakes? Yeah, two or three will do. Oh, okay, so this is when, uh... Okay. So this was when we, we fell down the, the school stairs. Observation. Second person has dropped some common toasted flakes into my designated cleaning area. Initiating subroutine mealtime. .exe such a dweeb anon. <laughs> okay, yeah, remember, remember that. Doesn't explain wh what the heck is happening right now. Observation conclusion. Second person designated, Fang, is of great importance to the current owner. Notation made. Continuing memory review in 3, 2, 1. Current day. Thursday. Current day. December 24th. 20... 201M, 2020. Current location, owner's domicile. Observation. Owner returns home holding a large number of torn objects. Fang follows close behind him. One such object he lays out on the floor. See? Really ties the room together. Owner has opened another of the boxes he brought in. Laid the contents on top. Observation. It is a cleaning unit, similar in model to mine, but on larger scale. Surely it is unable to be as pre precise as this unit. Hey Rainbow, a friend of ours got you a friend! Let's call it Mark II. Message from new unit, inquiry to leadership. Confirm, response to new unit designated Mark II. Fast forwarding memory segment. Messages continue for several minutes, uninterrupted. Resuming memory playback. Response. Sister Unit Mark II looks to be of older make. Suggestion. Sister Unit Mark II should be sent in for immediate dismantlement. Message from Mark II. Unit Rainbow is of inferior make. Suggestion. Sister Unit Rainbow should be disposed of. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh great, they're fighting. Observation. Owner and Fang seem to be moving on the designated recharge station together. Message from Mark II. Unit Ra Rainbow will not want to observe this. Suggestion. Enter sleep mode for the next hour. Response. This unit does not seem to... Observation. Current owner and Fang seem to be discharging chassis. Perhaps they are undergoing... Initiating sleep mode. Uh-huh. Observation conclusion. Scrubbing memory file deemed necessary. Memory file cannot be scrubbed due to association with Sister Unit Mark II. Continuing memory review in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Where is this going? Current day, Monday. Current day, January 4th, 21 M. Well, 21. 201 M, 2021. Current location, unknown. Oh! Observation. Owner has taken me and my designated area to an unknown location at an esteemed estimated five miles away from his domicile. This seems to be where Fang resides. Sure he gets fed. You don't want him to shoot you. I will, Anon. Mark II and Rainbow will be just fine. Sheesh, you don't treat them better than me. Observation. Current owner appears to be transferring ownership to Fang. Will conform with, confirm with Sister Unit Mark II. Further observation. 
current donor and Fang seem to be leaking fluid from their visual sensors. They require maintenance, sending comments to the sister units. Response from Mark II. Observation noted. Current owner and Fang are currently in need of repair. Conclusion. We'll ensure that this unit's new owner receives necessary repairs. Well, this is it. Oh boy. Hey, it's only a few years. It's like we won't talk. I know, and I said we... And I know I said a break and all. Observation. Current donor and Fang appear to be attempting to clean each other's brush units again. <laughs> Sorry. Initiating memory scrub. Message from Mark II. Analysis. Memory scrub not required at this time. Statement. Current donor and new owners are emotional at this time. Memory scrub cancelled. Analysis. Emotional. Not found. This unit lacks the capacity to define emotion. Message from Mark II. Statement. Emotion cannot be defined by us. Okay. Observation conclusion. At that time, the concept of emotion was added to this unit's database. Emotion may be part of the answer. Memory review continuing in 3, 2, 1. Current day. Monday. Current date. March 2nd. 201M, 2021, current location, owner's domicile. Hey, that background's new. Observation, current owner, designated Fang, has brought in a new guest to her domicile, which has changed three days prior. Owner's guest is an unknown variable, one this unit does not feel secure around. Unit cannot pinpoint reason for breach in security with ocular sensors due to the obscurity of the current location. This is highly unusual. We'll log into this unit's memory bank for later evaluation. Alright, that room there is yours. We share a wall, so don't play any loud music at night. I won't- Hey! Nancy told me you're the one that does that! No way, I never listen to music. Owner's words are noted for future review. Owner does not listen to music. What's in this box over here? Hey, it's Naomi! Looks like a little robot? Hey, don't touch him. That's Rainbow. Keeping him safe for a while. Owner approaches box as well. And it keeps me company. Verbal acknowledgement of this unit's superiority from owner forwarded to Mark II. <laughs> uh, oh, this was a non? I guess it's sort of cute. Repeating previous action? <laughs> Response from Mark II. Sister unit Rainbow is still kept in a suitable enclosure, unlike this unit. Still, these Roombas aren't that good at cleaning. I've already seen some dust bunnies in the corners of that they can't reach. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're just jealous I have two Roombas! Right? Observation. Unknown guest has left the room. Bitch. Unknown guest. Designation confirmed. What? Observation conclusion. Verbal acknowledgement of this unit's superiority from previous owner and bitch. <laughs> Sister unit Mark II continues to be the inferior unit. Continuing mem memory review in 3, 2, 1. Oh boy. Current day. Sunday. Current day. July 20th. 201M. 20 25? Oh, that's, that's a long time. Current location. Owner's domicile. Domicile has moved two years prior. Audio receptors hear owner's approach with guests. Although there might be a scratch or two on him. Oh, wow. Hey, little buddy. Voice recognized as prior owner. <gasps> Anon reaches a limb down and delicate... Br Delicately brushes against the top of my chassis. Looks the same to me as always. What about the other one? She's in the living room. Crazy after all this time. After this time, it still works great. Disregarding unnecessary audio information. Just the flakes in the little cup next to the box there. <laughs> it's your boy! Anon drops several flakes in the designated cleaning area. Initiating subroutine mealtime.exe 
Nice. Wow, he still has his cornflakes. <laughs> Best part about robots is that they can't die. <laughs> they can't get hurt, though. As we can see with, with, what's happening here. Observation conclusion. Owner designated Anon has seemed to have undergone upgrades between transferring transferal to owner Fang. Compile a list of upgrades for further observation. Continue memory, memory review in 3, 2, 1. Current day, Monday, current date, April 5th, 201, M. 20, 27? Current location, owner's domicile. Memory review complete. Conclusion, inconclusive. This unit is still unable to find data to extrapolate an ex explanation for its current situation. Furthermore, this unit has come to find that it, an explanation is not needed either. Regardless, this unit shall continue to execute its new modified functions as set by owner. Observation. Optics obscured by new, newest owner. They appear to be holding a plastic imitation of a key ring. Conk. Warning. Minor damage to chassis. Owner has struck the top carriage of this unit with some unknown plastic weapon. Conk. 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 Uh, analyzing possible stratagems analysis complete executing evasive maneuvers get in the heck out maneuver successful current location beneath the drawer observation owner has initiated an alarm function of some kind measures to marks two inquiry unknown alarm from owner anon and fang are currently executing functions elsewhere response to mark two execute newest function installed by owner fang Returning to owner. Oh. Execute. Lullaby.exe. <gasps> it's. Oh, it's the piano song! Observation. Owner's alarm appears to be rescinded. Oh. Sweetie, what's. Aw. Oh. Thanks, Rainbow. Good job. Owner's picked up slowly. Anon sits next to me and lowers the limb to make contact. Can always count on you. What? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> no fucking what? What? Oh my! <laughs> no fucking what? What? Oh my god, they're married! And they got a, <laughs> they got a, they got a baby, and it doesn't look like a freak. What the fuck? <laughs> what? No fucking. Yeah, J- <laughs> J-Pat pretty much loved this. What? No, fu- What? Oh my god. They actually had a kid. They actually had a kid. You know, they usually- Oh man, this is going to Battle Network levels of like, Oh yeah, and then they have a child. Like, what? Oh my god. That is insane. That's in fucking time. Oh my god. Oh my god. How in the fuck? Guess what their baby's canon name is? Amber. Oh, <laughs> her name's Amber. That's so cute. That's <laughs> so freaking cute. Oh my god. I guess it would make sense to call her Amber after all. I can only assume it's because it's like it's like literally has her mother's eyes. Oh my god. What the fuck? 
That's in, that's in fucking insane. Oh my god. Well, there's only one thing left to do. This is it. Oh, look at that. Uh, wait, help? Let's... Yeah, wait, I don't know about that. Know about that. Holy Jesus. So I'm guessing if I go all the way down, I mean, that's like the... Oh, yep. It's the very last image. God damn. What a... What a weird ass fucking journey. <laughs> it's like, we got her, it's like we got her killed, we made it, we didn't do shit. Like, I don't know. Oh my god, this 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 ending just <laughs> What a way to end the game but just having this. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> that, that was only actually let's see. Actually well, not not mine, what am I doing? Extra gallery, here we go. Third one on the way down, I'm curious. Did I have no, I'm missing two. What the fuck? Where, 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 how am I missing those? I did all the routes! Is there like... God, there's probably like some subtle difference that I'm missing out somewhere. There's probably like some subtle difference I'm missing somewhere. I don't know. Let's see, what else am I missing? Let's see, that's, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the main one. And all that. Okay, I kind of wish this was. Like, I still wish this was like a. I wish this was like a gif or something, cause it's like that fucking face after she sees. <laughs> just, just, just like, just like gives a smile, looks down. Cat has this face, and I'm wondering like, what the fuck did she see? Oh, Christ. Let's see, is that? Let's see, okay, animations. There's only one. Don't want to show the ludes. Freaking twitches and stupid reasons. Backgrounds. We're going on the backgrounds. The answer is... I have! Alright. <laughs> oh, where the fuck am I missing those last... Yeah, well, okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, but then where the heck am I missing those last CGs? How are... Like... <laughs> where? What did I do wrong? God damn it. No, someone else joined the team. Uh, well, yes, you're technically quite quite late. You just missed my reaction. <laughs> the snoot. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of snoot to go around. I would I would assume with this. Way too much. <laughs> dear dear God, though. <laughs> God, you should have seen just how absolutely broken I was when I actually saw like this ending right here. Oh my God, I was, I, I was broken. And this one did not leave me feeling, well, I feel a bit better because it's like, okay, they're alive. I mean, they're not happy, but it's better than being dead. I would assume. Just Christ. And then obviously like the three prom dresses and all that. All this shit. God damn. This is like a really long ass image. Look, oh my, oh, look at that, we actually can scroll through. Christ. It's up, oh, okay, I was, ah, I was not supposed to see that, likely. I was probably not supposed to see that. Oh, what the, oh, I can just remember just having the, <laughs> yeah, definitely not meant to see that. Oops. The fuck? That's like my favorite ending. That's like my favorite ending. I'm just an egg. I'm just an entry guy for you. Final th thoughts on the Snoot game? If I can get out of this picture. Oh. Well, I don't want to actually put it there because that's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> hmm. 
All I gotta say is, God damn. What great ass writing. <laughs> what great ass writing. Like, holy fuck. Like, it actually left me in shambles when I got the bad endings. And then it made me feel so freaking happy when I got the good one. Well, it's like, well, okay. <laughs> I'm at, I, I, I had to scroll down for that again because it's like, oh my god, what was it? What, what the fuck was it? Uh, <laughs> what was it? Oh, yeah. Like around, like, yeah, like around here, it's like, oh my god. I was legitimately in shambles when I got this one because I was like, oh my god, no. Yeah, and then it's like, <laughs> then I got this one and I was just like, Christ, that's, that's, it's like, part of me was like, I'm glad she, like, she's not dead, but second hand, I'm like, damn, <laughs> this sucks. I'm not sure what to think about this ending, because on one hand, I like the end ending picture where it's like, yay, they're married. You know, she looks and she looks goddamn gorgeous in that dress, like, oh my god. So fucking gorgeous. But at the same time, I'm just like, like, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, hey, bet you know, best ending is still best ending. Especially with especially with uh especially with that right there. But then it made but then at the end it made me just feel bad for, for Naomi, because I was like, oh no. Oh no. Oh man. God damn, man. Christ. I will admit one thing for sure though. And that's the fact that I think I was probably meant to see the other endings first before seeing this because otherwise so that way this could actually be a lot more like special because <laughs> by accident and i know i didn't record it the first time but apparently i accidentally <laughs> got the good ending first <laughs> like or, or like not the good like the best ending which was this one right here by accident and i was probably supposed to get the other three <laughs> which was a big mistake man that's uh, will you hear about the question on true? I'm getting hit in my room. I mean, that's very true. Do when I when I play with one, I got two, then down. <laughs> I got two, then then down to one. Like, hmm. oh, I forgot this game was actually well. I forgot, I actually never looked at what Reed was telling me, now I think about it. Maybe that's in a second. Cause I remember like blah. There was like a scene where Reed was like telling you to look at something, but then I was like was like nah. Cause it just led me to like adverts and I was like the fuck is this? Like what what was <laughs> Holy Wow when you fast forward it, it's actually gonna Give me a second. Uh it doesn't matter. Blah. Scenes. Stuff happening. Cool. Sandwich. Sandwiches. Victory roll. Uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter here. Hi. Hi, Farnsworth. Not Farnsworth. Shot down. Sorry. More stuff. Alarms. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is one right here, so let's see. And I'm gonna... Yeah, here it is. He... Uh... What do you say? Yeah. yeah so this is a movie lame, you can't prove that. <laughs> yeah, talking about the Xbox and Sony thing here. Wait, huh? Get your phone out. Look up. How do you say that out loud? Just look it up. Yeah, I never actually looked it up. So maybe that's what I'm missing. Okay, so you look up the link. What does it take? My name is Shannon Knight. What? And I own Little Knight's Daycare. Uh, give me a second here because we're going through an advert. Give it a second. Actually, one of the. How do I. Where do I. There it is. In a second, like. Can I return? Hold on. Let's see. What? Oh, it's. Oh, it's the game it's based on. Huh. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. So, so he, he, wait, 
<laughs> Wait, he puts me on a link? It's, it puts me on a link to the to the official game of Goodbye Volcano High. I mean, hey, I'm probably just gonna buy the game because I'm just like, fuck. Yeah. If it wasn't for this, we wouldn't actually get the other thing in the first place. It's kind of like you, you kind of have to basically, even if even if it's shit, you have to pay your respects in some way. At least I would assume so. <laughs> what on earth? Pretty hilarious, right? What is this? A shitty next sticks cartoon knockoff? In a funny way, yeah. <laughs> the Xbox is better anyway. Okay, yeah, the, and then it just goes on. Yeah, it just goes on. And on. Think about consoles. Turn the sound back on. Turn to the menu now. And just yep. And it's going back here because yeah. Uh, you got my favorite ending. Final thoughts. I mean, eight jams. I probably actually will. Like I said, just out of you know, just out of the fact that it's like, yeah, like, if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't get this. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Already has the first demo for I I Wani. Hug that gator? What? I switch to Gothic 3 and 4, but fuck man, one engine one will never leave my mind. Yeah, we pretty much were. Yeah, pretty much, but it's like, I, I wanna. What? I wanna wani what? I wanna I wani what? What what's wani? Wani. What the fuck is a wani? <laughs> am, am I missing context for the wani thing? Let, I need to look this up now. Well, this is in the back. Well, that's in the back, I guess. Let's see. I. Oh, nah. Got it right. I wani hug that. Gator? Let's see. <laughs> oh, gr oh my god, they're making a sequel? <laughs> ah, but now instead of a... <laughs> but now instead of a pterodactyl girl, it's a gator. That seems interesting. Remember, look at the what be the art book of from the website. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah yes, yeah, Snoop Gamer. Oh my God, why is it why is it all cramped? Oh man, that's small though. That is small. It has has not safe for work, so don't show it on stream immediately. I okay, then I won't. I mean, okay, go ahead. Eight jams. Semi can into this new game. I mean, just from looking at it, it does seem that way. Oh, oh no, so that's the wrong button.
see what, let's see what, let's see I guess while they're while you're doing that let's see what thankfully you guys can't see what what I'm what I'm looking at cut endings one CGs let's see what's all let's see. oh wow uh, is there is there like two minutes Okay, so like, oh, oh, geez. <laughs> oh yeah, cause he, oh, cause he actually made mention of that. Oh god. Oh god. So, yeah, him coming up. Sees the broken fence. Oh god, that's <laughs> that's somehow worse. Oh no, oh that's somehow worse. I'm known 23. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Man. This song file, additional part one says it. Bang. Bang back. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Illustration. Holy. Karma Snutra? What? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. The reason because it gave away her role, aka the antagonist, and he wants to be banned. They finish the bell. What? Naomi Cupid? I saw that. Oh, wow. and it's the and it's a fully render too, with the bits. Oh man. Oh my god. They, uh, not at this point, I was like, she probably has nothing underneath that dress for prom. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, they have storyboards and all that. Concept art of... The, of Trish's... Siblings. The snoot. <laughs> oh, wow. I have to actually really think about that, huh? Oh, but oh, they're they're gonna have an actual kiss. <laughs> they're gonna show all the failings of the kiss before they finally got it right. That would have been funny. What? Wait, really? What? I'm gonna get through all these. Okay, so here's like the angry ones. Stops the. Wow. Oh, there's an entire different. Wow, there's actually an entire alternate here where it's like a, where a non stops a school shooting. There's different costumes, his room. <laughs> Sketching the anonymous. The sketch of them being at the beach party, the bench. What the heck? Why do you guys look so sad? Sit down with us so we can tell you. The bench is freshly painted. <laughs> Beta Stella. Whoa. <laughs> well, that, well, that's very interesting. I don't think I'm the corner. You can really tell, though. Backgrounds. Bit. <laughs> you gotta promise not not to let a non do any, anything creepy. That's fucking rude. Looks. Smirk looks down. Smirks harder. <laughs> Blanky mode? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Bang, why are you so sad? Blanky mode too. Oh, and now Naomi's sad too. <laughs> Bloody wing sketch? Oh yeah. Campfire extension. Oh, dude, that. Wow, you can, you can use that as like a phone. A phone background there. Cavalry. <laughs> Wait, phone Rubas actually exist? I thought that was a joke. Clack, clack, clack. There's a, there's a piece of art of Rosa taking center stage. I'm sad we didn't actually get that. Okay, yeah, the the smokes yeah smoking scene. Music and just <laughs> good morning. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so at some point we, I, I, uh, I, I guess it's supposed to be like a, some sort of different sketcher of like his, of either our room or Nazu's room, which I guess was also cut. Cork board, which we never saw. Vote Naomi. I'm not getting a choice. See the main gang. Still trying to find the sketch of Anon tumbling down. The Bollard. <laughs> Should be a new game remastered and the reloaded. Featuring <laughs> Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Don't forget, and Knuckles. And, and it also actually has to include a, a brand new Funky Kong mode. That was his name, right? I'm not just like remembering. <laughs> Crucified Anon! The fuck is this? It's Anon's audio stunt double. Tardo says something nice about him because he's since been dismembered and torn apart after recording. Dine. <laughs> Dear writer, Naomi is a bitch and cannot be redeemed in a few sentences. Please add more filler. This was a note to self. I see. Uh, the, the, ta the taxi man, apparently. Directions. Where the fuck are you? I already told you. I told you the directions. Fuck. Next time, write them in English and not, not retarded. Now look up. Fine. Okay, found you. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. What, who the fuck is that? Enning. Oh, okay, so that one's considered the- Okay, so apparently ending 3 is considered the good ending? Which is interesting. <laughs> Anon, Chris, Nyosi, Fang, Tara Strong. I, I don't hear that, sadly. I don't know, Tara Strong feels a little bit too- too much there. Uh, oh, so okay, so that one's considered the neutral ending. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess because she's alive. So bad, neutral, good. I guess the other one would be like the best ending. Fang. <laughs> it's a gif of Fang. Poses, Fang sprites. God damn, they really thought thought this through, didn't they? They even actually thought about changing Fang quite significantly. So. Front of the school, <laughs> grabbing the fang, Grandma Naomi. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> Karen Saurus, what the hell? Karen S. Grab, grab Naomi. They never saw a lot of day. Thank goodness. One of the endings has Naomi get married to her Kanye Saurus, as I know the Zynotes wanted her to have the monstrous SFM plastic dimbo ass look. The summer design was unassigned, so I started to sketch out this Kardashian monstrosity. Thankfully, this description of her of her never came to fruition. Yeah. Though she still got with a Kanye Saurus, which is still like the, the fuck? The difference in our when Anne brings up in a gentle manner, at least that's what they convey on the storyboards. <laughs> Ryan Gosling stories or not? Any three is good but unhappy? I would say so. Chris Pratt is not? Hey, if, if Chris Pratt could do Mario, he can do anyone. <laughs> Kikaku. Oh, oh, all according to Kikaku. Yeah, okay, the kiss scene. Oh, here it is. The non's fall. Wow. They actually... Wow, they, they actually had an entire board for this. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's actually wondering, like, how, like, what, like, how, like, how bad was the fall? And it's like, oh, 
that bad. Ah. Oh. Oh, that fucking. Oh. 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 <laughs> Long pants and on. Low. Low re. Naomi, not only cuck naser with a human, but with that British as well. Damn. They clearly had a little bit too much fun. Naomi's alpha. Na Naomi's dad? What? Oh, that's interesting. Sketch of naser. Never used waitress. Oh yeah, we actually heard about a waitress. Ultimate superfluous. There was no reason for the waitress to have a design. Her general look on the left was influenced by the burry pink gr girl grill meme, but on some initial sketches. But you're right. She might have been inspired by some designs of the Atlas game Kathleen. And other church sibling. Hevel Junk. I don't know. That sounds like just nonsense. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, the prom dresses. The hairstyle. Recording. Read red lines. Ripley War? What the fuck? Rock ring? Bungie, please give me recon. You suck. No, you. Okay, someone has, someone's a little bit too much fun there. <laughs> Snoo in the style of Doom. I've, I've heard good things about Catherine, but I'm not sure if I should even bother getting it since I don't have money for it. I'm already trying to save up because of other stuff that's coming out later and it's like, ah. I mean, it makes sense, right? You like, you learn that she's like a complete and utter like disgusting person as once you figure out. So it's like, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, <laughs> don't think, yeah, probably not to take things too far. Wow, they they actually had a little bit too much fun with some of these. I don't know why Fang is eating soap. I don't want to know. Stella. Ste <laughs> Stella, but with the world's longest snoot. <laughs> oh, the Ojo sa Sarna. The oh ho ho laugh. Explanation. What, is that? what does that say? And so something why mammals are... <laughs> oh, and that's why mammals are small dick losers. Spell disappointment. You what? <laughs> you what, mate? Considering. They were a lot more poses than initially thought. <laughs> oh, jeez. Bye, Trish. Let me get hit by a fucking car. See you tomorrow, sadly. Go fuck yourself, Anon. Finally, the Trish only fans. <laughs> I mean, he did. I mean, he did say that. <laughs> no, don't throw the fang. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the the Trish prom thing. I don't even want to know where she got some of the stuff she did. Who is it? I'm your prom date, you ugly sack of shit. Hi, Anon. Look, look at me. Aren't I the... <laughs> the 18-year-old 18, 18 prom dream? You don't look a day over 12,000. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Nasty dear. I guess we'll need paramedics after all. Anon's definitely getting impaled tonight. <laughs> Yeah, Trish had troll. A troll, troll. 
Dino math. Oh, don't look at me about math. Oh, Jesus. Unknown. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. They're actually gonna... Wow, there actually is a happy, somewhat image of Anon and Neutral Ending Fang actually getting together. But I guess it makes sense they don't want to put that in there because, like... That would be, like, one too many things. You <laughs> should be on the Xbox. This, this reference was from DMC. DM, DMC, DMC, what? Why, why two DMCs? Let's see, what, what is... What the fuck? Succubus scene? What am I looking at? Game is like I need I need to <laughs> before I continue to see the the uh uh let's see uh let's go and just mute that because otherwise it's gonna let's see what let's, let's see. Ugh, smells of sick skip to forty five all right. Alright, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly sucky beside other thing. Hell You missed My name, by the way, is Dante. Dante, son of Spada and Eva. Ew. Yeah, but you can call me Dante the Demon Killer. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> you want to kill me? You can't kill me. I'm 1,200 years old. You don't look a day over 12,000. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what you mean. Okay, that's what you mean. You look a day over 12,000. Oh, man. It's because of where we said the prom line. There was... Really, there was more? Damn. Gee, Christ, we, we still have, like... We still have, like... Well, for me, it's, like... That's we sound like so many hours. <laughs> I'm your problem, that you ugly sack of shit. UFC Dante. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just imagining something like that. <laughs> I'm your problem, that you ugly sack of shit. Oh my god. And now we go ahead and turn back the the, the music since it's like having no sound at all, it's just weird. So, oh god, memes. Oh no, there's so many memes. Oh damn. Adult Fang. I guess technically Lou. Oh. oh. Oh jeez. You guys doing like a sort of side thing? What the hell? Okay, maybe I was wrong. Right, the NASCAR isn't that bad. <laughs> God, that's such a stupid name. Oh jeez. I don't do that. God, I hate that. I hate that face. I don't know why. How many memes did they make? I don't even know who Jingo's supposed to be based off of still. Okay, sad, yeah, sad fang. 
I have no idea who the fuck these two weirdos are. Uh, more like a non-concept. Okay, part of that. The very early Naomi. God, even in here, it's like, yeesh. Wallpaper. Yeah, I could, I could probably put that as wallpaper, probably. Why? <laughs> oh, man. Wounds. Oh, yeah. Wounds, too. And you're a human male. <laughs> Fucking meteor dodgers. Oh, God, yeah. Well, that was very, that's a very interesting experience right there. Put that over there. Ever heard of NFS Underground? Probably, probably not. But I tried to make Banana a real reality via character creation. <laughs> you, wait, you try you tried to make you wait you tried to make. You try to make the guy with no face into a... I mean, dedication where it's due. I don't see how that... that or I'm just... I don't know. Well, since... Uh... Well, yeah, since we're actually pretty much done with this, might as well go ahead and check out that demo since we have nothing... <laughs> Nothing more going on. You can't really do anything besides, I guess, just look at all the pretty stuff. Which they told me was the I, the, yeah, the I Wani hug that gator. What, Wani? What the heck is that up? What's up with that? God, it's gonna be a pain to get set up though. Might take a little while. It it means gator or dragon. Oh. Wait, but the title that makes less sense because then it would be I gator. You know that gator or something like that. What was the title? Yeah, I I is I wanty. So it would be I gator hug that gator. What? I mean, Dragon Hug just sounds funnier, even still, because it makes me just imagine. <laughs> God. That's why it, it's Wani. <laughs> also, I, I would obviously rate the game, this new game, a well on a scale of one to ten. I mean, the scale only goes up to ten. I wanty, want to. Yeah, I think we all we all know at this point. Now I have to go and get this set up, but give me a second while I have to close this. Is it actually close closed or is it just even up oh, there it is? Now I have to go and get this set up. Shouldn't take hopefully too long. Start making noise, that's for sure. Right, do this. Get some stuff. Go woo and let's see. Uh I mean I guess we could just switch it. <laughs> Alright. Wait, what? No. Oops. Here we go. Why am I capturing that window? It should be right here. How the heck is it not doing what I wanted to do? Come on, it's right here in front of me. Showing up now? No, it's not showing up on my screen. What the heck? Game?
great. Okay, this is this is turning out magnificent. Why is it not working? Come on! What for four? I don't see what's, what is happening now. Come on, that's it. Chapter specific one though. Yes, this one. You can literally hear the music. For some reason, I guess I have to. Yes, I want it. Let's go. Uh, scrap that. Uh, try again. I have to open. I have to open <laughs> it's stupid. I have to open the application first. <laughs> I opened it twice over. All right. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Oh wow, it's actually animated. I didn't notice that. Okay, now this time you will capture this window. You will. I'm. I'm just gonna call it generic name. Why does it not want to work? Are you kidding? <laughs> it's right in front of me. Why? What? There's like a thing in the. Uh... Everything seems as it should be. Maybe I have to do a good thing. Let me try. Okay, now it's capturing it. Why is it capturing it now? I don't know, but okay. <laughs> it's the other thing, like. Okay, okay, there we go. So. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry to see that go. What the frick? I thought that no the number went to three. What the heck? Very excited to see eight jams go, but man, that that was very interesting stuff to learn right there. <laughs> That's only gonna make me ponder. It's like, what the heck am I gonna do after we beat the demo? <laughs> That's gonna suck. I have no idea. Anyway, saucy images. I don't want to know what that is. I actually, had, I actually did have a personal look at the the lewd images, and it's like, oh boy. Anyway, I guess we should go ahead and click the start. See where this goes. September fourth, year two hundred one M twenty twenty three. Hooray! For three years in the future, guys. Amid the arid heat of the morning sun of El Caldera Bluff, I cannot but miss living in the more temperate, temperate weather of the Midwest. Summer sleeves are in style this year. That jacket aroma blog better be right. This suit thing is killing me. Well, at least it's guaranteed to start getting chillier in a few weeks. Besides, I'm sure to make an impression with this. Amber Crowby and and Flint is all all the rage these days. I what? Finally back in the hard pla- Wait, this is animated? Oh my god! Wow, <laughs> wow, the budget really went up! We have animations! Like, look at that, it's actually animated! That's, that's actually impressive! Damn! Silently back in the hard plastic seating of the metro. I'm on my way to my first day in my new school. Ordinarily, I just, I just be good at my phone on the trip, but there's just too much on my mind right now. My focus is stitch requires us to move frequently, gives me a little time to fit in, much like how a rolling stone gathers no moss. 
I couldn't make a friend I'd keep for, for longer than a year. There's a lot of promises to keep in touch that I've perturbed off within months. Admittingly, it's my fault in the end. That's not going to change. Starting today, I'm going to senior year now. My very last chance to, to prepare. Luckily for me, the cards are stacked in my favor. How do you know? Feeling around my backpack for my DSLR so my fingers can absentmindedly fiddle with the mode dial. St. Hammond High School is extremely well known for their art artist curriculum. In other words, I'll be surrounded by people that share my interest. <laughs> so our guy is an art nerd. Good to know. Moon is a bit of a ride away. Speaking of rides, I was hoping that my parents could drive me there today. But by the time I was up, though, they already left for work. No big deal. I like the hustle and bustle of public transportation. I imagine I'm going to have to get used to this anyway. I'm just surprised again that it's like this is animated stuff. It's like, wow. Wow. Sign past my wonders to memories of previous schools. What did, what did you do? They all sucked. Shankar gradually comes to a stop, and the sign indicates that this is where I get off. Well, this is certainly a jump in budget. Wow. That's a very big jump in budget. So of the metro, climbing out of the station is a far few of the students heading towards the school. Oddly enough, I'm only seeing dinosaur students. None of their human to be seen anywhere. Must be one of those dino-heavy regions. So I, guess, so I guess this is normal. There's a lot of gr greenery here as well. You almost forget how close we are to, to the major city. A pathway leads to a stone bridge that goes over a small creek. As I walk across, one of our students meet in pairs and walk with each other. The air begins to fill with the sound of laughter and stories of their summer break. Ah, there it is. The school peeks over the teens ahead of me as though inspecting and welcoming me inside. St. Hammond High, my new home away from home for the next year. I saw take a deep breath. The air here is Chris. Reminded me of an old campground I went back in elementary school. Once again, I'm, I'm handed an opportunity to make something of myself. I'm apprehensive, but hopeful. It's my last shot at this. There's no going back. I take my first step onwards. Here we go again. Oh, hey! <laughs> Wait, was that our guy? Why, why do we look so... <laughs> That's our guy? What? Students mill about the front yard. I guess this is the school. Quite different from Volcano High. Go with that. Students mill ab about the front yard. Same man is known for its heavily prioritized art programs. Over two thirds of the graduates end up pursuing a career in the arts. And while half of them regret, regret it from what I've read, there's still, there's still plenty that made it, right? Some of the ma management's claim to fame, with the facade of the front entrance being dominated by a vibrant mural. Got a good feeling about this place. A few students eyeball me as they continue walking in. Some friends whisper to each other, I've seen this jacket would pay off. <laughs> what jacket? The front doors are propped wide open. I already feel the cool breeze inviting me in. Inside's a familiar yet brand new sight. Damn. Wow, yeah, you could really tell the budget just... Well, either budget or just like something went up because it's like, wow. Holy. I hadn't mentioned it yet, but this school is also unique for its student body. Composed almost entirely of dinosaurs. All manner of sar saurian herbivores and otherwise. <laughs> God damn. Scales, feathers, tails. Is that a tether? I don't see what you're talking about, but I don't know. Wings, towns, and webbed hands. Not, not to mention the colors. All vibrant enough to change the bright murals on the school outside. Doesn't the students march about re reconnecting with past friends and meeting new ones? Wait a fucking minute. Wait a fucking minute. Is that? <laughs> Wait a fucking minute. Wait a fucking minute. Wait a fucking minute. Is it? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute! 
Is that what I think it is? There's, there's no way. There's no fucking way, man. I'm just... Mm. What, the, what the heck? Oh. Ignore. I'm just... That, that's totally supposed to be... I forget I forget Dexter's uh, rival guy. I know, I know, I know for a fact that has to be based off Dexter. And I didn't realize when, until I did this that I think this might be based off of... Uh, was her name like Ellie? Or was it someone else from Last of Us? It looks kind of similar, that's what I mean. I think, I think the other ones here are just unique though. I'm not, I'm not sure what, if they're any representative of anything. Dozens of students march about, reconnecting with past friends and meeting new ones. Some actually glance at their schedules, checking every door as though they were numbered at random. Probably shouldn't be standing here stare. Whoa, is that a human? Whoa. Hey, that's what- <laughs> So this is our guy, and he's being surrounded by a bunch of can't see people. So that's our guy. <laughs> I'm soon surrounded and overrun by a crowd of neon colored teenagers. <laughs> Clearly, my jacket is working like a charm. <laughs> what? What's, we don't even know your name yet. Wow, he's like a life size mannequin. Hey, new kid. I'm instantly swarmed by the crowd. Is, is this what it's like to be popular? <laughs> I really wasn't expecting it to happen this quickly. These students are taking pictures with their phones. I even see someone's. With sketchbook and pens in hands, rapidly scri scribbling on pages. Wow, a human! Are you like a foreign exchange student? In the chaos, a few few people touch my hands. Whoa, human skin feels weird. Jeez, I don't call for. But I guess I don't want to be a party pooper. A few more people shouted me to get my attention. Hey, could you look over here for for side profile? Oh man, yeah, it's like a good reference material. Wait, wait, need to get a look at, at his skin texture. I once again find myself frozen, only muttering quietly as I hastily try to follow their instructions. Eventually, the Vasarians take all their photos and talk to themselves before de dispersing back on their own friend groups. As I recover from the shock of the situation, the last one breaks off. I find myself seemingly all alone again. Oh. That was my chance to socialize. I blew it. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. Uh, you're human, right? Triceratops girl leans forward, scanning me up and down. This is it. Time to seal the deal and get a new friend. <laughs> well, okay, you're definitely very different from Anon. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Inko. Uh, yeah! Close enough. Hey, can I, like, get a selfie with you? It'd be great for one of my classes. Yeah, definitely! Puts an arm around my back for a sh for shoulder hug while she poses dramatically. Maybe a bit too friendly? Big smile now! Takes the picture and checks it enthusiastically. So, uh... Oh, that was him. So, uh, I'm Inko. Huh? Oh yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I gotta go. Oh. What's the photo for, by the way? She pauses, aloofly chewing some gum. My fashion design class. That jacket is ballin'. <laughs> ah. Thanks for the pic, hun. And we blew it twice. Well, that mattered. I don't, I don't think they, they had any intention. My shoulder sag to take on the now sparse hallway around me. That must have been my 15 minutes of fame, pretty much. I don't think it even lasted 15 minutes. We could make it last 15. But there's no way I've already. Wait, I've already blown it, I think, is what I said. Try to go with the negative thoughts. Focus on the positives. For a brief moment, I was the talk of the school! Yeah! The new sound draws my attention. I know what that is. Oh. At the end of the hall, there's some someone kneeling. With one of the la latest camera models, if I'm not mistaken. 
Hey. The guy flinches, and I flinch too. I meant to shout at him. You students around me don't bat an eye at it though. What? Hi. <laughs> Sorry about the yell. No, it's fine. I managed to get get the shot I wanted. <laughs> so I get. Dear God, our God. <laughs> To be fair, when the full game comes out, there better be a reason why our guy looks almost non exactly like a non. Like, there better be some relevancy to that. Otherwise, otherwise it's just like, I'm just like mouthing. It's like, look at him. Look at him. He just, it looks like they just took off the same skeleton, put on some new clothes, and just give him glasses, and then bam. We got. Ooh. Turn my mic around. And BAM! We got Ink- Inko. Whatever that means. Bespeckled boy. The bespeckled boy, I think he's a Parasar? Double checks the camera display and smiles. Mm. We'll just give you a, a normal one. Yep, perfect. This will be a fine print for the yearbook. Can I see? His grin seems to want at my interest. Of course, here. Turns the display toward me, showing a, a shot of the hallway. And me at the, at, as the focal point. Pretty good, right? A little closer, I noticed that. I think it's a little out of focus. And dark. What do you have your f-stop set at? What the heck is that? Ah, shit. The sun glances at me, and plus it's bright, so you get a real answer. Yeah, I'm a bit of a talk for myself. I'm taking it as an elective too. With Mr. How the Yeah, is that that's that is an I, I'm assuming. So it's like unless it's an L, so it'd be like La La Ladakon or it's either like So like E so it's E it's either Ladakon or Yadakon. It's either one or the other, I'm not sure. What? I wonder if I can <laughs> make a non into the anonverse? No idea. That was his name. Yeah, Man Man Dark. Was it really Man Dark? <laughs> Didn't know. It's been a while. I actually forgot about that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm. I'm I hope they actually I hope they actually do because let's face it, that first game was so good that it's like how would they not? Anyway, I'm I'm assume, I'm gonna go ahead and assume with I'm gonna go with like Iya Iya Dakan. I'm gonna go with that. Take you back to my memorized class schedule. The name does sound familiar. Yep. Oh snap, cool, we'll be classmates! Mr. Yadakan's busy, so he just teaches it for one period. He offers his hand out out for a handshake. I'm Ben. <laughs> Inko. Friend achieved. Nice. I'm actually new here. Kind of figured, being the only human student this year and all. St. Hammond isn't isn't one of the more popular schools, but the staff put put a yeah, but the staff put a lot of effort into the arts program. Even the campus itself is designed like a living art piece. So you, so if you ever need help. In the pause, I'm guessing he's offering some somehow. I wouldn't say no to a tour. A tour, you say? Man, this guy's actually quite different from from a non already. Well, I'm only going back to the principal's office, but I could point out some neat stuff along the way. He raises an eyebrow to himself in contemplation. Might be a good idea to meet the principal too. He waits for me to follow him. Turns out it wasn't just a, an avid photographer like me, but also a school council president. One of his priorities was, was taking photos of St. Hammond's yearbook for the first day page. Every few minutes we paused so Ben could, could take a couple of shots, mainly of the students talking with each other. And while I would watch, I considered helping him in some way. I mean, that camera looks amazing. And then there's all his extra lenses in the bag. 
I'm absolutely elation to finally know someone that's into photography. And I really want want to bro broach it. But Ben fills the air between us talking more about the school. Which is why we still go by the, by the tail feathers, even though I think it's a tad distasteful. Dang, you're pretty good at this. Do you give these tours to all the new students? <laughs> Not really, although it's something, something I've thought about a lot. Oh, hold that thought. Hey, Lunara. Whoa. You're the, you're quite. I have, I have no idea what the heck you are. That goes to greet the student putting in some intricate wall banners. Oh, hey, Ben. You have a good summer vacation? I did. We're going to decorations. Looking better than last year. Ah, oh, thank you. What's all, what's all this for? She steps aside so I can fully view the banner she just finished with. The Cultural Arts Club. We meet every Thursday after school and look at antique artwork. She initially looked past me to talk with Ben, but she but she gasps when she realizes, Hey, you're a human, right? <laughs> Why, yes. Could you tell? <laughs> oh, that's a silly question. You should, you should totally join. I just love human culture. This is an amazing set of ancient masks in my place from ancient Europe. I just adore them. Wow. That's impressive. Think you think you make a good curator. You know what? I probably would. After a club display during Spirit Week last year, I gotta agree. We took weeks studying that tribe and weeks more practicing those dances. We also study and paint with those styles. Like we're learning the techniques of the old masters. Hopefully soon we can even get into sculpting. Like those old venue statues. Those venue venues. <laughs> Venus statues. Sorry. I'm not getting one to look at sometime this year. What do you think? It'd be great if you could come. Hey, that'd be neat. What what say you, In Inko? Hmm. Maybe. I do love culture. Oh, that's great. Oh, oh listen. We have this old chieftain's dress we have we've had for ages. We just have to see what it looks like on the real thing. <laughs> I'll think about it. No way. I sooner endure a second impact event that wear something like that. Well hey, nice to catch up with Luna Lunara. Where place to be. Take care. Bye. That's interesting. Well she was interesting. But I was it ways off thank you he was leading me to the principal's office. Hey Ben. Hey Michael if you can't talk about to catch up with you later, yeah? I'm floored. This guy seems to know just about everyone in school. As much as they know him. They're all being on top of things. Points out a few mi minor landmarks in the school. Stops to greet a number of students. Ha happy to see him after the summer break. Man, sorry for having to stop so much. No way, I think it's cool you know everyone. Well, it could be cool about without making us late. Points out a few more minor landmarks in school. Eventually leading me to its biggest draw. A different hallway. I already knew St. Hammond was known for art, but wow. Just inside the administrative office, the hallway is filled with wonderful pieces of, of work. Paintings line the walls, with names pla placards beneath, detailing who the artists were. All alumni from the school. And this is the gala. All of these pieces have been featured in all kinds of articles and presentations. Whoa. I know, right? One moment. Ben turns to the nearest door and gives it a polite knock. Who is it? It's me, Principal... Okay, I forgot, right, new school. Ska scalar? Scal scalar? I'm guessing it's Scalar. An OV Raptor, no older than her mid 30s, exits the room, holding a steaming mug and sporting a tired smile. <laughs> Wait a minute. First thing that caught my attention was that mug. That's a palico, isn't it? Or like, what, what do they call them in the, in the Monster Hunter reverse? I, I don't know. It was like, it was, it was like something cat, cat something. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Ingo. This is our esteemed principal. Morning, ma'am. Oh, freshly wide, mid sip of her coffee. Oh, I had noticed. <laughs> How would you not notice? I'm right here. You, Mr. Ga... Mr. Ganito? Yes? Ganito? 
Uh, yes, but by name... How wonderful! Gone the exhaustion from her face and set her place with a very wide smile. So happy that you've chosen our school for your last year, mi Mr. Need to. Wait, you just changed the name. Ben, be sure to give him a, th a thorough St. Hammond welcome, okay? Uh, I already was... If you need any assistance, my office is always open, Mr... And I changed again. Mr. Need to. Not to mention, student council is always available for help. Isn't that right, Ben? Yeah, yes, Principal Scaler. Is it Scaler? Scaler? I cannot tell. I'm horrible with these names. Thank you, Principal Scaler. Scaler. Sca something. Oh, and Ben, a moment, please. But. Parasaur is driving to the office. Leave me alone at the school gala. Whatever they're saying, I can hear over the ambient noise of the student body. Either way, it's probably not something I'm meant to hear. I move a few feet away, out of earshot, the discussion from the sun. On the wall beside me is a framed panoramic landscape of the city, painted by hand. Wow. I think it's like a... Wait. Oh. Hal Ford. Alright. Wow. It's probably to use this thing as a map with how detailed it is. No one's hanging so predominantly by the principal's office. The gentle brush strokes, the vibrant colors, the evening sun bouncing off each of the windows, and the majestic scarlet sky enveloping the horizon. All of which combine together to give give it a dreamscape feeling, like it's an idealized version of the city. It's beautiful. I've never been, been a big admirer of paintings, but I can't deny that this is a masterpiece. Only a teacher could have been able to express the scenic beauty of, of the city with this level of skill and passion. <laughs> ah, we have... We're, we're, we're quite contemplating this piece. We're like, hmm, yes. This is quite the nice piece. Okay, so, okay, so look at this. It was... Eodicon. So it's Eodicon. I, I was drawing my Kavan Stone 60 from my back, and with a compact lens, I keep barely fit the entirety of the painting and frame from the shot. Checking the copy on my display, I realized I left out the title and an artist of, of the piece. Tax says Dreamscape, artist O. Halford, 9th grade. First place. 202M 2018. Freshman did this? Jeez. Now that I look at the rest of the paintings, this is insane. It's all so much better than what I've made. It's all the pieces are beautifully drawn. Acry acrylic, charcoal, pastel. Yeah, not even, not even one photo. Hey, Inko, I'm back. The senior. How on earth am I meant to even start measuring up here? Inko? What's that sound? What? Are we always behind that? Ben nudges me back, back to the back of his hand as, as the commotion gets closer. Hey, watch it, jackass! Slow your roll, leather face! My leg! I watch as the uh, perpetrator, aggressor, aggregator finally rounds the corner and comes by. Barreling down the hallway, what is a green dinosaur in a wheelchair speeds towards Ben and I. My instincts kick in, and I stumble on the so to the side to avoid the oncoming collision. For just a split second, I get a good look at my assailant. Oh! What? That... That per... You're on a wheelchair! Green scales, messy hair, and a faded purple hoodie. She propels herself forward with dexterous hands, spinning the large wheels on, on her. I only now notice that she's in a wheelchair. I didn't even know you could go that fast on one of those. She glances my way and her pupils lock onto mine. Her gray and golden eyes are marred by bags like she hasn't slept in days. The girl's entire presence is ghost-like. And that expression, it's like she's looking straight through me. I'm sure she barely registers my existence, but I don't think I'll ever forget that face. Just as fast as she came, however. She's gone. 
As she leaves, I feel like a weight is lifted from my shoulders. At least until I trip directly into the glass case behind me. Ow. <laughs> Oof. Hey, watch it! Whoops. Cursor's hand rope robes over the display carefully. His eyes fill with worry. You looking for something? Cracks. Usually when another student falls into them, there's some kind of crack or scratch. This is a dino thing. Humans are lucky you don't gotta sweat over this kind of stuff. Hap that happen often? Often enough to drain school funds and repairs. That can't be good. Well, not to brag, but I make do- Ah, uh, but the one thing they didn't change is the sound of the generic bell. Revato chimes that goes through the now empty hall. I freeze. Tardy on the first day. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry to run on, run on like that. You should go, get going to your first class. I'm gonna what? When I need a tardy slip or something? Nah, that's the first day. Teachers are lenient. Fine either way, since you know, one of the best being class prez. What's your first period? Physical education. Oh no. Ben sucks the air in through his teeth <laughs> in a prolonged wince. What? You'll be fine. Gymnasium's down that way. Don't uh keep him waiting for too long. I need to get going too. Keep who wait? <laughs> I gotta go too. Bye. Whoa, he walks fast when he when he has somewhere to be. That reaction doesn't exactly instill confidence in me. I followed Ben's direction towards the school gymnasium. After after the after all the early commotion, it's the first quiet moment of it to myself. Must well take it to finally sort my thoughts. Let's see, what do I think of this place so far? It's more lively than any of the other schools I've been to. Since I stepped foot in here, everything seems so been so lively. Everyone seems so exuberant. Makes it feel a little out of my depth since I'm so used to the office of here peep. Here, people like that girl earlier, or er, yeah, people like that girl earlier are eager to share their hobbies almost without being prompt. Everywhere else I've been to, people just keep to themselves, like they're only there because they have to be. It hits me. The school's art program attracts people. Students here don't have to be here. They're choosing to be here. That's why it's so active. Well, all right. We're gonna do with this information. We can probably be friends with anyone I want, right? Weird to say, but with everyone. Here, here sort of working with each other, there is bound to be an insane level of camaraderie too. They won't even have to try. This is the gymnasium now, though, so I'll hold this thought for later. Oh boy. Ah, gym class, where the boys are separated from the men and where people with Herculean physiques are able to show off their sculpted bodies. I begin to remember how much I dreaded going to PE. I think we all do. God, PE sucks. Why? Like, I get that they want, you know, like, I, I, I'm part of me, it's like, I understand why they have PE. But another part is, I was always asking, why do they sometimes make it mandatory? The innumerable bad experiences from past schools pale comparisons to the many skidded knees and broken glasses. Hopefully the school's PE is a lot, lot less grueling. Oh, wow, we actually have a PE. So before the wooden double doors leading to the gym, I'm stuck I'm stuck with how empty the area looks. That's followed by me catching the sound of physical activity coming from within the gym itself. Shoot, I really am late. Ben's sort of warning echoes in my head like a foreboding spirit. I peer through the small window on the doors and see the students standing shoulder to shoulder. Towering over them is a primate who I can only guess is our gym teacher, with his arms crossed on, and a scowl on his face. Hope we can get away with being tardy. As I walk into the- <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Okay, let, me, let me go back. As I walk into- gets cut off. What the f- Was that a ball? Did we- did we enter the wrong anime? 
<laughs> Boy, I've been lucky to be alive. I don't even know what was thrown at me, but it might as well have been a cannonball. It's about gym teacher, and even, even through his baseball cap, I could feel his stare of rage pierce into my soul. Such intensity, and that ide the ideal throwing form. It only missed by centimeters. That was a warning shot. <laughs> we we wait. We already had a we had an actual caveman principal in the last one, and and now we have an actual primate. Okay, this this that's official. This world is absolutely nuts. Absolutely fucking nuts. Oh god, I'm gonna have to. Oh well, man, I'm gonna have to take a big one for this because I'm gonna have to do a lot of yelling. <clears throat> know this and know it well, son. I have a policy. Each of my platoons gets one free miss from me a year. And you just spent it! I should my ass as the students line up next to him, and they're so stiff with beard that I can't tell what they're feeling. You got three seconds to lay it in the front of your squadron! Why in the great name of KV Drocket, you are late! Well, I... <laughs> he didn't even move. Been taken! I shut my mouth. The Simeon Scholar starts marching back and forth like a drill sergeant. Listen up, because I'm only saying this once. In this class, we operate on tough love. We learn from our mistakes, so you better pray to God you don't forget them. Because if you do... With three monstrous steps, the coach closed the distance for of 10 yards to tower over me. I will be very upset. Oh god, my hurt my throat was already hurting. <laughs> it reflects poorly on all of us. And that is not something I will accept. So I would love to see you mega succeed. But if you don't, I'll make it unforgettable. Am I understood? I nod my head in fear. <gasps> fan fantastic Now then, join the rest of your ranks and stiffen up! Once I confirm my bladder is intact, I shuffle over to where my colleagues stand. I'm <laughs> staring at me with anger, like I'm responsible for the coaches teaching style. What an appalling for his impression to make. I should just quit and start over somewhere else while I still can. Teacher takes a second to glance over us, reminding himself of where he was before I interrupted. Attend on, maggots! You will all drop and give me 20 of the finest push-ups! Those guts- Wait, what? Those guts? Those guts best be enhanced fight off that prestige gym floor, or else! With a violently loud blow to his whistle, the coach also takes position to show the proper technique. I might win as my knees Im impact roughly on the ground. The real pain starts as I try to keep pace with everyone around me. My divisive forearms threaten to splinter from the weight of my body and the speed of my jerky movements. I never realized just how badly out of shape I was. <laughs> on your feet, you bipedal slugs! <sighs> <sighs> This guy, he ain't, he ain't human. Really? What gave that away? Some kind of private, maybe? The close relatives? I feel my muscles hollering in pure agony as I hold myself up from the gymnasium floor. By the time I'm back on my feet, my breathing is heavy and coming out in whistles. Now then, since only the first day of school, how about we get ourselves a good old game of dodgeball? Did he just say dodgeball? Oh yeah, dodgeball time! Hi, guy. The heck are you? Oh god, the music is going loud in my ears. I should have glanced towards the overly enthusiastic Dino next to me, who was absolutely elated by the prospect of the upcoming game. You probably shouldn't be. We only finished the warm up. My muscles are already screaming. My knees shake, my lungs burn. I'm so drenched in sweat that I'm sure I might need a shower after this. I really don't want to play dodgeball. Aren't we lucky? First day of school and we get to play a game! I... I don't... I don't do dodgeball. Why not? I... 
Uh, I'm not exactly... Alright, maggots! Pick a side and keep the numbers even! This is a suicide match! And a free-for-all, too! Damien! Why don't you socialize by picking your teammates? Shades, you're on blue team! Can you say we could pick teams? Alright, I'm going with the human dude. <laughs> what? Why? Before I can even say a word. The... Dilofo... Dilophosaurus wrestling around my neck and breaks me through the side of the field. Oh, and one last thing. Clear in tone, freeze me on the spot. Oh god. What's the first rule? We only got one! Have... F... Fun? King of the weakest one! Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> in a matter of seconds, the gymnasium becomes a full-blown battleground. A domestic dodge devil coming flurry of red rubber spears coming my way like bullets. I dive to the ground, <laughs> the outcome projectiles, they so red and pelt my comrades. Hear the blows and the guttural groans of those who have already succumbed to the onslaught of inflated orbs. Combat crawling away from the fierce front, I entrench myself along the edge of the field in hopes of being ignored. Cast against the rest of my allies, and oh god, it's a full route. So many bot. So, that's the first day of school treating you, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I look at to see the, the Finn Dino. The same thing, D Dilophosaurus, who had dragged me to his side of the court. Staring at him, staring at me, smiling. What do you think? I want to see casually dodge his <laughs> coming ball for throwing his own. Damn! Name's Damien, by the way. I Inko. Nice to meet you. You two, Chrome Zone and Frills! Who said you two had time to talk? Does my gymnasium look like a debate stage? I mean, maybe if we get some of those stands in the auditorium. Maybe. <laughs> I know a guy's uncle that can make a really classy podium. <laughs> Look at Damien with absolute bewilderment. What is this guy thinking? The coach looks like he's about to explode. Do not play smart with me, son. Keep the trap shut and eyes focus on the enemy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Damien just smiles and gives the coach a thumbs up as if we're in, we're in the middle of an active war zone. You got it, Mr. Solly. That's Coach Solly to you. And what's the hold of shades? You're just making yourself an easy target on the floor. Get up and play to win! Alright, this is my time to do something of worth. But I'm not exactly good at dodgeball. I don't think any of us are. <laughs> oh, maybe I can do the whole blocking thing for everyone. That should hopefully make it so that everyone isn't peeved at me for wasting the warning shot. But here's where things change. I can totally turn this around. All is equal in the court. Well, I'm gonna see rolls on the floor in front of me, calling out to be my ammunition. I somehow weave through two shots at me and pick up the ball. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling it now. I'm on fire. There's no way I'm losing now. I grab onto the ball and start blocking any shot that so much as crosses our side of the field. Yeah, I'm doing great. Block one, block two, block three. <laughs> now I'm really feeling it. But everyone's looking at me now. Any thought of playing the game sort of left my mind when it was never there. Who cares? This is more than enough. I can be the stu- Hey, new guy! A new voice catches my attention. A crimson parasaurus. Think fast! What? <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, I kind of felt that. I kind of felt that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Think fast, <laughs> chuckle not. Oh, I felt that. I actually felt that. Oh. 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 Christ. The floor is cold. Maybe shouldn't have come here at all. Per extremely dirty sneakers, this is my field of view. Oh, it's it's Solly. You gonna get up, Shades? 
<laughs> I don't think so. No. I give up. <sighs> oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? What? Did, did he just hit us? Oh my, that hurts. How long was I out? I think down on something soft. Where am I? Oh, we're at, we're at the vision clears. I sit up from the plastic bed. Sure is bright in here. Oh shit, they broke my sunglasses. Luckily, I brought my reserve pin. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Much better. I gotta see the animation again. It, it just... <laughs> and then... Hey! <laughs> That's the guy. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that shit eating grin and everything. I sent from the rubber mattress. Taking in the tiny room finally. All alone? Not even a school nurse or anything? Oh, there she is. Look at she's attending to another student who... Has his snout stuck in a cone. How? Huh. Looking at the clock on the wall, it's already noon. That would explain the pounding headache. Finally awake, Shades! I said ramrod straight, the fear of God stricken into me once more. Calm yourself, cadet. You ate dirt pretty hard back there. Oh man, yeah. Wait, you did that? I did. Pelt you right in the back. Did you know why? Uh, is it because you hate me? Because I messed up? Close enough. Any more specific, kid? Because I couldn't be a good teammate and got hit in the face? Err, wrong. It was after that. I don't... Nothing happened after that. No. You gave up. But I was doing well. You think so? I was blocking the balls and all. You were blocking anything. You were showing off. Found a single thing you could do and started dancing around like a clown. You focus on the easy thing. Give up, give up the real thing. You are so focused that you forgot to look around for a moment. And here you are. I know a defeated man when I see one. There's no way in hell letting a student of mine give up so easily. First period of the first day. You're already given up. Either way, it's a pretty bad lump you ended up with. You gotta watch around some students. If you know what I mean. Blink a few times. Recall the chick that yelled... Yielded me to catch, followed by pounding me in the face. That one, she's uh. He chuckles to himself for a bit. She's something, all right. Yeah, looks like the devil herself. Anyways, take the rest of the day off, kid. What? I'm telling you to go home. Principal gave the okay. Through my head again. Another stab of pain. Am I really not not good to go back to class? Wasn't I getting lectured about this just a few moments ago? Well, I don't want to go up so easily. No, nah, you should go home to your folks. Turns the back of his head, slightly embarrassed. Eh, right. About that. Try calling them earlier. Couldn't reach him. Give a sad half smile. Jesus. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh God, we're gonna. What, what kind of life at home do you have? I can make it home fine on my own. He nods. When you get back, don't give up so easily. Holds the door as the nurse's office open. Nodded exit the office. Coach Solly closing and locking the door. Well, we fail. Oh, and here's for tomorrow. Brown paper bag is shoved into my arms, along with my backpack. Peeking in, I see something blue and gold wrapped in plastic. Yeah, I've been late. You could have changed into those. I, uh, thank you, sir. Next time, Shades, think faster. Got it? Yes, sir. Smells positively unnerving. Now scram, cadet! Well, then. <laughs> well, this is officially the worst first day I've ever had. As my feed dryer claws the lin... Lino Linonium floor. I cannot but painfully think of all the failures of the past few hours. No thanks to a very prominent bump on the back of my head. Ow. 
I'm worse than everyone here on both the creative and physical level. I know I really shouldn't be bothered by it, but I hate seeing just how far behind I am compared to everyone else. And I thought I'd... And, and yeah, and I thought I'd, I'd knew friends, friends with. What was I thinking? So let me shake my head a bit. What the heck am I doing sulking like this? It's a bad first day, but it's just the first day. Still all the rest. Still my bad and Damien, they're pretty cool. I'm not going to my optimism be ruined just because of a bad dodgeball match. Just you wait, St. Hammond. Today was a test run. Tomorrow's the real deal. Yeah. This guy's only more positive, that's for sure. Morning comes. Ah, the light. And the... Whoa. Wow. <laughs> you... You're definitely better off than Anon. No doubt about that. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they are, but it's like I can definitely tell you that this guy is definitely more, more well off. I mean, look at this. Look at this nice looking room. Speakers and everything too. And why they just have a weird chandelier thing? I don't know. It was at a decent internal clock, but it's just a new record for me to get accustomed to a new sleeping schedule in just one day. So it's just fully grown lump on my scalp. I move an arm from my sheets and feel my head. Yeah, that's br bruised real good. It'll be worse, though. Alright, time to get up. <laughs> and and have the exact same clothes on already. Nice. So I'm about to bed and yawn, turning my arms and cr cracking my spine a bit. My, my, my new room is pretty nice. <sighs> pretty nice is an understatement compared to what, what Anon had to go through. I think of, like, ten times the space. Or maybe, like... Three, I don't know. Quite spacious, even with all the still sealed boxes. Much man over one of them, with, with my other clothes. I'll get around to opening them at some point. Right now, though, it's time for breakfast. I shovel downstairs into the heart of the house. The morning sunbeam shining through the window draw my eyes to look out to the new neighborhood. The driveway is empty. Looks like my parents are already gone for the day. No surprise there, really. It's all they ever focus on. A shirt runs up my spine as my feet step into the icy tiles of the kitchen. My eyes are drawn to some taped up boxes that are still scattered about on the counters. It's a familiar sticky note on the fridge, and I don't even have to read it to know what it says. At this point, Mom's just wasting paper. The least she could do is reuse the same notes and make small addendums to it. I snag a play from the nearest drawer and open up the freezer. No fresh produce to be seen, but there's still the, mo the mostly full box of breakfast burritos. Yeah, I've been trying to appreciate ethnic cultures more. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, my, my it in the back of my head, it's just like, it's just like, <laughs> angry Latina noises surging. Played with a couple of minuscule flour wrapped meals. I set the microwave and wait for the burritos to hopefully not explode or burn inside. While I wait though, I check my phone. I scan around my, my news feed and check out some, some of the people I'm subscribed to, hoping there's something to watch during my meal. Unfortunately, nobody posts videos or streams this early in the morning. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you! Mine is all night! Guess I'll just watch the suggested video then. Prop my phone up and click on something random. I think of the microwave I treat my breakfast, carrying it carefully so I don't burn my hands on the bottom of the plate. I give the first burrito a test bite and... Ugh, the inside's still cold. God, I hate that. No one's take it back in, though. The tortilla would just become a brick, then. Shrug it off, continue chewing, and watch my phone. <laughs> Top of the morning, folks! By the time the video ends, I finish the last of the half-thawed burritos. Pocketing my phone, I slip the plate into the sink and head out for the day. This time, I'm at least getting through the day. Today, survival. Tomorrow, thrive all. I'll work on it. Yeah, you better.
on the metro again and take a little more time to check out my surroundings. Ask me why, because I did not realize. It's like I'm I'm just surprised it's all animated. Cause I'm like, wow. Like, damn, damn. That's like, that's impressive. Anyway, the sun shines through the windows across from my normal seat. There's this one chick that was there yesterday, probably on her way to work. I'm assuming you mean this one right here? It's probably a sad routine for her at this point. She always does a bit of makeup first and checks her phone then the rest of the way. When the sun, sun shines through the window, it highlights her hair in a really neat way. Like a movie poster almost. What the? Whoa! I take a picture, but it might be a little too awkward. Oh, so everything's disappeared. Why is it so dark? Ahem. How's St. Hammond treating you so far, Mr. Ito? Is, is, is the Joe, is the running gag gonna be with Ingo is that nobody can get his last name right? A voice so deep, I feel it re revertebrate in my, my bones, call, calls from above. The heck are you? Your people actually like blinks. Taking it back at this authoritative stature. His head is nearly grazed the top of the passenger car. Oh wow. How do you even get in here? Oh, I uh, it's been great so far, Mr. Ferris. He offers out his hand for a handshake. Though Tom alone smothers my entire hand. How do you know my name? I'm really going to school. The nearest one is St. Hammond. I'm already aware of a new human student. If you don't mind my profiling. Whoa. You call that from just looking at me? As far as the joking, your full name is printed on your backpack. <laughs> you know that's dangerous, right? Oops. Yep, that's me, alright. <laughs> but... Please. It's only been a few days since the year started. I'd like to hear your opinion so far. Is this a questionnaire or something? Not exactly, but it is of some importance to an assignment to find. What does that mean? Oh, what am I being so secretive for? I'm here to audit your school. See the teachers, know the students, make sure it's a proper place of learning. Wish it were something worth being secretive about. More often than not, it's just paperwork and office politics. Oh, alright then. My thoughts on the school so far. Consider telling about a teacher nailing me with a dodgeball to make a point. Ah, I'm over it. Well, the class I have are grades, and the teachers I have are a dynamic bunch. He thumbs the inside of his coat pocket for his pen, but size doesn't need it yet. I see. Any favorites? I mean... I don't like ha I don't like to have favorites. But all the staff seem pretty lively. Or it's a heavy rumbling chuckle. That's certainly good to hear. And what of your fellow students? You made any friends? It's been a bit of a struggle, but it's always been that way for me since my folks move around a lot. I think they're pretty good this time around though. What do you think that is? I think it's the jacket. The jacket? Give my lapel a quick tug for extra style points. Hey. Coastline Con Nylon Bomber 32. Part of the latest ca catalog by A, a and F. I see. Does he need to lear lean so close to inspect it? Carriage rocks any in any way. He probably turned me into a piece of modern art against the window. Wow. And that's what... That's really what the youth are into the, these days. Hey, it was all speak for themselves. Hmm. Whatever he's thinking about, it's got nothing to do with his work. I think I have a pretty good idea. Mr. Ferris? <laughs> do you got no swag? Huh? Uh, well, I guess that probably answers it. I admit to being a little gray. I'm aware I'm not exactly with it anymore. Well, even the old generation can dress to impress. You have to see what people today like to wear. I'm certainly willing to listen to the youth of today, yes. It is 
It is somewhat important to my job to know how the student body thinks. My niece also suggests dressing more relaxed, whatever that means. Does she ever see you in casual clothes? I'm wearing them now. What? <laughs> this is your casual? Just a sleep. <laughs> I, mean, he can I can save him. <laughs> I can save him. The rest of the trip was quick, but we continued with small talk about trends. When we arrive at my stop, he attempts to give, give me his business card. For someone who's more, whose mere presence could stop a fight, he seems like a genuinely nice fellow. I look forward to talking to him again. Oh god. <laughs> That's what I just like, oh god. Those burritos were a mistake. Someone's rolling after the warm-ups. Oh god, more yelling. All right, maggots! Today we'll be working on your cardiovascular system! By that I mean a good old-fashioned mile run! I went out in the drug field yesterday! And as Damien's mouth open as soon as Coach Solly yells the words. And no, Damien! That does not mean I want you to time travel! <laughs> what? <laughs> Unless, of course, you mean running so fast that you had 88 miles an hour! That, that, that actually sounds plausible. For all we know, with, with, with dino people, I don't know. <laughs> and this is quick, Damien shuts his mouth again and shoots Sully a thumbs up. Plus only replies to let us snore. Double time it now, cupcakes! There's no danger from me this time. Follow the rest of the class to do, do the run Sully wanted. As expected, I rapidly fell b behind the pack. You really expected us to actually be good at this? Hey, Inko, nice, nice of you to drop by. How are you doing? Damien, what, what are you doing back here? Keep a new buddy company, of course. What are you doing? Trying not to vomit. You're doing great, then. Thanks, I guess. Should you be at the very front of the pack, though? Next to Mia? Nah, man, not her. Mia? You know, the one who knocked you out yesterday. That's her name. A brief flashback reminds me of the red Parasaurus. I actually saw her? I didn't see her. I saw like a silhouette. Ah, her. By the by, glad to see you're doing way better today. You're even up and running. Yeah, glad I didn't wind up with permanent brain damage. Hey, question. Was what happened yesterday normal here at St. Hammond? Well, he is a wild one, that's for sure. That's not to mess with her, unless you're into into those kind of chicks. In which case, be my guest. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a good thing. This is it's a good thing. This game already knows who has to be the main one. Otherwise, otherwise that that'd be one hell of an ending. Just like yeah, let's do the Mia route, and then and then literally three dates is just of us getting the absolute shit kicked out of whoever the heck this Mia character is. <laughs> But then, but then, basically, by the fourth, everything's okay because I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna think that far ahead. As for Sully, yeah, he's always like that. You'll get used to it, though. He ain't that bad a guy once he warms up to you. If you say so. Hey, don't worry, man. You're going to fit right, right in. No time flat. In fact, you should sit with us at lunch. That way, we can give you the proper Saint Hammond welcome and stuff. Lunch? We? I mean... Inko! David, Don't fall behind! So his voice snaps me. <laughs> I just have to look up. <laughs> Dude, Damien's surprise face. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> that, that, that is the face of someone who has seen stuff. Sully's voice snaps me from my mini stupor and makes me realize just how far behind Damien and I have fallen behind the rest of the class. Most better catch up with the others before Sully bring, brings out the punitive me measure. <laughs> Excuse me, the what? You don't want to find out, brother. Trust me. What? Come on, dude. Let's jet. Say another word. Damien gets behind me and starts pushing me forward, forcing my legs to move faster than, than ever should have. Oh, God. I have to struggle to not trip over myself, but somehow I managed to keep up the pace that Damien was forcing my whole body to maintain. <laughs> we actually have a sweaty sprite. And we fall. <laughs> 
<laughs> wait, wait, did you see that? It's like, <laughs> we just on the side, just like, <laughs> just appears. Five minutes and three more laps later, I fall flat on my ass. Heart beating so fast, lungs burning so furiously that every breath feels like sandpaper scraping against my throat. Regardless of, of that though, I finished the jog. The first small steps towards conquering my physical weakness. Good job, maggots! Keep this up and you'll be soldiers yet! Solly turns to me and with a slight grin shoots me a thumbs up. Okay, that's all for today! Hit the lockers, cupcakes! Please, pick me up. Damon helps, ba helps back up and I join the rest of the male students back to the locker room. We talk a bit more about, about interest in other school matters on the day. Damon filling me in, in a bit of St. Hammond's history during the three years he's been in attendance. By a bit of luck, our lockers aren't that far apart from another, but our conversation isn't a real possibility considering all other ones going on in the relatively cramped locker rooms. There isn't that much more time to chat before the bell rings for our next class switch. Oh, hey! Whoa! Ah, so, so that's your drip. I mean, you certainly got more style than my guy. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you that. <laughs> like, 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 I don't know. It's like that. That is a, that's a very nice drip. Gotta admit. No idea. I feel like this is a reference to something because it's like my back of my head. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I've seen that image somewhere, but I don't know where. Wake goodbye to Damien and start looking for my next class. Don't forget lunch with the buds. An Audrey replies to turn around and head down the hallway towards my next class. Making my way down the hall, I take notice of the surroundings. Everything about the school seemed pretty normal. So there are some key modifications made to better suit the majority of the student body. Mainly water fountains that settle a good 10 or more feet above me. <laughs> Overall, nothing crazy special. This next class I'm sort of looking forward, forward to. AP Art Design. I've actually been looking forward to this. The class looks like it's in a studio classroom on the second floor. Oh, that, that, this actually looks pretty nice. Part of the school here is built to be both inside and outside, with open ceilings and walls here and there. Since also the art wing, the displayed figures are coated in hydro hydrophobic layers and framed. Although since it's the start of the year, the halls are freshly cleared, waiting to be filled filled in as the sem semesters pass. Of course, there are also no shortage of sorts of drains. Some particulars display prominently in the school's advertising material, for good reason. The careful and expertly built dynamic between the surrounding nature, the school, and even the building materials themselves is nothing less but, but mythi myth uh, mystical or mythical? Okay, mystical. I can already feel the creative juices flowing. Soon enough, I'm standing just outside the door to my next class. Much like the school wall outside, it's decorated in various colors and patterns, each corner painted and tagged by different students. I barely step foot inside before the bell rings. Since I was the last one in, all but, all but one of the other seats were taken, it's pretty close to the front. Many students look well prepared, some are clearly ready to fall asleep within the next few minutes. Then there's the teacher, he's standing up by the board, waiting for me to finish, finish looking around, take a seat. And, and for some reason... Okay, first initial thoughts is looking at this guy is he looks like... He looks like a different version of one of the, uh... He looks, he looks like he'd just be a Time Lord. From, like, the whole Doctor Who series. I don't know why. Since he isn't urging me to look for a seat, he must be used to new students taking it all in. That must be the art teacher. No, he's a Time Lord. Look at him! <laughs> no, no teacher would dress that fancily! Somebody looks young and old at the same time. Well, don't want to hold up the class for too long. Try not to take the teacher's hospitality for granted. I take the seat closest to me in the front row. He with me sitting down. The art teacher still continues to idle instead of staring at the seated students with a hazy stare. Nobody else seems to be paying attention to him, save for a few people here and there. A few students are whispering at something behind me. 
Where was he yesterday? Hey, I'm not complaining. Hard less work. Yeah, but on the first day? Huh. So in a way, it's the teacher's first day as well. So I didn't miss anything in this class? That's pretty cool, actually. The fuck? <laughs> Why did you do that? The teacher slammed the front of his desk with both fists, the sound echoing through the room. It's a signal for all auxiliary conversation to cease, and the class obeys. <laughs> Despite the sudden furniture abuse, the teacher doesn't look agitated. Rather, he's got a massive grin on his face. The phrase, winning smile, comes to mind. <laughs> you know what, actually, just because? Just because of what I thought, I'm, I'm gonna give him a British accent. Right then! The pale pterodactyl holds what looks to be a metallic tray on a stick. Good morning, class! Thank you, God, for forcing me to wear prescription shades. Oh, okay. The prescribed? My classmates are all wincing in pain and wiping out their eyes. And welcome to AP Art Design! He holds up the stick haphazardly. This is a flash pan! Started an antique store yesterday and thought it'd be a good introduction. It's not important. What's this actually? Okay, this guy is definitely a time lord. There's no way he can't convince me. His actions are very much like a time lord, where it's like he's acting like a total epic fool. Class Winston has the stick is chucked in the garbage bin and shattered. Excuse my absence yesterday. I had managed to take care of elsewhere. My name is Don. I was gonna say Doctor. My name is Mr. I I Iata I Yeah. Iata Khan. With a blink of an eye, the teacher has replaced the sun, sun on a stick with a fancy marker and managed to screw scroll his name across the board in the finest show of calligraphy. And I shall be your guide as we explore the expanse of the creative world. Let's not dilly dally then, shall we? For a teacher, he's very animated. This first week, we'll be going in depth on the history of the fundamentals of art. Perhaps a little trial by fire as we can, as, as well, to get your creative juices flowing. Damn, yeah, stuttering. Murmurs from my classmates, so I paid them no mind. I've had the prospect doing some creative work, something I could possibly show off. For a brief moment, I pictured my own name on a plaque, placard in the hallway outside the principal's office. For now, though, I'd like for you all to open up your books to page three. Right, my book. Wait, what book? Way. Looking around, I see that everyone else has a novel sized hardcover book open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Must have gotten them yesterday. Now then, class, we'll be starting with. Hesitantly, I raise my hand. M Mr. Iata I I I sir. I, uh, don't have a book yet. You don't have- how? Somebody passed them all out yesterday- Oh! <laughs> His eyes flicker open for a second as he connects some internal dots. What? The word on the street is that some new kid got concussed so hard he had to leave early. Did- Did the street at least mention I was doing well before that? <laughs> of course not. You missed a Nito, then. Yes, sir. Wait, wait a fucking minute. Ne Nito. I I oh. Oh, I just got the joke. Oh, I just got the fucking joke. Oh, I just got the fucking joke. Oh. That explains the glasses. Oh. It. The joke is incognito. The joke is that he he's incognito. Yes, sir. <laughs> given the given the circumstance, I'll let it slide. For now, why don't you share with one of with one of your classmates? After class, I'll write you a note that you can give to the librarian. Thank you, sir. I kind of regret being so late because the only person I can realistically share it with is the person by my side. So, uh, hey. Stare. <laughs> Look at that fucking stare! 
<laughs> she she literally is just like, why are you here? Why? Why? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wasn't she the one speeding through the hallway yesterday? Yeah, and she's currently giving us the stink eye. Just like back then, I feel her gaze piercing and cold. As she's not even seeing, seeing me next to her. <laughs> the fucking stink eye. Would it be okay to share the book? It'll only be for today. Oh! Instead of respond, she lets out a defeated low groan. Like I just spit, spit in her cereal. Then hulls back over her page. Well, gee, sorry I asked. This one's the first real day. Maybe I won't need it. Olivia, come on, share with him this one time. I already told him I personally resolved the issue. Just help me out here. I? <laughs> uh. <laughs> that that face of utter disdainment. She was once making a show of, of sighing deeply while rolling her head back and around. Ordinarily, there'd be a groan to, to go with the gesture, but she remains silent. Her head hangs low in defeat, and she nudges the book a few centimeters closer to me. Uh, thanks. I slide my own desk closer to her, just enough that I can read the pages. While well, a teacher will raise the, the page as if reading from death of a hunter I follow along while simultaneously trying to capture anything that stands out from my notebook a lot more difficult than expected as Mr. Iata Khan seemed to put put emphasis on every word he spoke I felt like I was just copying the page wholesale my eyes turn from the book to the girl's notes and what? scratch 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 those are some very murderous looking claws on her fingertips. For a split second, I see them retract. She wipes her th fingertips on a small hand towel and... Whoa! Claws extend again into a puddle of red on her desk. A singular red colored claw is pressed on, on her paper for a moment. Quickly tugged and twirled and twisted. Leaving behind a bright red cursive sense on the page. Cool. The silver irises flick my way once more. Oh, hey. What? Uh, what are you doing? That looks pretty cool. And the red creeps across the girl's cheeks. <laughs> she looks back at the book and hunches her shoulders high as she humanly, dinoly can? Huh. She's now leaning over her notes, too, even using the book as extra protection for the pages. She focusing on my own notes, yeah. Impossible task now though, as the colorful calligraphy next to me has piqued my curiosity. The quill talent continues to delicately etch notes onto the page. And it only leaves the page to dip into what looks like a tiny paint palette at the edge of her desk. <laughs> uh <laughs> Inko, I th I think you need to look away like now. The claws extend again, and now there's a faint rumbling. Oh. Uh, hey! Time to get caught up in it. Sorry, uh. Wait for her to give me a name. She doesn't. She returns her focus to the book between us. I wonder what her deal is. In either case, I turn my attention back to class. I hope I can make up for lost time. Hard to ignore the gator girl, though. Especially when those icy gray eyes of hers feel like icicles poised to stab through me. Hey, wait a second. Those hand motions. She's not writing something right now. She's drawing. Well, it's none of my business. But I am rather curious. Make sure of leaning back to yawn. Now I can see it's... Oh, it's a calligraphic doodle of me? <laughs> not that it would be the hardest thing to draw, but I gotta admit. Ingo is a lot more emotive in terms of the face. It's like, look at that. That's a, that's a very, hmm, kind of face he has going on now. 
There's no mistaking it. It's my jacket and sunglasses. That's pretty cool. No one's ever really drawn me before. Well, there were the, those others on the first day of school. That's different. They weren't using their own claws or ink. Oh man, I can't wait. I gotta ask for a closer look. Hey. Huh? This picture is super cool. Can I see it? What? <laughs> uh, I think you said the wrong thing again. She glares at me in the eye, but Sully brings brings the sh sheaf she was she was doodling on. With the light still dim, I just barely make out all the important details. The line work is sharp. He stroke is an organic curve, and when combined, form what had be, has to be me. You'd have my glasses and the negative space of the head. The was with the mul multiple swervy lines coming out of the drawing's head. Dude, this is great. She rolled her eyes and stares, re retracting the page. Can I take a picture of it? A pause. Why? Nobody's ever done something like that for me. I want to remember it. <laughs> She's currently considering whether to basically stab us in the head or to just do something even worse. <laughs> she passes the paper over to me. It's yours. Oh, really? Thanks. Don't mention it. But don't. Hmm. She's nice. The grueling period made worse with my own anxiety. The bell begins to set us free. Oh, and away they go. Finally, freedom at last. Just stay for a minute longer, Inko. Get some sideways glances from their students as they leave. Now that's suspecting I'm a teacher's pet already. With a few strokes from his pen, Iatakon hands me a note. Just show this to the librarian and she'll hand you your books. On your way now. Quickshirt's library earns me my missing books. I haven't got a fancy <laughs> laminated library card. Yadakon's reduction to his class certainly has me excited for photography next. First stop though, lunch. Can't take pictures on an empty stomach. Between my lackluster breakfast and gym class, I'm practically starving. Despite my hunger though, I'm stopped dead in my tracks. I look around the cafeteria for a place to sit. Holy... Holy silhouettes! This whole place is overtaken by lawless anarchy. Never seen a riot this intense. These students even crawled halfway up the wall, <laughs> hanging by decorative vines. Food flies about everywhere. Utilized as ammunition rather than sustenance. Although the security guard by the door isn't moving. This must be acceptable? I started to think what would be bad enough to warn him taking action. Never seen anything like like that at, at it, yeah. Never seen anything like that at, at my old schools. But more importantly, all the cliches have already formed from the previous day. I have no wait. Did I say that right? I don't think I said that. I think my head just auto filled. Oh, all the. I have no idea what that slit leak leak use. I have no idea. Here's my chance to say with anybody. Wait, it's only the second day. Why am I acting as though I can say for anything? Yo, Nico! <laughs> I'm shoulder checked from behind as what feels like an oversized fist or undersized boulder. If I weren't already ready by the wall, I would have either been sent sprawling or made into roadkill again. When I turned around, I met with Damien's toothy grin. Ow, what? What? What, already forgot about me? You don't got anywhere to be, right? I, uh... I, oh, I, uh, yeah. You stutter, come on, we're going somewhere. May as well, right? Damien excitedly motions at me to follow through the traffic of students going about the lunchroom. Peering in through the crowd, waving me over and disappearing again, like he's out running somewhere. Seems like I hadn't gone my own lunch yet. I'd, they'd be dumped on the ground about three elbows and a slap ago. Through the clamoring, I through the clamoring hear something about a turf war restarting with with the new year, and that Meg Megal, Megalodon will continue to rule. 
Sora mixed in is the undeniable sound of a steel chair clattering to the ground. The place is an actual war zone now. How on earth is Damien able to weave through these guys so easily? Eventually, he leads me to the far corner of the room and into his usual lunch table. Hey, you're alive! <laughs> you're alive! <laughs> I think one of my ribs is cracked. That's just a school spirit you're feeling. Ugh. Feel less like a person and more like a... Finish stretching my wounded back and actually check the table. It's basically empty. There's only one other person here. <laughs> it seems like fate has had us yet meet yet again. I just want to say, why is the stream at force? You gotta hit the hay. <laughs> Roughly four hours? The fuck? No one told me this was gonna be four hours? Well, shit. Fair <laughs> girl gives me an unamused raised brow. Uh, hey, you. Oh, snap! You know Olivia? Olivia, right, yeah. The one and only. When did you tell me you met already? Because I only sort of did? We're in the same class. Ah, okay, I get it now. Still, that sounds awesome. All my lunch buddies are artists. All? Oh yeah, she's a third in our group, but she's a, you know, screwing, screwing around in school business. She'll probably be back tomorrow. Student council stuff can't take that long, right? What she need with the student council? She's anything with the student council? She's in it! She's the treasurer! The treasurer? I'll never understand what the fuck that is. Actually, I think about it. I, I haven't checked the, the time. <laughs> Bro, what? We have we have about like a few more minutes before, before basically I have to go and call it quits as well. So it's like, well, we're gonna see how long we take. Something like that. What do you think, Olivia? <laughs> Olivia just grunts in reply. She even bothered to look up from her lunch tray. Aren't you an artist too, Damien? Nah, I don't got the patience to sit around for hours like that. <laughs> if you got the patience to go and play Call of Duty for 10 hours straight, you got the patience to do anything. I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying any as to who I'm talking about, I'm just saying. You got the patience to basically sit around and play something for 10 hours. You got the patience to do anything. So you're not taking advantage of the art programs here? Don't really need them. Lumps is real close by. Only other artist here today is Olivia. Her arms wave over Olivia as if he was presenting her at an auction or something. For her part, the Gator Girl just, just grunts again. Well, what do you... Well, what do you do then, Olivia? Finally, she looks up, turning an indifferent look my way. Uh, what? Side, side, side. Did she say something? What was that? <laughs> no, no, no. The ambient war noises are, are, are a bit too loud. Can you hear anything? Sorry, can't hear anything you're saying over the. Don't sweat it, she's just real quiet to. <laughs> I paint! Oh, hey! Holy hell, her voice sounds so raspy. As if she'd never drank a drop of water in her life. Oh, okay, so that's the, so that's the kind of voice I need to give her. I guess I didn't notice before when she gave those sil one syllable responses, but for someone, someone's voice to be strained from a single shout? She throws her brow and looks, looks back, back down at her lunch. Oh, snap, we've been standing around for a while. He sits back in his own seat and takes a huge bite of, of his mystery meat steak. Right, food. After the workout and, po and poor breakfast today, I'm partially famished now. But... The line... All eyes look to where the lunch line should be. It's become a full-blown riot. Someone's got a fax signature trying to stop it? 
Oh, I probably should have waited for you to get yours. Oops. Oh my god. Demon turns to a stake rather aggressively. Face two. Who am I to question dino etiquette and the act of using one's foot to anchor the food up for tearing? Sudden the sound of squeaking rubber draws both of our attentions towards Olivia. Shielding onto one of her wheels, having just skidded it across the granite floor. Oh, what's up? Tilt her head back towards the courtyard door behind them. Looks like there are a few vending machines out there. Huh, guess we'll check them out. Leave the group behind to go try and get lunch. Not a fan of soda and chips for a meal, but it's enough, enough for, for wartime survival. Hey, this thing accepts credit cards? Andy! Pick up a few brands I recognize, and have to tide me over for the rest of the school day. I bet to pick up the bags from the dispenser slot and... That green chick's looking at me. She notices me gazing at, at her and hunches over again hurriedly. What was that all about? Right, making new friends. Buy a few extra sodas for the table. Carry everything back in both arms, I place them on an empty spot, sliding a can of soda to Damien. He looks at me like I had just tossed him a gold bar. Whoa, dude! The Dilla boy's mouth opens wide as he chomps on the bottom of the can. His fangs pierce the thin metal and the spring and spring his contents down his gullet. So some were, oh, toss some over to Olivia as well. She eyes it though, as, as it were booby trap before taking a bag of chips. Damien sighs happily as he chucks the shredded remains of his can away. Mmm, caffeine ambrosia. What were we talking about before? Olivia Zard, right. She's really good, Inky. Like, you wouldn't believe. Can he at least stick to a nickname? Really? Oh, totally. She's like, one of lords and stuff. She has? Can I see him? Thought I could snap some glamour shots for you. No need, dude. I already got pictures on my phone. No, I mean, hold on. I have to go and watch the time now because it's like... Pick up my bagger from the floor, unzipping it and retrieving my beloved camera from it. I'm actually into photography. The Dino Man reaches for the well-aged DSLR, and on instinct, I swat his hand away. Hey! Sorry, where's the habit? What do you think, Olivia? <laughs> How many times is she gonna give me the stink eye? She eyes me up and down with the same furrowed brow. Aren't you the guy who hit- Yeah, I, I think you're like a eh, kind of voice of- Aren't you the guy that ate Durin Gin yesterday? Yep, no. Okay. I shoot Damien a quick, dirty glance before returning to look at Olivia. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad. It wasn't. How does everyone seem to know about it? Damien looks aside sheepishly. I may have had a hand spreading the story around. I thought it was funny. Don't worry, though. Everyone has an embarrassing story. One time I got my frill stuck in the bathroom stall. I didn't need to know that. It took him an hour to get it out. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, I love it. See, everybody's got something. Player pops a chip into her jaw. The face looking out, out to nowhere as if she's thinking of something. Hmm. Damien leans close to me. One of his frills extends to hide from Olivia. Dude, I haven't seen her talk this much during lunch since last year. She said three things, and one of and one of them was a grunt. Why the secrecy? It's like a secret meeting. Those are cool. Uh huh. Yeah, this is something else. She's really warming up to you. I can tell. He sits back down properly. Honestly, this whole thing's a little creepy. I'm sure I'm not a bad person to talk to, but Damien isn't helping any. Since I am to make new friends this year, this is definitely not how I thought it would pan out. Maybe it's best that I get through lunch quickly and quietly. Since I have a spot to sit during lunch, it's not like I'd have any other options. 
There you are, Inko. Voice rings out to greet me, which ca catches our attention. You see a familiar but speckled face walk over to us with a lunch tray in his hands. Glad to see you made it to lunch this time. Oh, hey, Ben. Guess you and Inky here, here already met. Mm hmm. Introduced myself after I bumped into him the other day. Speaking of bums, you should have seen Inky here yesterday. Damon lets out a cackle and slaps me on the back, igniting the, the gym pains in my body and almost knocking my glasses off. Then giving a concerned half smile. Must be my eternal torment for the rest of the semester. Yeah, about yesterday. Then looks down the aisle of chatting students and signals to someone with his head. Standing 10 feet away from us is an imposing looking dinosaur girl with blonde hair, crimson scales, and sporting a fiery red leather jacket. Ben uses his hand to usher, usher her over while also mouthing a hushed, come on. Ugh. Shirley makes her way over. I notice how some of the students begin to quiet down as she passes them by. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Say, you wouldn't happen to... Hmm. You wouldn't happen to be related to Naomi, would you? Like, I don't know. Like, hmm. The fact that it's like this, and like, like, you know, the, I don't know. Some of that are just like, it looks very, very close to like, it's like, it's like if Naomi had an, had like a sister, and just a, and just a, and, the, and then it's like, literally liked Fang music so much that it's like, I like punk now. I wear it now. And Naomi's like, no. I don't know. That, that's the kind of vibe I get. She gets closer, her intense press invades me, and even though we're, we're at the same height, I feel like an ant about to get crushed under her boob. Somewhere in my synapse connects her, connects her face to me, tasting bright red rubber yesterday. I really wish it hadn't. Inko, uh, Mia here has something to say to you. You know, this is a different kind of stare from the stink guy. This is basically known as the I'm gonna fucking murder you face. Mia stays silent but continues to glare at me from under her neatly cut fringe. She sucks in air through her teeth. Sorry. Corner of the girl's lift starts to rise. Oh! Whoa! I didn't mean to knock your lights out. Girls out a, a laugh and, and lays an arm around my shoulder, smiling, gr growing wider. Heat creeps along my face as her muzzle nears my ear, especially when, when a puff of hot air blows by the lobe. The heat is torn away though when I feel her fingers dig into my shoulder. Her sharp, sharp hiss of a whisper scrapes my eardrum. That ball was me being nice, Baldy. Screw the class over again, and I'll fucking end you! Not even understanding me and pushes away from me with a small cheer. See, y'all clear now, Benny boy. Can I go now? Uh, Mia, that's not quite... Shut it, glasses. I'm fixing things here. Making it worse. Oh, well, fuck you then! Well... She was certainly... <laughs> wow. That... That went about as well as I expected it, honestly. She flips us off collectively and backs into the crowd, vanishing before either one of us could fully process her words and actions. Damien nut nudges my side. <laughs> Dude, I think she likes you! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? Why would she like me? <laughs> that makes no sense. Ben sighs. Sorry about that, Inko. Earlier about what happened at PE and connected the dots. It's fine, it was just dodgeball. I like she was looking to do something. Yeah. Uh, Dam Damien? Huh? 
He looks good from the rest of his meal, having selectively heard his name. He didn't pay attention. How? Did you not spread rumors around about your fellow classmates? No worries, Nico and I are cool. That still doesn't make it right. Uh, s sure. Yes, sir. Yeah. He gives Ben a lazy salute. Ben merely sighs as he places his tray on the table and makes himself comfortable on the seat next to me. Settles in. Ben is my camera. Still on the table. Oh, is that your? Is this your camera, in Inko? Huh? Oh yeah, I was showing it to Damien and Olivia earlier. May I? My instincts kick for a moment before remembering that Ben also works the camera. Sure, have a look. I would just Ben gingerly picks up my camera and gives it a thorough inspection. I must say, as far as standard cameras go, yours is in good quality. Nothing too special, really. Just something I picked up a while back. We have good taste in camera models. Let's back my camera, to, to which I place it back in my backpack. Thanks. Something like that, it'd be easy to get some great shots. Well, I do have a small co collection in my, my portfolio drive. Portfolio? Oh man, I only just got mine a month ago. Bet you got like a dozen pieces to choose from for the New Year's art contest. The what? He missed that announcement. What announcement? This was an annual contest at the start of every New Year. The winner gets a small cash prize. But, the bigger prize is the fact that the winner's piece is submitted for public- Olivia left the chat room. <laughs> it's submitted for publication in a couple big time magazines. Oh. Oh wow. That sounds awesome. Of course, that also means a lot of the students plan ahead and work all summer for something to submit. Did you do anything for it, Ben? You know it! Well, good luck. Liz said she turned, turned the perfect piece yesterday. Okay, now I'm interested. Finally, a chance to show my real skill at something I'm good at. Hey, Olivia, could you help out with your shots and her- With your shots and her art, you two could totally win! Right, Olivia? Olivia? <laughs> we all turn our heads so Olivia only to realize that she disappeared. When did she leave? Confused, I scan around the cafeteria. My eyes manage to spot her through the crowd of students. She's rolling away towards the cafeteria doors, and quickly, just like that, I lose sight of her as fast as I have seen her. I, tu I turn to look at Damien and Ben. Damien not only looks puzzled, but also disappointed for some reason. Ben, meanwhile, well, he almost looks like annoyed that Olivia left. Guess she hasn't changed. So it seems. The venom is sting to his words, making it feel as if there's more going on than I'm aware of. I decided to, to try. To, I decided not to try and pry into it, instead, bring the conversation back. Well, I still want to try. You can upload your submission to the school website. Oh, then I'll need an account. You don't have one? Don't think so. I'm told to get, get me that stuff by the end of the week. Sounds about right. Truthfully, it takes maybe five minutes at most to deal with it. And by the way, nobody wants to deal with it. Guess I'll wait then. Ben scratches the side of his head. Uh, I think there's someone in Stu Co. that can help you out, actually. It's the treasurer's day duty day today. So that's where Liz ended up. I don't know any name, so maybe? Huh. Guess I'll get to meet Liz sooner, sooner rather than later. I think I'll take care of that before lunch is over, then. See you in class, Ben. Sure thing. Later, Damien. Deuces, man! Tell us I said hi! Grab some of the leftover snacks from the table in my backpack and head to the cafeteria. Finally, I can show off my skills. So that I'm, that I'm just as capable as an artist as anyone else here. Well, if that's the case, I think we're going to have to go ahead and actually try and cut it off here. Since they already put the ellipses and everything. How the heck is she actually here? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. We were actually nearing... We are actually starting to get pretty darn close now.
Dang. <laughs> well. I can look at this hand or something. Ah, I see. Well. Uh, thanks. E I actually must thank you too to, uh, for actually <laughs> deciding to actually follow me and actually, I guess, possibly be my first stream people here. Uh, J Fab and A A Jams. <laughs> well, I know the full is A Jam Seven, but that's a little bit too much of a name full. Yeah, thank. I thank you too for actually, well, I guess by all means, being my followers and actually chatting in this stream of mine, you know, with my shoddy, <laughs> my shoddy microphone and everything. Yeah. We got like, we got basically like three minutes before anything else, and three minutes of me being in absolute hot hell. So, but uh, you know, but so far, as the sort of <laughs> semi sequel to the whole like you know Snoo game, it's like I already can definitely tell just by character design alone. But man, what a change! That's for sure. <laughs> Co-op is definitely going to copy this game. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I do find it interesting that the love interest in this one, I'm assuming is... I'm, gu I'm guessing it's that Olivia girl, like, right here. That's on her. Like, it's interesting that I... Th it, like... She's on the wheelchair, but on here, it's like she's... Like, on her... Like on her legs, like, so it's like, can she actually walk? Is she? I don't know. It's like, I find that interesting because there's not exactly a lot of games where like the love interest is usually like having some sort of actual, you know, cripple handicap of sorts. Or usually, if they do, it's like usually like a minor character that you can just like say it's like, look, guys, we did do representation. That's for sure. Hmm. I'd... But I do actually gotta wonder though, like... <laughs> Mysteries, right? Yeah. I actually do wonder that too. Like, it does, like, there is some implication already with seemingly how, how, like, you know, Damien and Ben acted almost like, you know, when, when he said, like, you know, hasn't changed a bit. That's for sure. Like, there, like, there's something going on that we're just not aware of. Really makes you actually wonder. <laughs> Though, admittingly enough, I'm, I will say this right now. Is that before, Is that uh, there actually was something I wanted to bring up that I didn't think about before and only just now thought about now that I have a chance to? Was the okay? So let me just. This is gonna be awkward. Okay, so let's see. If I don't no, wait, long one. Uh, hopefully it doesn't actually fuck up the game, does it? Let's 
actually does it. Okay, kind of. It actually did. Damn it! All right. But this is this is something that actually I saw that I'm not sure if it's real or not. So I'm gonna go back to the snoo game very quickly because I actually want to point this out. Because I saw that for a brief moment, but and it actually got me curious. So does it actually show the game? No, it doesn't. Capture the game, dang it. It's right here. Right in front of your face. There we go. Now, so getting back to this, I, I saw this. Not here. Oh, there. Yeah, right here, this. Mods. And I'm like, you have no mods. And I'm like, this game has mods? <laughs> like, what, what's the mod? It's like, give Anon face? <laughs> or something? Like, I don't know. Are there actual, like, mods I should, like, like, I should check out? Or are they all just, like, you know, something like, just visual changes and not much else? Cause I, have, Cause I have no idea what exactly. <laughs> I, I could look it up, but I'm, but I'm also kind of afraid that it might just be something stupid like, ah, yes, I can finally put all my dirtiest fantasies into the game or something. Uh, especially like since, since it comes from pretty much like, well, I think we all know the source. I don't see I don't see this as representation thing. No, okay, I kind of get it, but but it's like it's just a neat thing because I was like like it, this, it's just a me thing because, I, you know, in most games it's always just, you know, ordinary folk. And then maybe you have like that one token character. So it's, so mostly, just, it's mostly just like me being me. Just not, not really knowing much. Like I said, though, it's like, I am curious, like, what kind of supposed mods does this game even have? <laughs> Seriously? Wow, that sucks for, for the Native Americans. I mean, even the Polish got something with the fact they have the Witcher, or or or, from, or was it like some other like P, P pull something, pa something? I don't know. I thought Prey was a lot more recent. I don't know. I remember actually hearing that from them some time ago. Was that actually like all the way back to that? <laughs> there's a there's an unofficial Snoot Reddit. Oh God, <laughs> what am I gonna find on there? Oh boy.
Okay, I, I see what you mean. And that is a different bread than the last one I had. Well, then, if that really is the case, then I'll see what I can find in terms of like if there are any interesting mods that I might just show them off. I have no idea how good or bad they actually might be, but, I'm, but I figured why not? <laughs> might as well ride this crazy train as long as I can go. I've already, <laughs> I already got myself dedicated to 12 full endings and such. I know. It's a good thing this game turns off the, the loot images. I actually went out of my way and literally just did a quick skip playthrough and suddenly I had them all. And two of them are very, very obviously lewd and then one of them is more like just kind of suggestive. Where you're basically just staring at Fang's ass as she's like working on an amp. Hey, it's like I said, it's only suggestive, 8 jams. It's only suggestive. Get your mind out of the gutter. I don't want to know by what you mean by turning off the filters. Because <laughs> in my head I'm just thinking to myself, is that gonna be like... Because I'm just thinking of like the scene from Spongebob where it's like, okay, Squid, we're just imagining them all in their own... Let's imagine them in his underpants or something. And it's like, oh no, he's hot! <laughs> I need an adult. I am an adult. <laughs> That's exactly what it feels like. Yeah, I am. I'm actually looking through some and I'm just like, at least trying to. That's a bad idea, I already seen for one of these. 
Oh, this is this is an interesting one for next time. Double date. An Anon and Fang go on a double date with Naomi and, and Nasser. That that sounds interesting. A jams. I'm pretty sure everyone under the sun that was born in America is a Sonic enjoyer to some degree. Especially with the Sonic movies release. I'll have to go and keep, but I'll have to go and keep this one. You want to tie? <laughs> what Tracy mod? <laughs> Great. So, <laughs> God, don't tell me that most of these are just straight up like. There's a mod for female voice actors. That would be interesting to replay through the game now with voices. That would be, that's a lot of voice work though, especially considering how much you would need for that. That's a lot. He did a fanfic of, of Fang and Sonic. <laughs> alright. <laughs> That's something, alright. Just make sure not to add it to some sort of like big portfolio. But yeah, could, but in terms of the voices thing, uh, let's see if I get to the subreddit here. Uh. Yeah, here it is. Uh, this is from some time ago, six, about six months, but apparently it says... Mm, female voice actors needed. A group of friends are planning on making a fully voiced mod for Snoot Game, but we need female voices for the female characters. If you're interested, please let me know and I can send you a Discord link. I don't know if we do an ending four route at this time, but it's subject to change. That would be a very interesting experience to go through. Just Hearing like, just hearing that the game kind of like have voices. That'd be neat. Oh, come on, you kidding me? And keep in mind, dude, like, vo voicing is hard. <laughs> and then, hey, James, you can't tell me to get my mind out of the gutter, because it's like... <laughs> oh, if, you, if you've been where I've been. Frontier style. <laughs> Only I know about his existence. I feel so privileged to now have this knowledge in my brain. <laughs> though, to be, though, to be honest, just hearing about that makes me think you should just add... You should add, like, the uh, Metal Gear song as they're duking out, just like... Standing here, I realize... <laughs> I don't know why. That's the first thing that came to my mind.
Well, <laughs> he is now actually getting to be now actually getting to be that time of the day. Time of the day where basically <laughs> I must now go ahead and go the fuck to sleep, or otherwise I will <laughs> probably keel over. Not or my legs might actually give out first. Blade jams, like I said, voicing takes time and it's hard, especially if you're like brand new to the whole field. Like, because it's like you want to make sure does the character's voice sound what we want it to be, or how it's like how many re recording takes it could be. That and some of the posts also state that it seems like they had something else in mind to do before doing that, which, you know, no, it, it, could, uh, it could either be like something we we shouldn't like barge into but uh. i make all the points Until next time, A jams. I have no idea what the, where you are, what you're doing, but best of luck. You're probably gonna need it. <laughs> I mean, if there's any time to strike Pixar, it would, that would be like right now. Strike with the Iron Todd. They've already flopped one movie. They're gonna flop another. You could come in as a saving grace. Please don't take that actually serious. <laughs> Snoop game coming into theaters in 2025. And then you just see co-op just somewhere in the distance being like, are you fucking kidding me? See ya, A jams. Then it's, it's been a nice long ride. Night, night. <laughs>